What's up everybody? My name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Okay, and now we are back with more Against the Storm today. I want to, uh, I guess, uh, do a new run here. We uh, wiped out the cycle yesterday. And so now we have a fresh new cycle to, uh, to play with. And the game released yesterday on Steam, so that's pretty exciting. So if you guys haven't had a chance to check that out or add that to your wish list, uh, go do so. It's definitely worth the purchase. It's currently 15% off right now, so it's about $17 on Steam. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, enter the game. Then we can take a look at the, the cycle here. So we got a brand new fresh cycle here. And uh, looks like... The Brass Order is still number one, or at least I think the star means that they won last turn. I think that's what it means. Um, and then we're here, and that we were in second place last turn. All right, so now, let's see here. This is the Brass Order right here. And that they'll complete that in six turns, or six, I guess, storms. I'm going to go here, and hopefully that will block them out. Uh, hey, Rubber Band, good morning. Um, I'm doing well, thanks for asking. Hope you are doing well too. So let's go ahead and click on the Smoldering City. And uh, let's take a look at this. So we actually got some points yesterday, resources to spend. So I want to start spending some of that. Let's see if the volume is is too low here. Let's take a look at this audio. Is there a sound? I don't know if there's a there's a sound setting. Here we go. Let's increase this a little bit. Okay, it's just kind of hard to hear. It's faint. How many cycles are there per game? Uh, there, there's unlimited cycles. The game keeps going on and on. Uh, when you complete a cycle, you reset it. And the general idea is that you want to collect as many of these resources as you can so that you can upgrade the city. And uh, the further you go out, the, the better the rewards. And ultimately, you want to go out as far as you can. Now, there's a bunch of achievements associated to, I think, going further out. Um, I haven't gotten that far because they, they've also added some new ones to this. And I, my original profile, I actually completed every single achievement and then they reset it and they add some stuff. I haven't played in a year, so I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, can you, so you can lose if you are like, if you like last for three cycles or something. Um, yeah, you, you can lose. You can lose during the cycle because what happens is um, when you lose, this bar right here basically moves. So let's say you go into, like I, I actually lost my very first town uh, in my first playthrough because I, or first Let's Play stream because I just decided to go all crazy and went um, max difficulty. And the problem with that was that I uh, I jumped into max difficulty with nothing else as an advantage, right? Because I didn't upgrade anything. And so it's kind of foolish to jump into max difficulty uh, expecting to win, um, you know, some of the max difficulty challenges uh, without having any, any uh, upgrades to the Citadel. Because a lot of these upgrades will improve or help you with uh, your runs. And max difficulty is actually super hard, and there's a lot of things there that will probably be too difficult to achieve or, or overcome because you, you're lacking like a certain uh, perk or, or whatever. For example, like um, you know, the the queen's impatience, right, is is reduced if you actually fill out this column right here. It keeps reducing it by minus two percent. So at max difficulty, right. If I don't have all the stacking bonuses of this minus 2%, the Queen's difficulty, 
uh, basically progresses all the way to the red bar at the very end rapidly. And Max difficulty amplifies that by like 5 or 10 or something. So that was really foolish of me to jump into max difficulty without having any Citadel upgrades. Now, it wasn't all for nothing because even though I lost the max difficulty, I actually walked away with more resources, more food stock than the actual um, regular or mediocre difficulty. Because I think the regular mediocre difficulty would have been like 16 food stocks or something. And I walked away with like 30 something, I think. I forgot. I'll have to go back to the bot to look at it. But I end up actually getting more resources than, than uh, winning a an easy run. So that actually worked out. I think the only difference was I didn't get as many experience points uh, for leveling up. But that's okay. I mean, I got the, I got the uh, food stock, so it wasn't that bad. So anyways, that's just something that you want to think about. You don't want to jump out out in the deep ends, you know, swimming if you don't know how to swim or you don't have like, you know, some equipment like a lifeboat or something or, a, you know, like a, a float or whatever it is. Um, whatever they call those things. Um, I guess life, uh, life vests or something. I think they're called like life vests. But anyways, my, my point is, you, you, you know, if you don't have any perks, to help you survive out in the deep ends then um, yeah you're just gonna drown but at least you know I got some stuff um, so that wasn't terribly bad alright so now I'm going to look at what my next upgrade is because yesterday I completed a run and I didn't actually spend any of my uh, my resources so now I'm deciding um, which one to purchase let's see here Gain corner stone rerolls. Okay, no, I don't want that. Gain a permit plus five storage to all buildings near settlement. What's the one after that? Fundamental upgrade. Okay, so we might actually want this line here, even though this first one is kind of eh, whatever. Uh, you gain a permit plus two percent global production speed in your settlement. Okay, that's actually not bad. Getting a production speed. And getting a little extra five storage. The five storage doesn't really matter too much to me because I would prefer that they deliver the goods uh, when the storage is full. And having a large storage, they actually take longer to deliver. And so you have to hit the force and deliver button if you want something right away. But the perk right after that is something I'm interested in because this upgrades to district level. Because that means that I can actually get some sort of additional perk when I up upgrade my district. And then this right here basically gives me additional choices to choose from when I go out on Embark. Uh, but at least I get this little... I mean, these aren't that great. I usually won't pick up any of these anyways. But at least I get like a 2% bonus to settlement. So I may consider going to that route. I don't know. Um... I don't think I have enough for this, right? No, actually I do. 30, 78, and a 6. So I should be able to get to... Okay, so my choice now is I can go here to here to get to that upgrade hub, which allows me to upgrade the hub during the run, because right now I can only upgrade to, to level level 2. Alright, so let's see here. This one's the other one. All traders will have, will have an extra cornerstone blueprint for sale. I like this sometimes because... Uh, down usually when you're doing the trading with a trader down the bottom right corner or left corner they will have like options to, to purchase right and they only start off with like three things to choose from uh, but this will give you additional choices that's what that means this says you gain a permanent discount of 10% for perks and blueprints sold by traders okay that might not be so bad either this is basically the the trader line if I decide to go like upgrading my traders uh, you gain a, a permanent plus one to the limit of trade routes you can have active ones. Okay, this is just basically for selling. I'm not too crazy about trading with other towns. I mean, there's the only reason to do it is for the quest. Um, because you have to, like, create provisions, and provisions is kind of also in itself a, um, a resource sink that I could have traded some for something else or used. 
You get a permanent discount of 10% for purchasing blueprints. Yeah, yeah. All traders have a plus one corner stone. Yeah. Yeah, so this whole line, I think I've already gone down, right? Central blueprint. Field kitchen. Adds a blueprint to your pool of essential buildings. Field kitchen. Oh. So I can, I'm always able to produce jerky biscuits and pickles, huh? It's just at the lowest, it's less than a star level too, by the way. What this red means is it's lower than a star quality efficiency. They really should have it as an icon with like a silver star or like a, a star with an empty hole or a half a star or something. Because that's kind of confusing with this little red icon. But that's not bad, actually, just to be able to start off with being able to create complex food. I think the ultimate goal is this one, right? Which is kind of meh. I'm not too crazy about this. You gain plus th 30 seconds of time after reaching maximum impatience to try and save your settlement. I mean, 30 seconds is not that big of a deal. Like, you know, if you're going to die, most likely you're going to die. You're going to lose. 30 seconds will not add too much, you know, to your situation. Alright, so embark bonus. You gain a new embark bonus to choose from. Okay, no, that's okay. Race period. Okay, that's another 30 seconds. So that's like, what, a minute now? Okay, that's not as bad. But still, I, th I still don't think that it's going to matter. If you're going to die in a minute, you're going to die, right? Maybe they'll add more and you can extend your life by, tw by two minutes. Embark bonus, yeah. You gain 10% more Citadel resources whenever you finish the settlement. Okay. Hey, Doom, Ikea. Welcome back. On higher difficulty, sometimes you're fighting in, uh, at at end of twelve impatience. It do matter when they nerf impatience reduction to point to, to zero point five at Prestige fifteen. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't played the Prestige fifteen or twenty, so I guess that is interesting. Um, maybe it does matter. <laughs> maybe every minute sec or every uh, seconds counts. I haven't gotten to the Prestige stuff yet, so we'll see how that goes. This is another two minute or minute and a half, right? I think it's going to compound to two minutes. So I mean, two minutes is probably not bad, but thirty seconds I think is not not much. But yeah, it doesn't matter until high difficulty. Okay, well we'll see how that goes. Fundamental upgrade. Okay, that's the time order. All right, so I'm on this column, or I've already gotten this, right? Um, the factions thing. I'm deciding whether I want to do this expedition thing or not. Uh, but I think I want to spend my points on this hub upgrade because I think the hub upgrade um, is is a bit of a big deal, All right? Having having another because I know some cornerstones will give you rewards based on the the hub level, like minus forty percent hostility on um, based on your your hub level. So I might consider that column. Uh, the re the actual reroll is probably nice to have too because there was like a couple instances where I actually got some crappy cornerstones. Um, all right, so this one I'm not too too concerned about. Yeah, so the rerolls is not terribly bad. And what's this one? Embark a bonus. Okay, that allows me to choose an herbalist camp if I wanted to when I go out on a bone uh, on an embarkment. Um, all right, an embark may gain a new embark bonus to choose from when starting some. Oh, okay, that might actually not be bad, because I always like to have at least a farm to start with. Uh, hub upgrades are pretty good in my opinion. The global bonus is premium if you value it on a cornerstone slash park. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. I'm so I'm right now leaning towards that hub upgrade. That I'm just browsing through this, to decide where the, where I want to spend my other my uh possibly spend my points um but yeah I, i'm leaning towards the hub upgrade i mean this is not bad either so i but i, I won't be able to get this today's run or sorry on, on this particular um spending session here all right so my other my other one that i'd like to that i'm thinking about is getting these knocked out of the way this one right look at the um this is the lizard guy this is the beaver this is the human, right? So I'm thinking about this one. Oh, I can't actually. Because that requires 12. Okay, so I guess I will go with the 
the hub upgrade then. Because I don't have the machinery. So let me go ahead and unlock this. And get that hub upgrade. Because I do want to get to that district level 3. I actually don't know what that bonus is for level 3. Uh, because this is a, uh, a brand new profile reset. And I have not played this in a while. And they added that hub upgrade thing. Um, as an update. I mean, that's a great thing that they did that because before it was like the the decorations were absolutely useless. I had no reason to spend or create the, the decorations. Alright, so here I need to finish this map before run 6, right? Because that way I can eat into this guy's thing. But I want to be here so I can get that bonus. Either that or I go here. You know what? I'm thinking I'm thinking of blocking this brass order guy completely. And then next run, I'm gonna go over here. Right. Good. Well, I'll also get to see what's over here. I mean, I don't necessarily need the the artifact right now. So I think when I click on this, I'll get more visibility. I need machinery. So I'm thinking of blocking this guy so he doesn't get his his faction lead. And then next run, I can either choose to go this way or this way. Alright, so that's my, that's my thinking here. Because I want to get that bonus reward at the very end of my run. And I want to be number one on this little faction list at the top. And I think that star means that he won last time. Unless this is bug where that star is supposed to actually go to me. Uh, to indicate that that's, you know, that's me. Um, but yeah, let's go with this. Alright, so I like the top. Having humans. Um, at least uh, for the firekeeper, right? Because I, I don't like using beavers for firekeepers. And I'm hoping to get the lizard on the last slot. That's my hope. So let's go with this one. And then we're going to go with the stone. We're going to go with this food, this food. Wow, they've actually changed it now to one point. Huh. I guess it's. I guess the further you go out, the, the perk points change. Interesting. Or less of that got improved. Because um, it used to be like two and two. Alright, what my what are my modifiers? Okay, yeah, this is more more wood. Alright, so yeah, we're good with that. Let's go with this. Alright, let's try this. Give this a go. And we wanna I guess try to finish this as quickly as possible now so that we can actually get as many towns into the cycle as possible. Alright, so this one uh, drizzle. Gain 0.5 reputation points for every dangerous or forbidden glaze solved during drizzle. Okay, so we want to solve stuff during a drizzle. Uh, clearing buzz with crickle, uh, cricket sounds. Uh, clearings buzz with cricket sounds. Gain 30 insects for each discovered glaze. And this is only active during drizzle. So I have to, I have to break through a glaze during a drizzle season and I get this. This is actually one of the older rewards. Uh, perks that I've seen already in the past when I played. And then this one right here says, as a result of heavy rainfall, the, the travel cost of trade routes during the storm is higher by two. Okay. Um, travel cost. Alright, so I don't care too much about, about that right now. I don't trade that much. Living matter will spawn on one farm field every 70 seconds. Ooh, that could be a problem. Rot rain infects farm fields with living matter that feeds on leftover crops, so living matter will spawn on one farm field every 70 seconds. Okay, so we might actually have to figure out how to deal with living matter for the first time. The rain smells like blight rot. Global food production is 50% lower. This affects scales with hostility. Okay, that's fine. We, I don't, hopefully we don't get to level 3 during this run. Alright, so my choices all right, so I, I like I like having a lumber mill, but I also don't mind 
getting that extra plus uh, the the you know two star bricks because that's high efficiency. Um, but this I well I usually like getting this because I can just pump that out and then uh, produce the um, the material packs. So I don't know what I'm thinking here. Uh, fabric is not bad either. I'm gonna go with the highest one. Let's go with the, the lumber mill. All right, so here I like this one because we also get the bricks jerky, and then we can also convert the wood to to coal. So we'll go with that. So at least I can get jerkies out of the way. All right, so what is this here? Flowers skewers. Okay, the skewers is not bad. Alright, so the guild house, what's this? It's it's the extra resolve for selling stuff and then traders come faster, right? I think that's what it is. Yep, traders come 50% faster. Um I'm not too crazy about this one right now. This requires flour. This one is not terribly bad, because I actually could use the jerky and then gain more food. Right, extra food off of this. Oh, let me see here. How much was the jerky? We picked the jerky or the kiln, right? So that, um, I think it was like one star jerky, right? So one star jerky, six to ten. So we actually can stretch our food out if I pick this. Right, so that will definitely stretch our food out. But I also want the ability to make, um, or farm. I'm going to re-roll this, see if we get anything better. Okay, the plantation is not bad. I'll take this, actually. So we can now produce fiber with that. Alright, so then what I'm going to do is start with the woodcutter's camp. Put one on each side. I'll get those road run, running right here. And get this going. But yeah, I I, uh, I miss the old um, the old kitchen that they had. They had this thing called a homestead, and I guess they nerfed it, so it's no longer available. Maybe it is. Maybe maybe it does unlock at some point, but it's not. I, di I didn't see it on the ch on the um, on the list. But the homestead was amazing because. It had a, like a large radius for um, for for farming, and I was I was gonna what I normally do with the homestead was I take the homestead and place it around the edges of this just to try to peek into these glaze to see if there's any soil. Um, so that's why I really like the homestead. Maybe that people were doing that too, and it was just way over overpowered. So that could be a reason why they they canceled or got rid of the homestead. Now, if you notice the uh, I, I, yesterday I mentioned the um, the roadmap, right? And they said they're making a fifth species. I I think the fifth species is probably going to be the numbats because last year in December of last year they had a community poll, uh, and the and it was actually in game. It popped up in game, and I had to vote. And every time I logged on, I actually got to vote on which uh, species. And uh, the harpies won the vote. So last year, they they had a voting thing, and numbats was actually one of the choices. So my guess is that they're going to offer numbats as the fifth species. Now, I usually like to put the roads, the stone roads here and here, because this is generally where my my um, production buildings are going to be. They're, it's going to be around here. And I generally like to put all my my homes down here, fur further away from the, the storage. 
because the storage, you want your productions to be next to it because they transport that back and forth quite often. Okay, so let's take a look here. Gain one villager every time you discover a new village. I don't really care about that. The idea here is that you don't want to get as many villagers early or, or at all in general because that kind of builds up your your force hostility level uh, up. It's like I think three points for every villager you have. So the more villager you have, the higher the hostility level and difficult it is. Specialized grain farming techniques. Grain production is increased by plus one for every 25 times it's produced. Okay, so I'm not too worried about that. All right, I'm going to go with this one. Uh, you've managed to enlist some excellent hunters. Meat production is increased by 25. Okay, so meat production, it's only good if I have like a, a ranch or maybe a trapper, but I don't do that enough. The ranching I do, but that's also very random. Okay, so uh, okay, so I got the lumber mill. So the pack of materials is going to be really easy to pump out, uh, and plus I get this extra perk here, and I get the 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 tool. So I'm going to go with this one. Okay, this is not bad either. I mean, this is one of each, or pay wood and get like two random villagers. I like this because my production will then also increase dramatically if I do ever start farming. And this is also a nice little perk to fabric. And doing this is just one of each, so it's not a big deal. Alright, so this one right here, solve the blades, this is also something I can produce. This means I just gotta pay 7 coins. Sell, sell 12 coins worth, and then pay 7 coins to get this. This pays wood only. Um, but this one is not bad because you also get tools and you get less villagers. Solving glaze is not hard. And this is, you know, paying this is not hard either. Uh, I might end up needing this as long, because it's possible that I might need the, the, the food. But I don't know. This is, these two are really tr tricky. I don't have to choose that right away since, since I have nothing else to, to look at. So... I'll think about it, see what my situation is like. Uh, I'll pick that later. Hey, thanks for the follow there. Tree Z J. Tree Z X J. Appreciate that. And I'm gonna add this shelter here. And uh, let's move this guy closer to that edge. These guys are on the coffee break, huh? Alright, so... I gotta get housing for eight. At least eight villagers have to be housed within the range of this hearth to, to advance. Okay, yeah. No problem. Shouldn't be a big deal. And then we just need to build a couple of these barrels for for this decoration. So this decoration here basically says you need four comfort decorations. And these are categorized right here by comfort. And then this, um, this right here is, I think, aesthetics. And then this right here is harmony. So I'm guessing the level... The level three is probably going to require harmony. Because the first level... Apparently it was barrels. So here I'm going to add the barrels. And it's always good to build it right next to the the main storage, right? And then you can actually move it wherever you want for free. So you you know, you can decorate it wherever you want, but it's better to build them right next to the storage. Cuz otherwise if you decide to build this over here in this corner, they have to like carry the logs from here to here. I have to keep going back and forth. The reason I had to build the the shelter here was because it actually costs five logs to move it. It doesn't actually say it right here. It says free, but it's only free when you're building it. But once you once you finish constructing it, it actually costs five logs. So certain buildings you want to be careful and mindful of where to place them. 
Um, if it's free at all times, like what I did with the woodcutter, I knew that was free. So that's why I built it like right here. I waited until its construction was done, and then I moved it. So this one I can just stick it wherever I want. Um, you know. I guess I'll stick it over here in the back for now. I, I I'll I'll move it around later once I clear out the trees. Alright, so this is fiber and this is roots. So let's go ahead and get the first of all, let's get this crude workstation running. Um so I can start getting my lumber mill down. Right, and the lumber mill requires me to get that first thing running. This one right here needs four bricks. Um, the lumber mill requires bricks as well. Okay, so you know what? I will. I will wait on the lumber mill. I'll do the lumber mill last. I'm gonna do the the kiln first because the lumber mill requires brick. But I'm gonna use the bricks because I have to make bricks anyways. So I'm gonna use the initial four bricks to get this running first. All right, so here, I'm gonna take this off for now. So I do know I need two of the fabric. So I only want two, because the lumber mill requires fabric. And then the kiln requires four. And I'll add that chicken there. And then I'm going to do the fiber. I think it's the harvest, right? I think it's harvest. Yep, okay, so this is also free, so I'm going to place it right here, and then I'll move it over here when I need to. And then to move this bar up, I need pack of building materials. So we'll do that out of the planks. And what was my reward for that? Yeah, increased plank production, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then now we can move this because it's free. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to assign one of these guys to it. Alright, so I'm now level 2, so I get that plus resolve. Okay, let me check this. Because I don't want harpies on this. I want, I want this check. So you also want to check this. If you don't get the lizard guys... The second best, in my opinion, is is the the humans because they basically uh, make this bar grow twenty five percent slower. The harpies give you extra carrying capacity, and I, I personally don't feel like that is better than this. And they they really don't they really need to add rollovers to this. The beavers basically says you can make your your fuel last longer if you put the beavers in there, and I don't want to put the beavers in there. And the reason I took this off is because sometimes you get like these orders that ask you to pay like 10 coal. And I forgot to uncheck this at the start of the game. But you, you generally want to like uncheck this because I know I know for a fact there's there's always like some sort of um, order that would require you to pay like 10 coal. And since right now I can't well I actually can pay coal, so it's not that big of a deal. So yeah, this is not a big deal since I can't can actually pay coal. Let me take this off because we want to use coal because ten to five is basically uh, two wood for one coal. You don't want to burn five wood. You actually just want to burn the coal to make this jerky. And then the other thing I want to do is remove this off my list because I don't want them eating the, the meat. Um, when I can actually use that meat for this because we can take the six and the coal and make ten out of it. And ten is actually better. Not only is it better because it's extra food, but it's also complex food. And complex food um, gives you extra perks. For example, right now this here, this column right here is a complex food for for jerky, right? So if you provide jerky to this 
harpy and this human, you get an extra plus four resolve for this and this. And you want high resolve. High resolve basically is passing this little blue bar, this check mark, or this little slash mark right here, right? So it says threshold 15. You want extra resolve because the blue bar down here, right? Because right now I have zero, zero high resolve reputation gain. So if, if I get the high resolve, my reputation gain will increase based on how high my resolve is. And that's why you want complex food. All right, so then my last grouping, I think it was the scavenger, right, for the roots. So I can build that and then move this over here. All right, so this chick right here, she's on a coffee break. All right, so we need the fabric off of this, or the fiber off of this. I mean, sometimes I'll get fiber off of the the 10% chance off of, like, I guess, um, chopping the trees down. So whenever you roll over, like, a tree, it'll tell you what the yields are, right? The, the tree will give you 100% wood, has a 5%, 15% chance of risen, 10% fiber, 5% chance of getting eggs, and that's food. Um, right now, there's nobody. There's nothing. Well, there's actually this to construct right? And, uh, hang on. Since I'm out of stones, I'm not gonna have that there. Let me put the harpy in some mess. Move it closer towards the rest. Actually, hang on. Let me rotate this. Because they always have to go to the front of the house <laughs> to do the thing. Oh, this one requires... Did I get the brick? I did get the brick. Okay, so let me take her off. So that way she can build the... don't need this anymore. I, I actually I do need that. I don't need the bricks anymore off of this guy. We have to kill him. Oh, and she already got the fiber. So we, well, yeah, the fiber's fine. We leave it there. Um, and then we're going to put the lumber mill in here. And then that one, we just need the, the fabric to be moved. So we're going to put her in there. So that way she starts working on generating us this here. And we don't have the lizard guy. The lizard guy has the warmth specialization. Right now, none of our our characters do warmth specialization. So let's go ahead and just stick her in here. That way, she'll just work on this. Yeah, so this guy right here, I'm going to move him over here. So we can clear this off. And we'll clear some of this. Alright, so she needs to get me at least, what, some bricks. Like one brick, I guess one brick. Let's go with the brick first. Let's take a look at this food situation. Alright, so what are we doing here? She is just collecting the roots and then. Alright, so here let's take a look at the corner stones first. The constant flow of goods keeping villagers distracted gain three global resolve for 60 seconds every time you finish a trade route. Stacks duration. Okay. That might not be so bad. All right, so I usually like to go with this far right because I automatically get artifacts as I I um, solve the glaze. And artifacts is one of those citadel resources that is pretty rare to come by. So I always try to like to go for this. So let's go with that. 
So that definitely stacks with while I'm solving my thing. All right, for this one, huh? We don't mind having more beavers and getting another set of fabric is okay. Plus amber, I can always buy stuff. I'm going to always be able to get wood easily, so I'm going to go with this. I don't necessarily need two human, the extra humans. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Beavers. Alright, so let me swap this out with the beavers in here. And we have one more beaver left to play with, and then since we got new guys, I'm going to add in the shelter here. And that should help with, um, with that home thing. All right, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove this. Because I do want to get this road over here. And we're going to extend the path this direction. And we're going to add this last road this way. That should cover all the roads. Let me take this off. I don't want to use those stones right away. So we did make two bricks, right? Or no? Oh, she doesn't have anything to, to make bricks with. Okay. So it looks like I might have to reduce this a little bit. Let's go ahead and reduce this. So I can get those, those bricks back. Um, because I need I need two bricks, right? And this needs four. So let's go ahead and choose. So I need to delete one more. Let's go ahead and delete that. So that way she can get that one running. Actually, she's got clay. I don't, you know what? Hang on. I think these things give me clay, right? Or this? I think this one gives me clay. No? There we go. This gives me clay. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Let's not... I don't want to choose this. <laughs> I want to use the clay. Because I prefer to have the, the, the roads. The stone roads. Right, so let me take this off. So yeah, I'm just waiting on the on the uh, the clay to be harvested from this, because there's like a forty percent chance to get clay out of this. All right, so now it's probably time to make a decision here. Huh. Huh. Hmm. I guess I will go with the left. It's easier to do. I might regret it because of the tools. Let me see here. How many tools do we have? We don't. We only have any tools, right? And we're gonna get four tools here. If I get the six here, I might be able to use this to solve a glaze event and move the bar. So I'm gonna go with this one. Right, because six and the four usually helps with solving a an event. Cut through a force to discover a dangerous glaze. Okay, that I'm okay with. Plus the seven tools. Easy. I'm gonna go with this one. Um, this is basically a, a farming bonus, right? I don't have a farm yet. But I don't mind this. This is actually very easy to do. Plus this I have to pay crops. So this little 25% gain is eh. It takes a while to to get that to pay off. So I'm going to go with this one because it's easier to knock out. And plus I actually get food uh, and stones. So. And then roots. Ooh. Roots. If I pay 50 roots, well, I don't know if I want to pay 50 roots, but I could probably get the human resolve up. Um, 
Two additional humans will come with each group of newcomers. Mm. I don't know about that. I don't like the idea of having constant villagers. Because like I said, this actually makes it harder long term. Because this is basically for every time that I get uh, humans, two, right? It's actually three hostility level added per, per villager. So that means that this is actually a negative effect because... I will actually. I mean, it really, it really depends. Also, I mean, if you're going for like a human, a human uh, challenge where you constantly want like 25 humans, and this might be okay, right? But this is actually very easy to do. Um, and I, and I am actually looking at trying to get the human. One of my here, let me show you my, one of the one of my deeds here is have 30 humans. I have human house ability, so I could produce that. I just need a temple. So this actually, this I could complete one of the deeds if I do that. Um, so I guess I might consider doing this just because I might get up to that level. Because this one, I have to pay 50 roots, and I'm not sure if I can come up with 50 roots to pay for that. All right, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I mean, I don't have to accept it right away either. That's the other thing too. Once I, once this completes, I don't have to immediately accept this because this is just a reward. And then if I actually absolutely need it for the food, I'll probably deliver it. So that's not a big deal either. So that's the other advantage or nice thing about this is that you don't have to turn in your rewards if you don't want to. Okay, so right now, I need, I need two, um, two bricks then, right? Yeah, I only need two bricks then. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and force delivery. Because I want to get that brick right away. I guess I'll add her in here now. And we'll just go ahead and create the path in this direction. Alright, so this now only is good for fabric, right? So I need to pump out as much of this as possible. So let me put the beaver in here. And we want to complete this one right here. And that requires the trading post. Or sorry, the, uh, the makeshift post. So let me go ahead and put this makeshift post here. Let me move this old woodcutter closer. So this one, yeah, okay. And then what was this one? This is whenever, okay, so I only need to break through the glaze during a drizzle season. And then gain five reputation points for every dangerous or forbidden glaze event solved during drizzle, okay. That actually might be difficult to swing. <laughs> because I think the drizzle season doesn't last very long. So this might actually be very difficult to swing. I might I, I might have to hold off on solving a, that on the on this on the uh, the year after, right? The reason why I'm looking at this, okay, so if I want the food, I, I open it during the during a drizzle. But as soon as I open the drizzle, the clock is already ticking. And generally solving the event during a drizzle, it usually takes like four minutes to solve the event. And a drizzle season is shorter than four minutes. And if I don't solve it within like a 10 minute, I think some of them are like eight minutes, and I can't wait a full year, this is a really bad combo. 
I guess if you want the reputation, this is okay. Where right, you, you wait for the following year to solve it. If you're really hurting for reputation gain. But each passing year makes it even more difficult. Alright, so I think you have to plan on opening the drizzle, or opening the the glaze before a drizzle season. And try to solve it right before the drizzle season is over. So you might actually have to open that during a during a storm season. Or during a uh, dur during a clearance season, right? Yeah, maybe even during a clearance season. And then forego this. I mean, this is actually good for for like, you know, the cheap the cheap um the cheap glaze, right? Because you get 30, 30 insects when you pop over one of these cheap glands. This is only beneficial for the, the, the dangerous ones. Okay. So I guess it's not terribly bad. Alright, so this one I can check this off and put this here because we actually can produce coal. And then this one right here, let me uncheck all of this. Let me get rid of this. Because I want, what, three packs of this? So let's go with this. So that means I, uh, I need to make 20 planks. We have an extra, you know, we do have an extra person here, huh? Let's go ahead and give her something to do. Oh, we have one person that's not housed. So maybe, um, let me see here. Who, who's, who's available? We have one person that's not housed. Oh, he's got one charge left, so we're almost done anyways. So we're going to free her off once she's done and put, put her on this duty here. How did I get the one amber? Somehow I got oh I oh I probably got one amber from my reward that I turned in. Or no. No, how did I get the one amber? Somehow I got one amber. I'm, I'm looking at this, I already have one amber. That's interesting. Oh, you know what? They probably brought amber. Yeah, yeah, one of the villagers brought one amber. I remember now. Nothing here, right? So that means take her off and move this house out of the way. Totally forgot about that. Somebody had brought Amber with them. Okay, so that's missing six, right? So one more of that. Okay, what else do I need? I need um, a pack of crops. A pack of vision. And only two. Which one do I want to use? I don't want to use this. I don't want to use this. So let's use the apple. And for this one, I don't want to use... I guess we'll use the roots. That's fine. So we'll go with that. And then I can turn in... I can turn in... Well, I guess I can turn in this. And I'll turn in this one second. Hey, high voltage. So this guy is producing stuff. 
And this guy is working on my trades. So I don't need this anymore there. I don't need this there. How's this coming along? Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. Woodcutters have nothing to chop. Okay. So we're gonna move this guy over here. Okay. Alright, so now let's check, take a look at this. Uh, mushroom farming techniques described here. Mushroom production is increased. I don't really care about that because I don't produce mushrooms. Gain one villager every time you scout a little bit. No, I don't want that. Gain plus one villager beaver resolve every time 70 wines produced. Okay. I mean, I don't ever produce wine, but I don't like any of these choices. And we don't have a mushroom farm, so this doesn't really matter. And we don't harvest mushrooms, so... Those selections were pretty bad. Okay, so I'll go. I guess I'll go with the left, right? Yeah, because there. That's actually food. Um. So yeah, that's that's food there. All right. So what else can I tweak here? I got. Seven now. For some reason, I. What is the other one? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. We got an extra harpy, that's what it was. I guess I'll add this, then harpies make clothes. And then. The scavenger's hut? Let's go ahead and add this human in there. I guess I can start now working on getting that trade post going. Let's go with this trade post there. And then we're going to add another housing. Let me see here. Okay, let's add housing for humans so we can increase this human resolve. A little bit. If I can get that human resolve to 26, and we're good. And here, I just need to what? Sell some some ambers. Hmm, this is not bad to have as a perk. The trappers camp is not bad either. <laughs> I don't have enough money though to throw around. Hmm. I mean, I do have a lot of wood. But I think it's better to sell the planks, right? So I'm gonna wait on this. I'm not in a rush for any of these items. So we'll we'll wait next round. Yeah, I will wait on that. Hmm. Pack of trading goods. That's actually quite a bit, right? Ah, I don't. I'm gonna wait. I need that anyways. There's no reason to jump the gun on selling any of this. All right, so let me turn this in. I only need one pack of materials, right? Yeah, let me take this off. I don't need that anymore. Let me take this off, this off. So now we're, we're actually producing more, more planks, right? Yeah, okay, that's fine. And hang on, I guess I could sell this, right? Because she's got to produce one or two out of the thing, so I'll have a leftover. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I'm going to have a leftover. So I don't need this. That's worth 0.87? Hmm. 
What can I trade for 0.87? Risen. I, okay, I can also get rid of my Risens. I don't want to get so much of that. Alright, so I need to come up with a little bit more here. I'm short on that. Alright, so that's good, I guess. I don't know if I should... Well, I have a lot of wood, so I'm, I guess I'm okay with that. So we got the 7. Oh, I need to sell 12. Let's see here. What's this going to get me? It's going to get me two villagers. It's going to get me this. I can use that to solve an event with... Can I come up with... Oh, hey, I got... Th okay, I'm going to go with this one, the small farm. Yeah, I'm going to go with a small farm. So the question is, can I come up with with five more to sell? I mean, I can if I use this. Just get rid of it or use one of this. You know what? I'm going to sell this because I rarely do anything with that. And that's worth like five even there. Oh, it's not necessarily five even because they are skimming me. A little bit on that. So how much is a pack of provisions worth? Point, point one. All right, I guess I will sell some of this. I hate getting rid of that, but that's okay. That's fine. So we got the five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this. Ooh, weaver. Weaver. Oh, Weaver. Let's go with this Weaver. Because then that will help me remove the... Or cut down on my my fabric. Okay, so this actually I can completely get rid of. Crude workstation, right? Let me get rid of all this. There's nothing in there, right? So let me take her out. Destroy this. Because then I can put the weaver in here. Like that. And then the small farm. Well, I have a plantation, huh? Oh, maybe I should have picked something else. That's okay. Oh, I, oh, I should have probably picked something else. I probably should have taken the temple. Just to improve my... My thing. Alright, so I need one pack of materials, right? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so can I come up with seven more for this? I don't know if it's worth it. Alright, well, I'll have to save it for. Well, I'll save my racehorse for next time. Well, I actually have two of this, right? Because they gave me one in exchange. All right, so let's see here. Can I come up with seven? I need seven, right? Um, I need to come up with seven. What can I get rid of right now? That's a lot. Well, that's okay. I, I need to get rid of something though. So that, that might as well be that. So I can get this. Extra fabric production is going to be great. Alright, so that will help immensely for this. And we'll also get that as a reward too once we turn this in. So we're going to be just pumping fabric like crazy out of this fiber. And that should help with... Which one uses... Okay, the blizzard home. Oh, we, we can't... No, there's really no use for that one. Okay, so we need coats, basically. So, uh, we're looking for a building that can make coats, because then I can actually boost my resolve over here. With that. So I don't need this pack materials anymore. After she's done. So 
this one. Yeah, I need, and I'll, I should be able to get that one. Solve any two dangerous glaze or for, forbidden glaze. I get an artesian building. Ooh. I should be able to solve two easily, but the problem with that is I get one villager every time a new glaze is discovered. Um, but okay, I'm going to take this one though. Then this gives me the ability to make coats. I mean, right now is like I have to be able to produce coats, so this is not going to help me, right? So let me go over to the left. And this is what? Complete 10 trade routes versus selling 45. Okay, I should be able to sell 45. Doing the 10 trade routes, I'm not too thrilled about that. reason to have that in there. That's what we're going to complete this. Now we actually get more fiber. And we're going to put the harpy on this one. Because that gives her resolve. Let me take her off this list. Give her resolve. Put the human on this one. Put the beaver on this one. So we crank that out. Let's take a look at this. Herbalist Trapper's Camp. Tools. Hmm. Forager's Camp. Herbalist Camp. Tra trapper's Camp. Tools. This is not bad. I guess the tools. Well, we'll see. I don't know. I don't need, I don't need to jump in on that right away. Alright, I guess I can. I don't know if I want to wait 11 minutes. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and solve two things. Yeah, let's go ahead and start solving two of the glands here. So I'll pop over this one right here because this is pretty close. So let's go ahead and open this up. We'll, um, we'll break this open over here. How many years have gone by? Three, two years, okay. So I need to hurry. I need the human resolve up. So let me go ahead and add another housing here. Move this out of the way. Hang do we have a lot of planks? We do, right? So I'm going to also do beaver homes. Get the beaver resolve up. Alright, so my next level is what I need. I need four more of these barrels. And I need aesthetics. Make some bushes. And so that should improve my production. I don't need this anymore. There we go. Dangerous glaze open. So I'm going to claim this. And what's our threat here? Oh, I should have done it to, to, during the drizzle phase to get the uh, extra insects. <laughs> All right, can I? Okay, so I should be able to solve this then. I need to solve this. Yeah, it's a good thing I got I got the tools. I have 10 minutes to solve this. So I will solve this. I'll wait until the sit, I'll, I'll wait. I guess I'll, I'll go with this one. So we'll, we'll solve that when the time comes. I already have a kiln. So let me go ahead and take this. Yeah, because that's food and fire, right? I'll take that. I'm basically trading 
trading the, the bricks for that. Alright, so these guys over here, let me uncheck this. I'm gonna move this guy over here so I can open this up. Not open, but clear it out. Because I can start doing my farming over here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this for now. So this one, I I just want the food. And then this one is the effect. Okay, what's this one? Ooh, I can take that to the Citadel. What can I give it? I guess I'll give it roots, right? So I need to make a choice here. What is this? That's herbalist. Herbalist. Okay, so it seems like I need herbalist then. I'll take the herbalist. Ooh, smokehouse. Smithy. Hmm. Well, I know I'm going to be able to make the coats level 2 later anyway, so that's, I'm not in a rush to get the smithy, right? The jerky is really good. Because then I actually can put it get a better return rate on the on the meat hey fire fire shine games good morning welcome back it's good to see you again seems like you love popping into my channel every day appreciate that um, so we'll we'll build this And then that way we can start pumping out more of the, the food. Let me turn this off. I don't need this jerky here anymore. I don't want them wasting the jerky. Because now we're, we have a smokehouse, so I don't want them spending any of that in my smokehouse. Yeah, I love checking out how our friends are getting on. Oh, okay. Good to know, good to know. So I saw this uh, Twitter tweet that you guys had out for Fireshine Games uh, Twitter account for the Halloween thing. Were those actually workers at Fireshine or were they were just like random people that you you guys knew? Who, who was in those photos? There was like a wizard and there was like a, a Diablo or a devil, I guess, uh, cosplayer in that picture. So... I thought that was cool. Very fun photo there. Alright, so this one right here. I guess we'll go ahead and assign this now since we're going to enter in the storm season, right? Or actually, no, it's bad. I, uh, this is going to be a rough storm season. Because the negative effect is for every 10 amber in settlement storage. I don't have any... How much amber is in my storage? Oh, I don't have any. Okay. This is actually not bad. I'll go ahead and solve this. Because I don't have any ambers in storage. Alright, so is that, that's actually not bad. So I'll solve it in what? It, this should solve it during the drizzle season. By the time they're done with us. Right, because this right now is like 1 minute and 34 seconds. And so this should complete right as the drizzle season kicks in. So that means this bar should move up like 0.5. Actually, 1.5. Because I'm, I'm requesting a reward of 1. I think the only catch is this might actually finish. Well, actually, it's not making good time. It's about right. They have to deliver this anyway, so it's not like I'm going to get it right away. All 
So we should be good on that. And then we have the herbless camp. I want to construct over here. Let's take this off for now. Yeah, no worries. Uh, uh, it won't actually show up in... Uh, can you whisper it to me? It won't actually show up in chat. Because it'll, it'll show up as stars. I, I don't have the uh, links to set to show up. Uh, gain a stack of wealth effect plus one. Oh, uh, just uh, click on my name here. Huh. Click on my name and then click on whisper. All right, and then that should, should go into my thing. Plus one to global resolve each time you sell goods worth 40 amber. Hmm. Villagers have a 10% chance of bonus yields from production, but consumption... No, I don't want disabled consumption. A standard set of rules every five villagers with need for ed education fulfilled. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with this one. And then this is the drizzle phase, right? It should be completed right now. And drizzle phase is three minutes, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, no worries. Oh, that's exciting. The new uh, trailer got released today. The new Core Keeper trailer. I'm looking at this right now. Well, that's very cool. Well, that's very exciting. Yay. Something to check out. I need to check in my Discord. Explore announcements. Uh, he explores this official the desert uh, beginnings update is coming November 10th oh November 10th that is in eight days that's next Thursday and it will be the biggest update to date for core keeper prepare yourself for the whole new biome bosses enemies uh, treasure ores cards and even bugs uh, bug catching I check out the trailer okay uh, you'll be able to access the content 24 hours before it goes live using the same um, okay yeah it would, uh, if anyone would like early access, uh, uh, oh yeah, okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I am interested in earlier access if you want to hit me up. I will, I will definitely create some, uh, some videos. So yeah, count me in for, for creating some, some early content creation and I'll, um, I'll respect the embargo. I'll release it only on the the 24 hours so that's cool yeah count me in I, I like tavern actually it's either tavern or monastery tavern is actually good because it gives you plus three resolve globally versus monastery I like this one as well because it also reduces the the, the hostility level by a hundred so both of these are very good to have um, what's my level one right now Okay, yeah, uh, hmm. I'm quickly approaching level two. I'm thinking level, I'm thinking of the monastery. It's probably going to help me more. Even though I like this, I'm going to go with the monastery. Um, yeah, I think the monastery is going to help me more long term. Alright, so what's this? Food? Fabric, food and fabric. Huh. Hang on. Food, fabric. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll go with food. Right, and then this one I need ASAP, right? The smokehouse needs priority construction and then I need human homes yeah yeah appreciate that I mean I'm, I'm always down to making some core keeper videos especially those early previews I, I actually enjoyed getting these 
early access um, just to get like you know some inside knowledge early on so I can make some videos and everyone actually seems to really enjoy the videos I've been posting I get a lot of good comments um, from that Okay, so we're going to knock this out over here. And I think the bar moved, right? Yeah, the bar moved. And then I want to lower my hostility level. And I need to get my... So I got the dangerous event solved. Um, let's see here. Do I? Okay, so I still have that. So this one I need to add workers to this. So you know, I'll add more workers on to this one because we need to pump out the food as quickly as possible. Let me change the consumption for now. I guess I'll give them some of this to eat because I know they're going to get hungry very soon. And this is the herbalist camp, right? We're gonna move this herbalist camp over here. And gather those berries. I think humans are actually very good at or no, sorry, it's it's the harpies that's good at this. I thought it was the humans that was good at herbalist. Let me see, let me make sure I got that. I could have sworn the humans actually Oh, they changed it. It used to be humans are very good at herbalists. So they did change that, which is okay. So let me go ahead and mark this. Actually, you know, I have now... I have now stones. Let me just redo that as an upgrade. And we also have a stone camp as well. Right over here. So we can actually gather that too. Actually, hang on, let me construct this right here and then we'll move it. And so what I'm gonna need to do is probably put a closer storage over here. Yeah, I'm going to put a closer storage right over here. And we're going to carve this out, I guess. Yeah, let's go like this. Move that over here. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I forgot this. I forgot to disable that. Let me take this off. Oh goodness. I don't want that. I don't want that in there. Don't want that in there. Yeah, I only wanted this. All this other stuff I didn't need to make. Wow, I'm just cranking out these these fabrics, huh? That's amazing. Alright, so I still need my human resolve to go up. I got nine humans. How's my beaver coming along? Okay, we also can create more beaver homes here. And then I'm going to remove... Actually, I'm not removing them. I'm just going to remove these guys out and take this scavenger hut somewhere else. We'll just stick that over here, I guess. All right. Well, that's a good spot there. Appreciate that. 
Okay, you did a great job on finishing this herbalist or this root thing. So now we have humans free. What's I well, I don't know about that. Alright, so this one right here, right, the stone cutters. So we're gonna put those roots guys on this duty now. There you go. Well, I'll probably need to recall those guys back. Because the farming, right? Because I need to put them in here for farming. So we have three builders still. Okay, that's good. Alright, this one I don't need, right? So I just need to bring my human resolve up. So I need to solve another dangerous glaze to get from this. Alright, so which one... Alright, so this one right here. Okay. So I need a sell. Actually, I have a good bit of amber here, huh? Harvest cro Harvesting crops is 25% faster. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Gain one mushroom for every two mushrooms produced. Interesting. All buildings have their storage capacity. I don't care about that. I think I'm going to buy this one right here. And then I need to sell stuff, right? I have a lot of this. I need to sell 45 worth. I don't know if this is actually better to sell it like that or or convert it to to packs of materials and sell it. What's this one? I mean, I am producing mushrooms now, right? Or I can produce mushrooms, right? This is mushrooms over here. That's 18 charges. For every two. Gain one insect for every two mushrooms produced. But I'm actually paying 18 just for that. That's not actually worth it in the long term. I could just buy a shit ton of mushrooms or insects for that 18 coin. So that's not really... This is actually not a bonus. Um, but I do need to sell stuff, though, to get this. To get this. 45 is quite a lot, though. 45 is quite a lot. Okay, plus one grain production. Okay, so I'll have that for every time it's produced. Yeah, I have that. I'll get that. That's a huge bonus. Uh, plus one. Oh, okay. So I'll, uh, okay. So if I sell forty-five or forty, I'll gain this global resolve. But I don't know if I can sell forty-five right away. I guess if I spend this, technically, that should help, right? So I spend, I spend this. Okay, so if I spend this, this actually counts as part of the, the 45. Um, what can I purchase here? I guess I'll purchase some of this. Or no, it's better to purchase meat, right? Than the jerky. Because I can produce jerky from the meat. Yeah, I think that could be the thing. Oh, do I have any bricks? I don't have any bricks. I spent all my bricks. Well, I'm going to get bricks from the... Um, 
the, the, the brick pit. So I'm thinking here, do I want to to spend this right now? I mean, I kind of need the food. Yeah, I, I do kind of need the food. All right, let's go with this. Um, let's see how this goes. That's a lot to spend. 20 meat. Hmm. Maybe it is better to actually get this. I don't know. All right, let me go ahead and spend some of this. That's fine. 10 of this. Get the meat. And we'll, we'll get rid of... We'll get rid of planks, I guess. Actually, I have a lot of planks. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these planks. We get rid of some of this. We do have a lot of this. So I need to get towards what? 40? Alright, yeah, that's fine. So we're going to get some more of this. Oh, that's not even much. Okay. What else can I get? Food? Or no. Let's get some bricks, I guess. That's fine. Alright, you know what? I feel like I need food more than bricks. I guess I'll get a couple of bricks. But I need more food. I guess we'll do the pies. Or we'll yeah, we'll we'll do pies, we'll do some biscuits. So we'll do some of this. And we'll do some biscuits. So that should get us a little bonus. And resolve. Let me get rid of some of these planks. We're going to have a lot of planks. I'm trying to get towards 45. There we go. That's exactly 45. Alright, so let's see here. I guess more, more of these pines? It's close. Shoot. Um, how about that? How about a little bit of this? Nope. Ooh, it's 19 over. It's 19 over. 19 over. Let me get the risen, I guess. Oh, it's 5 over. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. This is 0 0.31. That's 0.52. How about this one? I don't know if that's going to be. All right, well, let's see here. Can I give anything else? I guess I'll do a little risen. That's fine. It's like 10 over. I don't know if I like that. You know what? Hang on. Let's just go subtract this. It's probably better. Wait, I need 45, right? So I need 45. All right, that's fine. We'll, we'll go with this. All right, so that should complete my... My other requirement here. All right, I get traders come faster. I get three villagers. Let's go with this. Now, how much do I have? I have 15 coins left. Hmm. That's fine. We'll leave the 15 there. I might actually use it for something. And so now, the humans. I need one more house for humans. This is the, the farm. Oh, that farm spot's actually a bad spot. I need to move it closer. Oh. 
I can't get it all in, huh? No, I can't. Actually, I'm looking at this right now. What is a good spot for this farm? So I can't... It doesn't cover the last two slots. But if I go here, I cover two slots. Oh, that's probably the most optimal spot right there. Right there is the most optimal spot. Hang on. So, let me see here. Let me turn this off. So right, actually, right there is the most optimal spot there. I need to get into this. This is actually not the best spot. You know what, let's go ahead and delete this right now. I don't need this built anymore. I need to get this removed. Right here is the most optimal spot for the farm. Because that will cover everything. So that means I gotta put a road here. Like this. And I guess I guess I did the uh, this little thing here wrong. That's okay. All right, so just in time. I have to pay 15 amber. Do trade routes. I don't care about that. I'm gonna take the clothing. Ooh, pay 10 of this. Versus getting 16 humans? I should be able to get the humans. Yeah, I should be able to get the humans. Because this right here will get us the humans. Right? With new newcomers. Alright, so what do you got? I guess more humans? More human housing? Okay, so the human resolve is almost done. I need to get this done though, to, to make the actual coats. Alright, so this is fine. We now have food. Let me turn off. Let me turn off the consumption for this. We don't need to eat that. There we go. So, I mean, how many years have passed, right? We've got three years that have passed. Okay, what was the other building that I got? I got the weaver, right? I got the trade monastery. I got the monastery. I got the cookhouse, right? The other one was plantation. But I'm gonna go with the farm field. And this right here is level... Okay, so, ooh. The next level requires the decoration of harmony. I think it was four harmony, right? Four more harmony. Ooh, that's gonna be rough. Right, we'll find out what that gives me. Okay. So, cookhouse or wine cellar. This is not bad. I don't need the planks. I mean, this only gives me pie. I don't have a way to make flour, so, but the skewer is probably good. I'm gonna go with this one. Although the wine, I don't have a way to make wine either, and I actually... You know what, I'm gonna go with this one first. The cookhouse. Cookhouse is huge, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so the cookhouse. I need to move all this out of the way. I don't need that right there, anyways. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Alright. 
and then I don't know what the the perk is for the next level, but I need to probably try it, test it out, and see what it is. But it requires a lot of bricks to get to that. Let's go ahead with this cookhouse first. Let's set this up. I, I'm leaving that for something else I might stick in there. Trading balance, yeah, alright. So this one is fine. So I need to solve another dangerous blaze. And how many years have passed? I'm at year three. So let's see here. Which dangerous glaze do I want to open? I guess I'll open this one. Right? Let's go ahead and open that one over there. Now let me see here. The humans are good at that. Let me take the humans off of this. Let me put the beavers on this one. Um, Humans are definitely good at growing stuff. Let me put the beavers over here. So we're going to break into this. And this one is the bricks, right? Let me add another one of these. To get that going. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, why are they walking around that way? This is like right over here, so I don't see a reason why they're they're going that far. All right, so I'm gonna break through. Let's see here. We we solved one, right? Okay. Yeah. So now we're gonna put, I guess, this chick here on this. We take this off. We don't have a way to make flowers. We put this there. We take this off here. Ooh, mushrooms not bad. Let's do mushrooms. So all of this I'm okay with. Yeah, skewers, yeah. All that's I'm, I'm okay with. No, let, me see, let me make sure. The... I think the only want, a thing we want is this one and this one, right? Not these two. We're going to make jerky... And the conversion rate here to here is actually really good. Um, to make the skewers. I'm looking at this list here. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. So I need what? More humans? That's, that's all it is. I need more humans. Alright, so we're still at one, right? I guess I could take one villager, or one woodcutter off and bring down our resolve. So we're now at zero hostility instead of one. Because we're like right at the border, so there was no reason to have this extra one. The reason I did that was because if you roll your mouse over this, it says the woodcutters is, um, is plus 60, right? 5, so it's like 60 divided by 5 is how many it is. What is that? 60 divided by 5 is 12. So it's basically plus 12 for each woodcutter. Alright, so we're down to 91. I mean, if I have another hearth, I guess I can reduce that even further, right? I have another hearth over here. I can 
right there. I guess I can do that. And then this one right here. You know, do I have the stones? Alright, well I don't have the stones right away, but we'll see. Uh, plus 50% of amount of goods produced in the farms? Yes, I like that. An art artifact infused with power of holy flame hostility from woodcutters would decrease by six. Ooh, I like that too. Okay, I don't do trading that much. I'm going to go with this one. That will significantly reduce the levels for the woodcutter. That's by half, basically. Huh. I'm going to go with the left, because I always sell this, and I always buy this. But I do need more humans, don't I? So I'm going to go with this one, because I need more humans. In my, um, for my quest. So I need more homes added. Alright, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? That's 14. So that automatically takes care of that problem. And then beaver homes. I have some beavers here. Okay, let me put this guy back on. Um, and what do we have here? We are going to want... Well, actually, she doesn't get any resolve. It's only the main hearth. Alright, I am back. The power has been restored. And, uh, luckily, the, uh, the game did actually save where I left off, surprisingly. I, I did, uh, manage to load in to check, and, uh, so I didn't lose any progress. So I, it basically left off exactly where I, I guess, my stream ended. Um, and I, I also managed to activate the Steam key that the developers just gave me and tested that out too, and it worked like a charm. I was able to export all my saves. Uh, so I transitioned over to the Steam version up against the storm. So that was pretty pretty cool. It was pretty seamless, actually, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, I guess, uh, alright, so we will continue here. Um, it was it was a shocker when it when that power just went off, and I guess my... Um, I, I was also an idiot because I forgot to hook up my my, um, my power cable to the... because uh, I have a backup battery, and for some reason, I guess, I did not plug my new computer into the battery. I had my old computer plugged into the battery. So as soon as the power went out, just, my computer just completely shut off. Or my new computer shut off immediately. Because normally like I have a backup power, so it'll beep loudly, knowing so I know that I have a power outage and then I actually will have time to save or shut down my computer. But uh, it was crazy where my my computer my my new computer just completely powered off. I'm like, what the hell? And uh, I actually thought I forgot to pay my bill or something. You know, I'm like, wait a minute, there's there's lights outside, you know, my apartment complex. The emergency lights were all on. So I thought, hell, oh, maybe I forgot to, um, yeah, maybe I forgot to uh, to pay my bill, but I didn't. That wasn't the case, because it's on auto, auto pay. My neighbors came out, and they're also saying the same thing. They heard, like, the transformer across the street, like, go on the fritz or something. So it was going on and off like crazy. So and it's raining outside too. So I don't know. It's kind of funny playing against the storm and it's raining outside. Anyways, let's go ahead and resume this. And then hopefully I can figure out how to how to string these together on YouTube, the videos. All right. So. So right before my power outage, um, oh, okay, I do have to rebuild the hearth. Yeah, it looks like I have to rebuild the hearth. 
Because the hearth actually did exist during the stream. So this game autosaved, and I guess I only picked up from where the autosave was. So I guess that is the, the case. Alright, well, let's go ahead and pick our stones here. One tablet for every two glaze solve. A shady dealer, but lucrative deal. Gain 10 amber for every time we deliver dies or leave. Hmm, I'm gonna go with this. I guess that we got a bunch of new random cornerstones this time. Okay, this is the same. Oh, actually, no, it's different because I need humans. And the left side, actually, the right side actually had more humans than the left. So this did, did randomize. So I'm going to go with the left. Yeah, would have been ruined if it was a manual save. Yeah. It would not have been ruined, you mean, if it was a manual save. Yeah, I would have preferred a manual save. This is actually reloading from my auto save, apparently. And my auto save actually had the uh, hearth already running at the time. So that kind of sucks. I'm having to pick up from where I left off. Um, yeah, I'm having to pick up from where I left off. By probably like a whole cycle or something. I think it's like a whole cycle off. Alright, well it's not so bad. It was, it's only like what, one, not cycle, one, uh, one year's worth? Because I think last time I checked. Oh yeah, it is four years here. Okay, so I guess we only lost like maybe one one season or something. But I do know this was already built right before I uh, had that outage. Uh, what, what went right in here? I can't remember. I don't think there was something in there. Right, so this one we were in the middle of, I think, working on this, right? So I guess I need to put in the barrels for this. And then I need to do another set of that, right? Yeah, another set of that. Oh, I need eight barrels. Jesus. Alright, so we need we need eight of these. Alright, eight of those. And then four of these. I'll have to move all this later. And have four of these. Okay, this is not as bad. I guess four of these. Oh, that's fine too. All right. But yes, I'm glad three of you guys came back. I don't know. I think we had like what nine, ten, eleven viewers right before I powered off. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, oh well. Hopefully you guys come back and say hello. Get in your tickets. I actually processed the four tickets that was redeemed during during that last session. So now that's in the wheel. Back added into the wheel of names. And they'll come back? Oh yeah. Alright, so let me go ahead and add this path in here. Don't worry, son. <laughs> optimistic, very good. I like that, Jamo. I like, I like optimistic people. All right, so let's see right here. So we weren't very far off. I just need to like get through this, right? Get three of those. It's not a big deal. So we're in the drizzle season. Let's go ahead and break through through this now. Or should I wait? So I break through this now, I get I get insects, right, for food. Or if I wait next season. Hmm. You know what, let's go ahead and break through this now.
because then that way I'll I'll solve the event right as the um, right as the storm comes in or right as the yeah I guess around the storm right I'll solve it around the clearance of the storm so now we get insects right oh and this is for every 10 amber in my thing I have 18 ambers oh all right so I need to spend my amber right if I could spend my amber it won't be that bad what else is here there's soil in here as well. Nice. And then I have... I have tools for this too, huh? Let's go ahead and solve this. I don't mind moving this progress bar further along. What do I want off of this? Form? A place where a villager is fulfilled. These are education. What is the bonus? The chance for bonus production yields increased by 15%. Ooh, okay. Versus pi. But I can't... I can't uh, produce pi without flour. I already have a, the, the fabric. Okay, the tools workshop is not terribly bad. But the question is... Coming up with the copper... So I'm not sure about that. Let's go ahead and re-roll this. Okay, this gives me flour. And oil. But it's not it's not a very good return rate for flour either though. What is this? Yeah, it's not a very good return rate for flour. I don't know. I mean, oil is not terribly bad, right? Because then I can actually... Well, I already have a way to produce coal. Let me go ahead and re-roll this one more time. I don't know if I want to do that, though, because I'm blowing a lot of my embers for that. Where's the... Where's the trader? You want to call him right away. So I can spend my thing. I guess I'll take the... Hang on, what's this Explorers League? Plus one for each rebuilt or salvage experience. Hey, thank you for that uh, raid. Ka Ka Casa Cavant. Appreciate that. Let me go ahead and follow your channel here. Give your channel a follow. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for showing up. Appreciate that. Yeah. How was your stream? I'm, I'm assuming that you also did some uh, Against the Storm. I guess I'll go with this press. I might as well take this. I probably won't even need it. We'll just throw this down and get some some flour going. Yeah, I got more a bit into veteran difficulty today. Oh, that's awesome. I need to try that. Um, doesn't get easier for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I'll have to try that. Did you actually win or did you lose? Because I did actually do a uh, Viceroid level on my very first start. Because I, I had played this and won this game last year and completed all the deeds. And so I reset my profile and jumped into that. And oh my god, it did not pan out very well. Because I I jumped out fresh in the water trying to do the uh, the Viceroid without any perks without any uh, upgrades to the Citadel. But luckily I I actually walked away with more stock food stock than I would have had doing an easy mode winning that. So I guess it worked out okay. Um, doesn't get easier for some reason. Had a few very close calls but no games lost yet. Oh okay so I should give veteran a try. I mean I did up I did a good significant of upgrades now that I think the veteran should be okay. I'm currently, I think I'm currently at Pioneer. So you get stuff when, even when you lose. Yeah, so when you lose, so I did lose the colony. I, I clicked on Viceroy. I had no upgrades to my Citadel. It was my very first town right out of the gate after the tutorials. And this is on a brand new profile that I had created. And then, even though I lost, I actually got 
twice the amount of resources had I picked uh, my regular run. Um, had I picked the, the settlers or whatever it was. Or, or Well, I mean, it's not... I don't think it's an oversight. I didn't get any... I didn't get any experience points. I didn't get the full amount that was promised from, from winning. I guess it, it's only fair that they gave me resource based on my progress even though like my even though my impatience went to, to red I mean I did I did a good amount of progress I mean I contributed I sent that so whenever you like do something right it says like send to Citadel right send to the Citadel so whatever that you do you say send to Citadel so technically while you're you're a viceroy and you actually work on your town it kind of seems reasonable, fair, right? That they, they give you something, even though you lost. So I, I didn't think that was too bad. Actually, let me turn this off. The reason I, want, I don't want to collect this right away is because I'm going to end up having the... Uh, Oh, did my did my guy come? Did I did I miss the <laughs> did I miss the trader? Oh my god, I must have missed the trader. He was actually here a second ago. Oh, uh, because yeah, you you raided me right in the middle of me calling immediately the trader, and I totally missed the uh, the trading window while talking. <laughs> it's okay. So I was trying to I was trying to trade off all my ambers so that I don't get caught with this. Right? That's the reason why I turned this off, because I didn't want to collect the amber here as my reward. So that way when I activate this, I don't lose this. You know what I mean? It's like minus it's like a minus four for every amber that you own. So I'd actually would lose all my resolve during during that time and I'm gonna have to do it during the storm because I, I want to benefit from this right here right gain 0.5 drizzle points or reputation points for every dangerous forbidden glaze during a drizzle so I'm trying to like time it so I actually will solve this during the storm because the storm I think is four minutes uh, so right right I guess I'll probably do it like right after the storm ends or right before the storm ends, right? Because four minutes, I should be able to swing that. But you know what? Let's go ahead and call this guy over. It's only one impatient I have to pay. Because I'm already, I'm already at zero impatience. So that's not bad. I just gotta pay attention to this again. Make sure that... I don't, I, I don't uh, lose track of the uh, trader showing up. No, oh, I guess I don't have the stones anymore. So let me go ahead and build the regular path here. Yeah, you almost never miss the trader. Unless it's bugged. No, it's right here. It's three seconds. Three seconds. Let me go ahead and redo this. Apparently, it wipes out the path when you cancel. There we go. But yeah, Shamo, you can actually redeem the raffle again since this is a brand new st stream, technically. So all those that have that are coming back, at least you get you get your ticket redemption for showing up again. All right, so here's the trader. <laughs> Cuz I just noticed I just noticed tree trees XJ just to redeem this thing. Okay, reputation. I'm okay with that. Let's see here. Vital equipment when exploring the wilds gain three packs of provisions every time you discover new glaze. Eh. Plus two scroll production. Eh. But I don't mind buying this. 
Let's see if I can sell three off. Or I can just buy, oh, you know what? I'm just going to buy this. I'm okay with this. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of all this. And I'll just buy the, the tools. There we go. And then that way I can get rid of all my my amber. So right right when I when I start solving this, I won't get any penalties at all. So yeah, so that's the plan. And then these guys here, I guess I'll move them here. And the funny thing is, like, right before you had showed up with a raid, by the way, um, uh, Kanja, I, uh, I actually was streaming this, and uh, my power went out. <laughs> so I'm really glad that I got a chance to get back on just in time for you to raid me. Appreciate that so much, by the way. Alright, so I need to solve this glaze here. I, oh, I need 14 clothes, right? Is it where 14 clothes? Or is it just for 120 seconds? Oh. For 120 seconds. I'm wondering if I just buy this. Let me just go ahead and buy some of this. That's six coins, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna convert this to that. There we go. All right, yeah. Give uh give Kanja a a follow, guys. Appreciate him rating us. So let's go ahead and trade this, and that way we'll get some clothing. I might, I might be able to knock this out of the way. Yeah, I had the clothes on, uh, the clothes one two in my last outpost. Only issue was I needed to supply eighteen, but only like twelve, be uh, twelve beavers. And some orders can be really tricky if you don't really pay attention. I should read more carefully. Yeah, this is not a supply once fourteen or pay. This I actually need to keep it running for 120. So I I bought a little bit more than 14 to see if um, that's going to be enough. Hopefully it's going to be enough. It does make me a little nervous, but that should be enough, right? Because I think they last. They last a little bit for more than a minute at least when they wear it. So there we go. So hopefully that will last. And then we, I think we got the the mushrooms over here, right? And that's running, right? And then, do we have level 3? Okay, so we do have level 3. So what is the perk for level 3? Plus 10% to global extra production chance. Versus this 10% for global production speed. Oh, okay, it's a chance. Oh, okay. Alright, so that's not as bad. And these guys are over here. Well, let's go ahead and add some human housing over here. Or beaver house. Let's add. Let's add. Um, yeah, let's add some beaver housing over here. Right. I need. Actually, hang on. I need two eight. Right. I need eight. Let's go do this. So that should be eight, and then I need barrels, right? I need like three, but four barrels or something. One, two, three, four. Okay, that should be good enough. Yeah, my MW2 is about to be done. What is MW2? Mech Warrior 2? I don't know what Mech, uh, 
MW2 wins. Okay, this is Beaver, right? It's a Beaver specialization. Alright, I, mean, I guess I, sh I need to probably reduce this to bring my resolve down. It might not matter during the storm, but we'll see. Alright, there we go. The clothing is actually kicking in. And human homes. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Seven. Okay, so we got the seven we needed. The beavers, we need we need seven as well for beavers. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. We need one more for the beaver. Which I could probably just delete one of these. Just add that beaver home here. Alright, because there's only like, what, seven harpies? So this is like one. Okay, so we're in now the drizzle or the storm season, so I can start activating this now. I'm gonna choose this as my reward. And I have no amber, so that should not matter. And then this one right here. Complete 12 trade routes. No way. I'm going to go with this one. I think I'll, this is only 50 times, right? So I should be okay with this. I've already got it like 50 over here, so I only need a few more. And what's this last one? Have 18 big beavers? No, that shouldn't be too hard either. And that's never going to happen. So I'm going to go with this one. And then the biscuits, right? I need more. I need 20. Ooh, I should have brought bought <laughs> the 23 biscuits off that other guy. Uh, can I make biscuits? I can't remember if I can make biscuits or not. I should be able to make biscuits, right? Because now we have a press. Right, so I, I'm getting flour here. So I should be able to make biscuits and solve the other one easily. So yeah, we should be able to complete this. This the solve event done, close event done. That's three or two, yeah, because this gets us the one. So it's three points. We just need to move 0.75, which is which is probably I could probably get the this right here done, and we're good, right? I mean, the next group of humans will automatically get this done as well. So we should be able to get this in five years, right? It's currently year four. But once the drizzle kicks in, it'll be year five. So we should be okay now. We want to complete this in a short amount of time as much as possible. So that way our global view will beat that other faction. When it's time to, uh, to take them on for the for the uh, final cycle. I want to be able, be able to get that final reward. Oh, hang on. Shoot. Cancel. This is that one. <laughs> Yeah, I, I clicked on the wrong one. I didn't have any. Um, I didn't have any incense. I guess I'll do that other side first. Harpies are okay. So the clothing is almost done. Oh, just in time, too. Oh, I bought just enough. Oh, I bought just enough. Look at that. Ooh, that was so close. Alright, so we knocked out that out of the way. So now, let's see here. This is the final blueprint. Ooh, the clothier. Oh, the flour mill.
Huh. I mean, that's the best thing, but I, I'm going to end up getting this. Anyways. It really doesn't matter, does it? Let's go ahead and complete this. Because I'm about to win, so it doesn't really matter. Sure. Rain mill. Sure, I guess I'll stick with that. So I guess I can cut cut that off. Alright, so this one we just need three, right? Three humans. So I'll go with this one over here. So that completes the human quest. Gain wealth for every amber soul. Or really, well, none of this really matters anymore at this point. Because I should be able to win this. So we're going to add beavers to this. And then this should... This should finish. So I should get that 0.5. Right, 0.5 from this right here, 0.5 and the 1. And then I'm going to move this and move this. So we should be able to win right now once this completes. Yeah, see, done. And then, yeah, so we should, once this is done, we'll, we, we win, all right? I don't even have to, like, turn this in. Yeah, I don't even have to turn that in. Because this gives me one point, and then solving it during the drizzle is 0.5. And I'm already past that threshold. Um, so I guess I'll just go ahead and pop some blaze while I'm at it. Any, into any other glass? I guess I can cut into that one, right? So what I'm trying to do is get all my open into the glaze achievement out of the way. Because this all stacks or accumulates. I think next time I'm gonna have a bunch of these woodcutters um, set aside to spam this. Yeah, so I should be able to get that in what 50, 50 seconds. What's this? Eh, don't care. Okay, let's move this guy over here. Uh -huh. I'm actually getting insects, right? Every time I pop into those, too. What's this give me? It's a blaze event. Right, let's go ahead and speed this up. But yeah, as soon as this guy finishes, I win, right? Oh, I didn't get the other one. Okay, that's fine. Cool beans. All right, so how many years is that? I think it was five years, right? I think I completed that in five years. It's four or five. This is us. How do the blue guys... Oh my god, how do those blue guys finish so fast? I need to like block the blue guys from winning, right? I need to do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one right here to get this over here. 
This also gets me machinery. So this is actually a, the best choice right here. Versus this. I don't care about this guy anymore, right? He's he's down here now. So I need to block the blue guys from going over this direction. So let me go ahead and take a look at my upgrades. And I should have enough for this, right? Oh no, I don't have enough for this. Shoot. I'm currently blocked. I might go with that one. Being able to re-roll is not bad. Versus this. Alright, I'm going to go with this one. Being able to re-roll the thing? I, I don't mind that. Let's take that. And then I'm going to go with the blocking this guy here. Alright, so I don't like having harpies on my team. So I'm going to go with this one here. And then the and then the modifiers, or the rewards here, basically I get machinery. I want that. And then my modifiers. This is unable to use the pause function. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting run. I can't pause playing this. So we'll go with this. Oh, they changed the meat now, the two, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, for, for a second ago it was one, and the last run it was one. Now it's gotten a little harder. That's okay, I definitely want the meat. Right, okay, yeah, we'll go with this. And we're gonna go with this. I'm hoping for a lizard. Lizard and beavers, those are the ones I'm hoping for. It's gonna be really interesting when they add in another species. I don't know how that's gonna play out. Um, the, I'm pretty sure the new species are going to be the numbats. I don't know if I'm ready to go veteran yet. Let's see here. What's my reward if I go veteran? No, it's only slightly more. It's not that. It's not that much more. It's more experience points though. It's like what? 14 more? 24 more? It's uh, okay. 24 more. Okay. And um, hmm, I get one less embark. You know what? I'm going to go with the Pioneer for now. Let's go with this. Go Viceroy? Not this time around. I did that last. <laughs> I did that once. I don't know. I mean, I could go for this, but realize that this is on the no pause thing, and I'm not too sure about wanting to do the no pause on Viceroy or Veteran. I'm going to go with this. I'll save the Veteran for a different run. Not being able to pause while streaming is kind of a bad thing. Especially when I'm talking to people. Right? Especially like, you know, when I get like developers popping in. I had like a developer pop in earlier, ask me if I want to get early access to the core keeper. And he gave me like a link. So I got side distracted watching the video link that he sent me. Alright, so I cannot pause after I close this window. So let me examine this first before Xing out of the screen. Because once I X out of the screen, there's no pausing. Um, Alright, so small energizing drops cause uncontrollable growth in some species. All resource nodes discovered during drizzle have 10 more charges. Okay, that's not bad. So I just need to make sure that I discover stuff during the drizzle phase. Just like last phase. Or last cycle. Or the last map. All right, so this one here says villagers with this effect move 20% faster. Eh, I don't really care too much about that. To get this bonus, I need complex food and housing. Housing, I should be able to swing. Complex food, hmm. It's kind of a dice roll there. All right, so what's this one here? Uh, strange voices call from the depths. Uh, villagers working in mines get minus 10 resolve during the storm. So we don't, we don't do mines that much so this is not gonna matter to us I mean if anything I just take them all out of the mines right rotten rain infects the fields with living matter so I've never actually had to deal with this I don't know what this means per se I've never dealt with living matter this is something new that they've added from last year that I have not actually seen 
or within this past year, because I actually won last year. And so, and this living matter thing must have been added like after I had, had stopped playing. Um, and this is what global food production is 15% slower. This effect uh, scales with hostility. Okay, so I'm not too worried about global food production. I should already have like a stockpile by that point. So this will not matter. So the only thing I'm worried about is this. I don't know what the hell this is. And then this here, I, it shouldn't be a problem at all. This one scares me, so I don't know what this is. All right, and then we can't pause. And this is our standard, right, our usual. Okay, let's give this a go. Here we go. Oh, I get, I get to, oh, I'm still paused in this mode, nice. Okay. So I'm at least paused right now out of the gate, which gives me a little bit of time to set things up. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. I need to take advantage of this while I still can. Um, Right, and then the housing. And we're going to do the pathing from here to here. Um, and we'll go like this for now. Alright, and then do this right here because I know that's going to be something I want to put down. Oops, shit. I don't want that. So there's definitely something there to to knock out, right? What is this? This is fiber, right? Harvest harvest camp. Alright, I'm not gonna mess with that right now. That's fine. And this is roots, right? This is scavenger, I think. Yeah, okay. Alright, and then we're gonna choose our thing. Alright, so I, I I can definitely use the weaver. Let's go with this. All right, rain mill, no, rain, oh, rain mill, oh, plantation. I guess I'll go with berries, right? Well, but having that pack of materials is useful early on because I can actually save myself resources. It uses less for that. Uh, plus, well, the berries have to find the, the soil. But getting that flour mill very early on, I don't mind that. Let's go with this, because then I also get pack materials increase. Ooh, a lumber mill. Ooh, ranch. <laughs> this is not bad either, because I can get I can convert my meat that I currently have. Right? I mean I like this planks thing. Because then we can just kind of pump that out as quickly as possible. I'm going to go with this because I can get the fuel for the coal. Get the bricks better and the jerky. Alright, so we'll go with that. Alright, so here we go. Unpause. Yep, I can't repause. Alright, that was it. I can't repause. Alright, let, let me take this chick instead. This is my no pause run. I'm a little nervous about the no pause run. I remember doing this during my uh, my playthrough last year. Right. If they die, then I get 
money. Okay. So I won't spend too much time explaining too many things on or on the order screen because I can't pause. I just want to make sure that I. Uh, I think they're still running, right? Or is it just paused? I think it's still running. Okay, yeah, I'll take the the two glaze. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, have six harpies? Oh, this one's not too bad either. But this one gets me the herbalist camp right away. Well, it's not right away, but having six harpies. Hang on, how many harpies do I have? I have two. This is gonna be tricky, huh? But getting this herbalist camp is good. Getting this is not bad either. Oh, it's a very tricky choice here. I did select the weaver, didn't I? You know what? I'm going to go with the laugh. And this is what? Trading post? Sell that? Versus solve glaze and get this. And I should. Well, this basically consumes 10 amber if I choose this one. So I'm going to go with this one. I don't want to consume 10 amber. I mean, I'll have to pay 10 amber. That's what it means. So. Alright. What is this one? I need complex food. Go further this over here. I'm gonna put the crude workstation in here. What is this one? This is the fiber, right? So we want the crude workstation. Hang on. Uh, oh, I can't pause. Okay, let me turn this off. I don't know which one I want yet. Okay, so I need four, four bricks. I need to wait for the four bricks. Uh, is, does that give me bricks? No. These. Are, oh, you know what? I have to make the four bricks now, don't I? Uh, let me take. I, I. I won't have that one, right? So I need. I need to make the four bricks to get the kiln running, so I can do the. To do the. Uh, oh, hang on. Let me turn this off too. Because I might need that for for the um, for the crop thingy, right? All right, so so I might have to delete some of these stones that I got. Yeah, I might have to delete some of the stones. Shoot. Alright, well, let's go ahead and delete some of this. Because um, I need to use the stone, basically, to get this running. So, yeah, all right, that's fine. So I just need to get the, this running first. Is that going to get me enough, though? That's two bricks. She's, to, she's making two, right? So I can put this one away. Alright, so I can put that one away. And then the bricks, I don't need I don't need to make the stones right away with the bricks. Well it depends. How much is the weaver? The weaver doesn't require anything. Alright, so the weaver is just planks. So we'll go ahead and enable that. And turn this off. Deliver this. 
So that gets made. I need one more housing, I guess. Alright, so we have no other way to get bricks right now. This doesn't give us bricks, right? Oh, it does give me a 20% chance. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and um, let's harvest that. Let's set up the harvester over here, and then I'll move it over there. I'll move this guy closer. I'll move this guy closer. Because what we want is... We want to... Oh, I can't pause. <laughs> I want to switch this to this. Oops, I want to use that. I don't want to use that. No. Yeah. And now we're going to add this chick to that. And I disable the stones. Okay. Because I want to keep the stones for this. And then this here is... We're going to want the weaver. For that. And then what is the other one? The rain mill eventually. For pack materials. Well, we didn't find any. Okay, so there, there wasn't any quest that we picked for pack materials. So this rain mill is slightly is useless right now for us. Unless I can get like a farm next. So when's the next occurrence? So I need six harpies to get this done. To move the bar. So this is going to be tough. Alright, which one? And this is the scavenger, and that's scavenger. Alright, so that one, we're just going to move it over here. Alright, so this one right here, it'll be a while, right? So this chick can actually do that. So let me go ahead and put this chick on this. And then once this chick comes up with the eight, we'll we'll take her off this and move her over there. right here. We're going to make some decorations to get to the next level. I always forget to do this one. Oh, I can't. We have no builders. Right? Oh, okay, yeah. Right, let me go ahead and have her build this. I want to get to the next level because I think that gets us like plus one or plus two resolve. So we want to get that resolve initially. And then we want this as high priority for removal so I can get that road in there. Right, so what do we got here? Okay, I like this on the left. Yeah, I like the left. Alright, so what do we got? We need uh, more harpies, right? So I'm going to go with the left. So I need two more harpies now. So we're going to put this one in here. Right, and then we need another house, right? Yeah, we do need another house. Oof. Yeah, let's go. Oops, yeah, let's go ahead and add this house. Sure, let's add it right there. Okay, so this one right here, we're going to move it closer towards this. And highlight this. Let me rotate this a little bit. And then this dude here. Over here. 
here. Let's go ahead and highlight this. And uh, how much? How much? Okay, so we'll put that there. So we have like two left, right? Two workers left. So let me add another one in here then to get this running. And the weavers basically will give us the resolve we need for harpies, right? For the harpies. Because they benefit from this weaver. Building. So what do we got? We need complex food, which is the... It should be this. Right, what do we got here? All right, so we do have a way to make this. That one we don't have a way to make that. So I'm gonna go with this one because if we solve this, we get the three harpies. So this comes from the rain mill. This is the crops. We, we can get that from the the makeshift uh, thingy, makeshift posts. This is solve two dangerous glaze. What's this? Gain two amber for every six pack of trade goods produced. Eh. What's this one? Trade traders? Okay, I have to pay this. You know what? Solving is easier. I'm gonna go with this one. Because we're gonna solve two things anyways. All right, so I just need to break into two dangerous glaze. So I knock this out, knock this out, knock this out. Easily. And if I do this one first, I should be able to knock this one out. So let's go ahead and Take a look at this rain mill here. Let's take that there. That requires planks. And whatever else, let me turn this off here. And we'll put the harpies in here. Harpies, herpes, harpies. And this one is five, right? We have exactly the five. So that's perfect, actually. All right, so let me turn this off. Let me turn this off. And then pack materials. Let me turn this off. I don't want pack materials using that. Mm. So how many pack materials do we need? We only need three, right? So let me turn this off for now. Yeah, I only need three. Hang on. Five, five. Yeah, that's actually not bad. So let's go with that. All right, so I need crops. So I guess I'll need the... Makeshift post. Let's stick that there. Add another shelter home. Just in case. And then we're going to drag this over here. And then we're going to add in a scavenger camp right here. to get rid of that. All right, so the makeshift post, I don't need this. I don't need this. Let's turn this off, turn this off. I guess I'll do the, I guess I'll do the, the thing. Okay, we only, what, need two, right? Or three? Three, okay. Let me put her in there then. I don't need this anymore, right? Turn this off. So that's fine, right? Alright. We're in decent shape still. Actually, you know what? Let me turn, take, take this off. Because we're actually getting a lot of copper from, I guess, the the digging the forest, right? Let's 
go ahead and turn this lever in. So we get this pack of crops moving. Move this bar here. So I think I might need another. Okay. I think this is higher priority then. All right, we're definitely gonna need food. <laughs> Which one of these gives us food? None of them. The dangerous glaze could give us food. It's the insects. All right. Well, solving this will solve this, and we'll move the bar twice. So that should be okay. All right, let me turn this off. I don't need this right away. Let me turn this high highway on that one. Lack of building materials. Okay, so I already got the crops. I don't need this chick anymore. I'll turn this off. Right, we have one builder, right? So that's this is the one we need to build. And it's got what? Eleven charges left. Okay. And then this chick here. This one. Do I need planks? I don't, do I need the planks right now? I don't know. I have nine planks. I don't necessarily need it right away. So I'm trying to get the pack of building materials out of the way. This anymore, right? I don't need. All right, so this she's done. Let's take her off the list. I don't need that there, right? All right, so we can turn this in. Boom. Now I can get that one done. Move this bar. Hmm. I don't like that, any of these options. I'd like to get. I like to get a uh, a farm at least. Let's go ahead and re-roll. Oh, there we go. This is the small farm. Okay, I'm gonna take that. All right, so now we just need to find soil, and then we also now have the herbalist camp at our disposal. Oh, the cookhouse. Mm -hmm. Pack of provisions. You know, I'll take the cookhouse. Because that could be useful. Alright, so let's go with this cookhouse here. Um, so I should have that. Do I have brick? I think I have brick, right? No. Did I get? Yeah, are they getting the brick? Oh, I'm missing two brick. Oh, well, I should be able to get the brick. Let me go ahead and put this on high high priority. Or low. Let me low everything. Right. Let me uh, put this one on high priority for now. So we should be able to get the brick easily. All right, so now let's see here what we got. Three roots per minute. Okay, this is really gonna be useful for us because then that gets us food every minute. And then this is a little bit of food, right on the right. Oh, we got the lizard guy. Let me switch this lizard in here. Nice. I needed that lizard guy. Let me take this girl off. Let me put all the harpies in here. 
this one I don't care about anymore. Let's go ahead and move this. And then she should get bonus, right? I don't know. Take that off. Alright, so this one is a scavenger. Let's see here. What what can this do? Herbalist, right? This doesn't do anything for us right now. Alright, so the makeshift post doesn't do anything for us right now. Let's move this out of the way. And then this right here. I guess we'll add her in there. And then this one. We'll move it down here somewhere, I guess. Or hang on, I guess I can move it over here, right? Onto this side here. I just move that away. I don't need that in there. I'm gonna put that in the back, I guess. Alright, so this one right here, we just need the brick. So what's going on here? Let's deliver that. We need more lizard lizard people wait hang on oh we can't get there all right well that's fine we'll we don't have the stones right away so let's go ahead and build this until I get some something for that lizard guy let me take the let me take this off Okay, that's fine. Let me take you put this loose. Let me take these off. The mushrooms okay. And these are okay, right. So let's put the chick here then I guess for now. To cook that. We have ten flour. That's about it. Huh. I could convert the roots to flour too if I wanted to, but I don't think that's a good idea. Alright, so the next wave is what? Let me put this here. The next wave is four barrels. And then four of these. And then do we have enough? So we have extra pack materials. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Okay. This is what? Trade goods? Versus luxury goods. No, I don't know. Trade goods, luxury goods? I, I don't know. Well. This one should be too hard to come up with. I don't know what the trade good is, but we'll take it, I guess. No, oh my god, it's even worse. Okay, this one is bathhouse. Yeah. I don't know. Eh, what is this? Gain one for every cosmetics? We oh. Well, let's go with this. I mean, I'm assuming we're going to eventually be able to produce trade goods, right? I mean, I, I don't have the ability to do trade goods right away. Yeah. So what's this trade good say? Lumber mill, right? Weaver and Smithy. Oh, we have a weaver. Oh, we do have a weaver. Okay. Let me take all this off. We should be able to hit, have the barrels, right? Six barrels of two. That's 10, right? I need 10. Then, hmm. That gets me these things here. Or I, or I save it for 25. But 25, that's like, what, 26? 26 divided by 2 is 13. 13 times 6, I'm not going to get enough barrels. So that's not... This is a very, very, very bad ratio here. Very bad ratio. I mean, it wouldn't be as bad if I have flour. 
Alright, what's this pigment thing? That's scroll. I don't think scroll fits in this list. No, it's flower, but okay. That's fine. Alright, how do I make this harpy happy? I need her to be at 15. Okay, so I should be able to get the pack of trade goods. Um, this level, right? This level over here. So this could move the bar by one. Oh, you know what? I, could, I guess I know how to get the harpy down. Let me go ahead and play this. There we go. That gets the harpy. So that should help move this bar a little bit more. Nineteen subtract four during the storm. Okay, so we should still be able to hit this. I should be able to get to the next next bit here. All right, building material. Put this here then. Yeah, so it goes down to 16, which we're still good. So I should be able to get a blueprint here very soon. What do we got here? Jerky. Hmm. That's actually not bad. I mean, this is the jerky is probably the best choice of all of them because that actually is the most efficient. Oh, uh, then again, I actually used up all my meat. So well, this here lets me make cosmetics, but I've already skipped over that. Right? Pack of building materials level two. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this one lets me produce pottery. Let's go with this one because I can produce pottery. Oh, right away. Alright, so this is done. Let me take this out. Let's take that side. What I need, I need building materials, right? Let me go ahead and take this away. Uh, let me stop this. I don't need this jerky anymore. Smokehouse. Let's put that smokehouse here. Alright, so let's see here. What, do, what else do we have? Houses have one more spot. Gain three barrels for every ten planks produced. Ooh. I'm gonna go with this. Right, for, for every ten planks produced. I think barrels are used in the... Hang on. Are barrels in this? Barrels are in this. Okay. So I just need to produce as many planks as possible. Huh. Parts or this parts I can always sell right two point six nine. But roots I kind of need for food. I need to eat roots. You know what? I'm gonna go with this because I need to eat. Let me change this to be roots. They need to start eating roots because that's kind of my problem right now. Pack of building materials. Alright, so I'm gonna go with this.
And then this right here. Oh, I'll add the lizard guys, right? Because they get the resolve. Alright, so we also need to add in housing. Alright, so this one right here, we're going to use this. Oops, we're going to cancel all this, use that. And that's fine. We're going to take this pottery off. We're going to take this incense off. Alright, actually, pottery. Okay, no. The other one was barrels, right? We get barrels when we do this. Yeah. the pack of trading goods. Yeah. Pack of trade goods. Okay. Pack of trade goods. I should be able to solve this first. Alright, so now we're going to have to... We're going to definitely have to fill this up. Because I don't think I can lower this anymore. We definitely need food. Yeah, we're in a food situation. Food crunch. So here, pack it. Oh, we need ten. That's why they. That's why she stopped. That's why she stopped. Alright, so this one right here, we can't make any of this, right? Oh, pigments converts to this, right? Hang on. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't use pigments. Interesting. Okay. Let me turn all this off. Because pigments, I actually can convert pigments to the um, the pack of trade goods. Yeah, so I'm gonna take this off. We'll use the we'll use the coal to generate that. So let me go ahead and add another chick to this. So let's see here. Where are we at now? One minute and 37 seconds. Alright, so the next one, after this next one, I'm going to bust into one of these things to get this vent thingy solved. Alright, yeah, that's not a big deal. Okay. So we do have flour. Which one do I want to break into? I guess I can break into this one, right? I'm gonna wait until this. I'm gonna wait until we get this first because it might be like open into a glaze or solve some of them. So I want to stack this, 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 this together. Or sorry, this, this, and this. Maybe these two. We'll see. All right. So what do we got here? Lumber mill. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be so great. Let me turn all those off. Actually, I don't need this anymore, right? Yeah, let me leave this. Cause now we got this lumber mill. Oh, it's great, perfect. Lumber mill. Oh, I need bricks. Mm. Where am I gonna get this brick? All right, I guess we'll we'll use the brick from there. All right, so sell sell goods with the trader. I guess all oh, that's easier to do than this. 
Level two with two standings? No. I'm gonna sell. And then what is this one? Have clothing 40 times? Eat the pie? Get a market? I guess I'll go with this one. Alright, that's fine. So now we're just gonna bust open this one. Cause I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be okay with this. And then we're gonna need that trader trading post. Let me go ahead and add this trading post here. All right, so we don't need this anymore. Yeah, we don't need any of this anymore. So we need what? Pack of trade goods, right? Which comes from this over here. And this is the pigment thing, right? All right, so this one I need to solve. Oh wait! Oh, I should have I should have solved it during the uh, drizzle. Yeah, I should have solved it during the drizzle. Opened it up during the drizzle. That's okay. Now, what's it say? Strange voices can be heard. All woodcutters and gatherers are minus fourteen years old. It is inactive only when its corresponding glades is being worked on. Okay, and then it's only active when it's port. Okay, uh, impatience grows twenty five percent faster. Okay, let's go ahead and solve this. Ooh. That's a lot of bricks. I don't have bricks right now. I'm tempted to get that one. Actually, there's stones here. Let me go with this one. I'm okay with this one. I need to investigate. Oh, and the trader's here. Okay. So what can I buy here? Smithy. Oh, the Smithy a pack of trade goods is even better. But I have to <laughs> I have to sell enough stuff to get that. I don't know if I can come up with that. What's this other one? I think it's building, right? Yeah, I don't care about that one. What's this one? Move roads faster. Okay, first of all. I have all this extra. Oh, I can't pause. Oh, this is a pause. This screen is actually a pause. Okay. Let me get rid of all of this. Because I actually have extras of those. But I can't. So I need. Um, how much? How can I get? No, oh, I don't know if I can get to that. Need twenty two for this. This is eighteen? It's six, right? But we're gonna have a we're gonna have a, a let's see, I'm gonna get rid of some of this. Hopefully I don't regret that, but no, it's only five, it's not that big of a deal. This is pack we don't need pack of crops anymore, right? That's leftovers. We only need a pack of trade goods. Um, let me go ahead and get rid of this. Because we're going to have a lot of those soon. Actually, no. You know what? I don't want to get rid of it just yet. Um, hang on. Zero. And get rid of this. Alright, that's fine. Alright, that's good enough. So I'm gonna buy this, because then I can actually get a pack of trade goods and clothing. So we're gonna be able to make clothing.
and I need bricks. So how am I gonna get the bricks? Oh, pack of trade goods. So let me take off this pack of trade goods thing. Because we're gonna build a new one. I'm gonna take this off for now. I need two two um I need two bricks. Where am I gonna get the bricks? Oh hey, okay, there we go. Two bricks right here. We got the two bricks. Alright, so this over here. I need these woodcutters to come this way. So I can get rid of all of this. Um, we avoid opening anything. And then this right here, they're solving this, right? One minute. Okay, that one requires 14. I don't have any of that. Um, Alright, let's take a look at this. One pack. Okay. I'm going to get this one, right? Yeah, we're going to get that one. Wait, it says one dangerous event. Oh, it's open, but it's not solved. Okay, yeah, 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 we're so good. We opened it, but we didn't solve it. Okay, so this one I'm okay with taking. So we kind of need more of that lizard. And this one right here, the lizard guy should be working good. I'm going to take the lizard guy off of this. Put him on this. And then... Man, I guess we're gonna have to eat that. That's terrible. We have to eat that. Uh, like this, I gotta get the small farm going as soon as possible. Yeah. Let's get the small farm. We're in a we're in a very bad situation. Herbalist camp. Okay, let me get this herbalist camp in here. Yeah, we're in a really bad situation. What's this? This is roots, right? We have we have a scavenger camp. Let's move this over here. Get some roots going. That's solved, right? We got one solved. All right, so we need to. So we're getting coats. That's going to help us a lot. This pigment thing. What was this one? Let me take this pigment thing off. Oh wait, we we do need the pigment thing on. Never mind. Where was the other one? I think it was this one, right? Pack of trade goods. Turn off this. That produces fabric. What's this one do? Okay, so we need trade goods, right? And that will move the needle. And this right here, we're gonna get this chicken here to get all that. And then this right here, we're going to need to start getting this farm field going. I think right here is probably the best spot for it. Alright, so the stone cutters camp. 
don't think that. Yeah, there's nothing in the benefits of this, so let's leave that there. So we did. I don't think we made a stone cutter's camp. All right, here we go. So that should help that right there. And we need housing again. Let's go ahead and get this housing up running. And then, uh, so yeah, we just need to produce the pack of trade goods. And the, we've got coats running, right? So we need open up another glaze. A dangerous glaze, right? And then solve the dangerous glaze. And that should be good. Okay. I think I'll put these new stores like right here. And then here we're gonna add in that. And we're gonna add in a down the field there. Okay, that's perfect. So that should get us some grains. Right. And then the grains then in turn should start helping us get this running. So what year are we on now? We're in year four. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I need to probably pop in another another glaze. But I need to do that during the drizzle season. Oh my goodness, I don't have any food, do I? I only have roots. That's the only food that I've got going right now. Pack a trade good level two, right? This is level two. Okay, that should give me barrels. Yeah, it should give me barrels eventually. I don't want. Oops, hang on, shit. I don't want flour in this. And then. Consumption wise, yeah, I'm slightly screwed on the food situation. So I'm waiting till the drizzle to pop open one of these glaze. Because then I get more nodes or charges. So which one do I want to open? I mean, this one is the closest one, right? I'd like to get clear through this. Right, let's go with this over here somewhere. And then what's this? Oops, yeah. Can't call him through the storm, right? Oh man. Low on food. Tell me something I don't know. Alright, so this is the last grouping. How many harpies? Okay, I might be able to get the 16 harpies. But the pack of trade and building materials is fine. I guess the crops is I can't come up with, so I'm going to go with the left. What's this one? At least two hubs upgraded to neighborhood level. Uh, clothing 50 times. And I need a druid's thingy. Sure, that's fine. Well, this is probably easier to do. I don't know about the druids. Oh, I do. Wait, do I have a press? No, I have a rain thingy. I don't have a way to make oil. Yeah. I mean, this shouldn't be too hard to come up with. 
but this one, oh, you know, I'll go with the left one. Because I'm going to have this 50 times. I just have to buy that, I think. So it should be okay. I mean, this is coming up with berries, too. Right? So technically, I should get some berries. What's the other one? This is... Okay, well that one I don't... Yeah. Okay, that one I don't have any... Okay, so now we're in the drizzle. Let's go ahead and pop open these balloons. An ancient pack. Cost of knowledge. Minus 15 every time to sell goods worth of 25. But this isn't... I mean, this is not bad either. I mean, okay, I'm gonna go with this, this knowledge thing. Because that, somebody dies, but that's okay. Um, food? Okay, let's go with this. So that gives us knowledge on where to go. Okay, the caravan is not hard to solve. This is the fishman, right? That's the fish totem one. That's that shouldn't be too hard to solve. Big encampment homestead. Oh, the homestead right here. Oh, rain spirit totem. Homestead. Big camp. All right, I think I'm gonna go with this one over here then. Oh, I can't pause. <laughs> We can't pause. But the homestead, I definitely know, is amazing. They actually added that. That's still in the game. But it's so OP that they don't want us. Okay, I'm going to buy this one for sure. They just don't want us to, um, to have it as something we can build. Alright, so let me get rid of what? I have a ton of this. Do I need I need how many more goods sold? Let me check this. What is our orders? I need um I need twelve? Twelve, right? Forty five, twenty seven? No. Forty five, subtract twenty seven? What is that? 18. I need 18. Okay. So I need to sell about 18 worth of goods. I don't necessarily need a hearth. Let me go ahead and sell that. Um. Alright, so we're gonna... This is 31, right? How much is the fat clothing? I guess I'll sell some clothes. Mm. That's 11, right? You know what? I'll sell some clothes. Or, sorry, uh, fabric, right? Fabric. Maybe some of this. Maybe some of this. I need 18 worth, right? So let's go with this. Alright, so we'll go ahead and add some of this. It's 27. Do I have anything else? Hmm. I kind of need food though, right? Hmm. Or tools. I don't know. 
I might need the tools. I'm thinking here. I might need the tools. Alright, let's go trade this. That's fine. I'm gonna I need to buy that anyways. So we got ten coins left. How many tools do I have? I have one tool. Oh man. Let's see here. Actually here. Well, what's what's our orders? I should be able to get six, right? And seven. Six and seven. So I don't need the tools. Okay, I don't need the tools. All right, tavern, monastery reduces the the global thingy. So let me go ahead with the monastery because then I can reduce my whole entire resolve down. All right. So I need the pack of trade goods to kick in. Right? All right, so I need to, I could probably slow down on this. I don't need that many. I have so much, right? Yeah, I need to stop. I need to stop producing that. So let me go ahead and stop. Yeah, this they should already be stopping this. So this one right here. Should be that one, right? Okay, so we're we're good. So pack of trade goods now should move this bar. And I need to move Where's my other woodcutter? Where's my other woodcutter? Okay, here. So somebody's gonna die once I bust through this. Lizard guys. I guess we'll we'll put this here. We'll add a couple of them for lizards. And I need I need some housing for humans. I need to get through this right away. Come on, there we go. So that was done during the drizzle. So this one I need to send people in there. Alright, so I should be able to handle this right away. Choose reward. I'm going to go with one on the right. Alright, so this one we're done. On that one, we're done on that one. I need to solve that and get this out of the way. I need to get harpies. Two more harpies. And I need to figure out how to come up with the oil. take this off that guy stops producing okay there we go that's fine so that should give me my last bit there and then this homestead here I definitely want definitely definitely want this I don't think I can relocate this, right? I'm not sure if it can be moved. That's the only problem. Alright, so this one... What do I want? Oh, oil! I can make oil. That's the oil I needed, right? Yeah, let's go with this oil thingy. So that should solve my other problem.
Yeah, let's go ahead and... Mm, where is it? Where's the thing? Press, right? So we take this off, this off, and we're gonna use we use grain for this oil. We need what? Thirty oil, right? Thirty oil. Easy peasy. And then here, do we have enough? I think that's not a big deal. Okay, so let me put the meat away because we apparently we have meat stored in here. So we need two harpies to move this bar. A pack of trade goods will move the bar. This should move the bar. And then this right here. Well, I don't want to solve this. There's no reason to solve this. Um, Ahead and move this over here. Get this closer over here. What's this? This is the stone thingy, right? Okay. Let me move this guy over here. We can gather all the stones we want from this. So getting this running will be amazing. Uh oh, low resolve. One human died? How did he die? Cause a sacrifice. Oh, it's because um, we broke through the glaze. That's why. He's, okay, that's fine. We're gonna get villagers anyways off of this. So we got new guys showing up. Uh, Alright, so the monastery. There we go. So we minus 100 on this. So that shouldn't be a problem anymore. So now we roll through this. Huh. Now we have the ability to make pies, right? I think we were looking for pies. Let's go with this. Cause now we can make pies. Whereas we couldn't do that before. I guess I'll stick it right here. I don't have any other place for it. For it. All right, so this one, I'm going to fill it up with humans. Oh, I can move this. Oh my god, look how amazing this is. I can move this. So they didn't fix that. It used to be like, a, I, I was afraid that you couldn't move it. So I don't think, I don't think it was movable before either. So we're slightly off on the human thingy, right? Let me take this off, so that way we don't have to worry about the the resolve. Okay, what is this? Gain one insect every time. To, uh, okay, that's actually not bad. I'm gonna go with this one. That gets us food. Left or right? Left or right? What? Oh, left or right? Left or right? Food is always good. Let me go with the left. Okay, so that is good, right? What is this one? So that's the coats. This is the fiber. This is the 
the weeds, right? We're gonna put somebody on this one. That's grain, right? Yeah, grain. Alright, so this one we can choose whatever we want, right? Oh, she's doing all of it. Oh, hey, he's, he's the trader right here. Alright, so this... What's this? Minus dur storm duration, yes. Traders will travel quicker. Coal production increase? Ooh, that's not bad either. I'm gonna go with that. Um... Because I have so much of this. I can probably sell some of that. I'm going for 15, right? 11. Let's go add, do some more of this. There we go. Wow, look how much that is. It's amazing. Okay. So what else do I want to buy off this guy, though? Flour, right? Flour is good for food right now. I kind of need the flour to make some biscuits. Um, I don't need the pack of trade good thing anymore, right? I'm pretty sure I don't. So that's a perk there. Eighty-eight? Ninety-five? Okay, that's fine. I think this is good, right? I just get some little extra food here. It's flour. I'm gonna buy this. Because why not? And this one I can probably sell, right? I don't need this here either. Point seven five. Sure, let's go ahead and sell some of this. All right, so we got a little extra money there. We'll save it. Um, okay. Well, this one we can use. Ooh, well, I don't know if I want to do anything on that. Alright, that's fine. We'll leave it like that. I just need harpies, right? I need harpies to show up. So we need to make the pies. Um, we need pies, right? Pies and biscuits. Pies and biscuits. I don't need this anymore. What am I doing there? Come on, stop working on that. So we've got we've got um, we've got the jerky again. So that's good. We just need the pies and biscuits, and we need harpy and oil, right? Um, what's this producing? I don't know if I need the mushrooms. Well, it doesn't really matter. We just need to clear this out. What's in here? Soil? Two additional soil. Let me take this off. Move this over a little bit. Okay, and there's this roots over here, right? This is what? This is also a. Oh, we can probably solve this, right? Let's move this needle by bar. So, okay, so harpies will give us one point. Oil should give us two points. The other one will give us three points, and that should solve it, right? So, we should be able to complete this. How many years have passed? Six. Oof. Six years. That's terrible. So I need I need another harpy thing to show up. Okay, oil, uh, 
crops, right? Which one is the... Which one's the oil? I think this one's the oil, man. Eh? Yeah, you know what? I'll use that. I'll use the five fiber as well. Alright, what else we got here? That I don't care about. That I don't care about. Let's move this out of the way. Hmm. Did I get something else? It was a monastery and something else, right? Okay, a monastery, that's all I got. Uh, flower. I guess I don't need the flower right now. So we need to eat the biscuits. And we need to eat the pies. Twelve times, right? I think it's twelve times. It's not maintained. I think it's just eat twelve times. Oh, for 120 seconds. Oh, it is a maintain. Well, that's okay. We should be able to get that without it. I think we're, we're going to be fine. You know what? Let's go ahead and cut through this. I don't care. Because it looks like there's stuff there. We're already in the one, right? so let's go ahead and take care of this. Oh, this is a very dangerous blaze, right? <laughs> this is like a super dangerous one. Dark Gate. Hmm. That sounds kind of scary. Dark Gate. Alright, so this one, we're going to drag it all the way over here. It's like work faster. So this bar moved. The tavern's good, right? Let's go with the tavern. The tavern gives us the best, um, the best boost. So... The oil, the biscuit of the harpies, any one of those will get me this. Well, my bar is actually moving quite quite a bit here, 0.33 per minute. So I actually might only need just one. It should be okay. This homestead thing is amazing, by the way. Yeah, this will definitely help us with our resolve. I think that she's going to get boosted, too. Yeah, she's going to get boosted. Herb node. Alright, so that's fine. What is this? Herb, right? It's herbs. Okay, that's food. So we should have herbs from this over here now. I'm going to relocate that. Oh, let me increase this. There we go. Now we got all, all of these running. Full speed. Full speed ahead. Yeah, so we're almost getting done with the pies. This is actually probably going to get finished before the pies. Or the harpies. We'll see. I should be okay, though. Yep, I should be okay. The question is, can I get it? done fast enough. Seven years, right? Mm. I don't know. How about... Oh, there we go. Done. Rolling in wealth. Okay. So we did that. Score is 779. That was a pretty bad score. But we did block somebody, right? 
Yeah, we did block some money. Now we just need to block this brass company. Brass order, right? Brass order. If we can't block the brass order. Oh, we, well, we can, sort of. We can, sort of. Alright, so that one right there is 30. That's a 30. I don't need this artifact. I have so many artifacts. I want to block this brass order from getting there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete that in five turns. But that might deny them from building a town there, I believe. I'm pretty sure that denies them, that town. All right. But yeah, we're, we're slightly behind the brass order. Let's go ahead and purchase something. This. So I'm going to need to get to level 11, right? And what was I looking at? Um, embark points? No. Trade routes? No. Okay, we've already hit the maximum on this one, right? What was this one? This is the the district one. I think that's no, the district was on this. Yeah, I think this was the district line, right? Yeah, this is the district line. And that's a bark of bonus. Choosing parts. I don't care about this. Which one is this? This is the fundamental. The queen's one. This is the cornerstone rolling, right? I don't need that for embarkment, so. Cornerstone rerolls. Okay, that's not terribly bad. Okay, this one's not bad. Alright, so I think I wanted this one, though. To get the Harpy's house at least unlocked. So now we can build a Harpy's house. Um, this is construction time. Eh, I don't care about that. What is this? Newcomers arrive in your settlement will have more resources? Okay, that's not terribly bad, but that's lowest priority. What's this one? Cornerstone. What's this one? Embarkment. Okay. I don't mind this one. This might not be terribly bad. Because having more, more resources or more like a farm to choose from, right? So I, I'm, I'm okay with getting this line here, maybe. And I guess, uh, I guess I could try to go for this because I guess I'm ready for this expedition thing. All right, so this middle line here is actually not bad because the queen's resolve or the queen's impatience is minus along this line here. And what's this one? This is the cornerstone one, right? Is this the cornerstone one? No. Yeah, this is the cornerstone line. What was this one? This is the embark line, right? Yeah, this is the embark line. Bringing extra stuff on my embark. Town vision unveils more of the world map. Huh, what's the difference between that one and versus this one? Or over here? Citadel vision. Oh! Citadel vision. So what? what is this town vision? Your town unveils more of the world map. What the hell does that mean? Oh, oh, it's probably, okay, the Citadel vision, vision, but then, like, if I build a town, I'll see more. Okay, okay. I think that, I understand this. Okay, this is not terribly bad. This line here. So this line right here, I do want to get towards this, eventually. Being able to see more of the world map actually is useful. What's this one here? This is the re-roll line, right? This one, I don't know what this does. Sacrifice cost decrease resource. I, mean, I don't really sacrifice anything, so that's not too much of an issue. What's this one? That's the Queen's Resolve. Thirty three. That's the 30 seconds one that we were talking about. 
So this is the 30 seconds plus another 30 seconds, I think. Or are we looking at two minutes or a minute and a half? I think that's 30 seconds. That's another 30 seconds. Yeah, it looks like it's a minute and a half. Yep, it's a minute and a half. Unless there was another 30 seconds here somewhere that I don't see. Yep, it was a minute and a half that we gained. Alright, so you don't actually get two minutes. You get a minute and a half if you go completely down this line. But I guess I'll, I'll probably buy that one next time. That might be okay. I might go with this one because traders selling stuff for less might be a good idea. So I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough for that one. Okay, so I'm gonna. Th I'm thinking about getting this next time, and I need to work on this so I can get to this because I don't mind re-rolling. Or I, I mean, I, it's it's useful to have a re-roll. It's either that or this. Let's see here. What else is on this line? Essential buildings, right? Okay, that's the kitchen. I don't. Okay, that's not bad. I'd like to have that early on. Workers capacity. Embark. Oh, I guess amber. You want my bark? Okay, uh, the embark point is actually not bad. Let's see here. Bark point again. And the citadel vision, right? So we got the citadel vision. Okay, so I want to get this one eventually this line right here right oh that's like two levels though I'm nowhere near that so this is my this is my goal right here to get this one because more embark points really helps And then we want to do the Queen's line as well because impatience decreases. So that's not as bad either. Alright, so I'm thinking, okay, so I'm thinking the embark line, the blueprint choices. Let's go. So I'm going to go for this one. And then, and then this one. I think it's this one, right? One, two, yeah, the this queen's line and that one. I don't care about the construction time. All resource nodes get a plus one permanent available charge. Huh. Newcomers or res? Okay, maybe. maybe. I'm looking at this to make sure I, I'm set. I'm I'm happy with that idea. Okay, so this is also not bad either. i ultimately I want this. So it's this, it's uh, line number one, line number four, and line number one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Line number six. So let me write this down. Line number one next time, line number four next time, and line number six, right? One, four, six is my, is the ones I'm looking at in the future. Yeah, one, four, six is what I'm looking at. I've already finished three. I don't care about this one. All right, so one four six is what I want, and then we're gonna go from here to block this guy, and then we're gonna also be able to reach that other other node here, right? I don't need this. I have so many of these artifacts. So that's my goal here. All right, so we want the oh tough choice. I like to have this guy because he's very good at getting us that early resolve. What is this? It's the Coral Force. Hmm, very tough choice. I like the early resolve. He gets like plus five being on the thing. And then a global plus, plus one. 
Six, seven, eight, nine. This is eight, right? Ooh, eight's very early. Well, I could go for, I mean, I can, I mean, it's a 50-50. <laughs> right? If I go with this one, it's a 50-50. But I'm guaranteed if I go with this one. And this could just be harpies and humans or whatever. Now, why is the top one better? I'm looking at the, because there's there seems to be more stuff being added to the top line. Right, in addition to the human, right? I think it's more food at the top row. Versus the bottom row, there's not as much food. It comes with, actually, fabric to start. Hmm. You get a little fabric start at the bottom. Having early fabric's not terribly bad, I guess. Alright, well, the top one also gets you amber, right? You can choose whatever you want. I guess I'll go with the top one, and we'll go with the 50 50. Hmm. I'm not sure if I. Yeah, the food's actually gotten worse. I can't bring the broccolis anymore. All right, so let's go with trying to do veteran on this. Let's uh, like oh minus one. All right, let's let's try the, this. Let's go with this. All right, let's let's try the veteran this time. Let's see if this is gonna be harder or worse. Actually, what's the difference between veteran and and this one? Okay. Minus one, okay. Pioneer is three, two. Uh, effects range, very beneficial de to devastating. Modifiers, one, one, five. This is modifier two. Maximum hostility is 16. Maximum hostility is nine. Oh, okay. It's only the modifier, right? Hang on. Oh, okay, so I'm getting one more. All right, that's fine. Let's go with veteran. Let's see how much of a difference it is. I'm getting like 20 more bread and experience. Hmm. All right. Let's give this a go. Good luck. At least we can pause now, right? Okay, what's this one? Villagers working in mines get minus 10. All right, we don't have any villagers working in mines. At the beginning of the storm, every villager in your village settlement will take one coat from the storage. If you can't provide the goods, global re resolve will be lowered by minus 10 for every three minutes. Okay, what does this say? Even the hard hardiest, hardiest villagers need some sort of cover in this weather. At the beginning of a storm, every villager in your settlement will take one coat from the storage. If you can't provide the goods, global resolve will be lowered by minus ten for every three for minus ten for three minutes. Jesus. That's I mean as long as I have coats, I guess it's not gonna be a problem. Every villager though. Alright, so this one here, as long as I have services, I can prevent this. Villagers will this effect will have five percent chance to die every fifteen seconds. Okay. Villagers have uh, take two hundred percent longer breaks to prevent this. Have services. Okay, so this is not terribly bad. As long as I have services, it's not bad. The only thing I'm worried about is the queen's impatience. All right, because she. Okay, we got the lizard guy. So that was a nice fifty-fifty roll there. I wanted the lizard. All right, so that's good. Uh, what else we got here? Early on, what do I want? Do I want farm? I guess I want ooh, meat. Oh, we need coats too, don't we? Let's go ahead and get this coat right away. That's a guarantee. We definitely want that no matter what. Planks, let's go with planks. Rain mill, that makes flowers. Form. What is this? The chance for bonus production yield is increased by 15%. Same service building does not affect. Okay, that might be okay. Because we get these bonus yields. 
I mean, producing flour and packet materials, and you know, being able to do this pack of building materials is probably very useful early on too. Because there's usually quests related to this pack of building materials. I'm gonna. I mean, I don't have to pick this right away, right? So I can actually stall that. So I don't necessarily need that immediately. But this is probably gonna be useful. All right, let's go ahead and drop paths down. We'll just go with the regular path now. I don't want to mess with using my stones yet. Because I might need that stone. Hmm. I might need that stone. Alright, let's go with this. Alright, what's this one? I forgot to see what this was. Villagers with this effect move 10% faster. It needs complex food and housing. Ugh. We're not gonna benefit from that anytime soon. Hang on. Let's take this off and this off. I'll take this off as well. Mm, okay, let's go with this. Alright. We, we got lucky with the lizard guy on the dice roll there. So I'm happy with that. This is stone right here, right? Stone. Housing. We're gonna need lots of housing, right? We got nine plus two, so it's eleven. And this is housing for three, that's nine. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, yeah, so we need 4 housing. Alright, so what does this say? Scouts work 10% faster on glaze for every fire, fire keeper assigned to a heart. Okay, eh. Uh, resources you sacrifice in ancient art burns 5% longer. Ah, eh, don't care. Ancient mushrooms, farming techniques described here. Mushrooms produce, eh. Reroll. Okay, again, gain 20 coal for every 3 burnt blight. Says Shady Villager. All right, I'm gonna go with this one. So if they die, then we get amber. So I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Right, let me turn this off. Cause we might need the coal. Ooh, discover three or keep them happy for 16. Well, discovering three shouldn't be too hard. I mean, that's almost guaranteed. Ooh, keep them happy and get food versus the pack of materials. Oh, I already knew that we got that pack of materials thing, but we have to solve two. And this one gets us two lizards. Yeah, solving the lizards not bad. Let's go with this one. This one's not bad either. I'm gonna go with this one. Right. Mm. <laughs> oh. eh, yeah, this one's better, right? Because we don't have people. Let's go with that one. Alright, so that is fine. So this last roll, I don't need this right away, right? I was gonna get this, but I think we oh we did get the pack of materials one, didn't we? And this is crops. 
So this one actually might be good. I mean, this one produces fabric better than what we can currently. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. We'll see if we can get... If, uh, if I find soil. We'll see. That lizard resolve. Okay. We got the lumber mill and the clothing, right? Lumber mill and clothing. The clothier. Oh, we got the clothier. Maybe I do need this one right here. The fabric. Let's take the fabric. Because that is producing clothes. That produces fabric, right? That produces fabric. Hopefully I'm not gonna regret any of that. Any of those choices. Alright, so we need one more. One more house, right? So lizard guy is actually moving the bar a little bit for us. That's good. By point one, because there's only one of them. Perfect. Now we got two lizards to join us. Okay, what do we got here? So this form thing is not a bad idea. But the jerky is also not a bad idea either. At least something, right? That's really weak for jerky. But it's better than nothing, right? Versus this. We don't have any... Which one was this? This gets us an increase in percentage yield, right? I'm going to go with this one because it's... At least it's better than nothing. Yeah, and I think we also have the, the ability to make water skins too. Well, I can just re-roll. Let's re-roll. Oh, we got the weaver. Oh my god, what did I pick? The leather skin, huh? Shit. Shit. And we already picked the clothier. The groove. <laughs> the crystallized dew. Oh my god, we picked the... F we already picked the leather thingy. Fabric is actually a very good thing. Because then we don't have to do as much. Let me get re-roll one more time. Last re-roll. Okay, this is actually not bad, right? Because we get the, the coal. Let me go with this one. Alright, hang on. This requires clothes. This requires brick. So we want the brick first. And then we do the the leather worker right. Well. Wow. Alright, let's go with this this one. Cause I do want to at least cut down on the wood consumption. So that means I need I need uh, four bricks. Let's turn this four bricks. Lumber mill, leather worker. Lumber mill, leather worker. So the kiln ba basically gets us the bricks. Um, and the leather worker gets us two more pieces of all right, so the leather worker, I go second. All right, so that's going to be second. This is going to be first.
All right, so um, yeah, so I need this one early. Let me take this off. And then we're going to add somebody in here. And then we're going to need another house. I guess we'll add, uh, we'll add no, shoot. <laughs> I just want I just want this over here first. So I need another house. Oh, hang on. Because I need that resolve. I need that resolve. I need the bar to move a little bit. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Alright, what's going on here? Right, so we'll have to deliver this ASAP, right? Let me take this off now. I don't need her doing this anymore. Cause we got two and two here. Oh, we don't need the fabric. Let's stop this. We only need one fabric. Cause otherwise, it's a waste. Actually, wait. Yeah, it's, it's otherwise it's a waste. All right, so I don't need her anymore. Cause this right here builds the, the two I need. Right? Yep. Yeah, okay. So that one now gets me the bricks for this. All right, and then this one I'm gonna take this off. Cause then this gets me the fabric I need for the. The, uh, the lumber mill, right? The lumber mill. There you go. So we're maintaining that. I guess I can add another. I'm not sure. Hang on. What's the next resolve? Well, I don't want to work. I don't want to mess with that. Um, so this right here should be high priority when we get the bricks. So I disabled that. And what was this positive one? That's complex food, right? Moves 20% faster? Eh, don't care about that. So this one I could probably get rid of. Because we now have the ability to make stuff that's better than a crude workstation. And then I'm going to need this clothier to pop in there. We'll, we'll do that last. Because I don't need that clothing thing until, until the, third, the third hostility level. So this is eggs over here and it's scavenger, I believe. Okay. 
Whereas this one, I guess I'll wait. But I don't know if that's gonna. Okay, there we go. That's fine. So an extra one there is not gonna hurt us. Alright, so we need to break through three glaze. We need to do a pack of building materials, three crops, and two provisions. And so we're gonna have to make one of these. Makeshift posts. This is getting built. Okay, so we need to put a a uh, meat production guy in there. Right? Looks like settlers. Yeah, it does look like settlers. It reminds me of settlers. The settlers. Yeah. Every two newly solved. Dangerous Forbidden Glaze that lowers hostility. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with this. And I want more lizard guys. Huh. Yeah, I do want more lizard guys. Sure, let's go with the left. And then add another lizard guy in here. We don't want the what? Yeah, so we got fabric on this one. Alright, so we're good on that. And I need another house, right? Let's get another house in here. And then I can actually add another beaver here because we're at the level one now. And then we can add another. Okay, so for this one, I need what? Three pack of crops. Three, four packs of building materials. I only need to build one of those, right? Three, three pack of provisions. Okay. So provisions, I'm okay with one. So let's take this off. I don't want that there. Let me see if I can add her in there. Alright, let me take her off and have her help out. Okay, so any one of this is okay, I'm okay with. A pack of crops, eesh. Alright, there we go. And then the, the pack of building materials. I'm gonna take this off. We want the lumber mill. To get produced as soon as possible. Alright, so we should be okay. Alright, so we need... We need that stuff done so I can move this bar, the needle over. And then we've got this dangerous glaze here, and we got this one over here. I'm thinking of breaking through that one and probably this one as my two. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh. Hmm. I should be able to come up with a resolve for humans. Should be able to. Alright, so this one burn at least 12 blight rot sense. Oh, I don't know how that's gonna work. Yeah, establish like complete five trade routes. Okay, that should be doable.
All right, so the next one is the clothing, right? I'm gonna add this clothing in here. Okay, so this guy is done. Let's move this out of the way. How's this coming along? How's the... Yeah, we need... Um, we need to take this off. And we'll use that. Because that way we, need, we get more wood. So we're going to, I guess, trim that down. I guess. And then fill this up this direction. So I need to get the human resolve up somehow. And that's probably going to be related to building this human house here. So the pack of materials. All right, so I don't need any of this anymore. Let me take all this off. All right, so now we just need to get mm, building materials. We need building materials. And then this bar is still moving, which is great. We just want that bar to keep moving. All right, so we're in good shape still. I just need to get this built, right? Almost feel like I might need another woodcutter's camp <laughs> just to get things going. So we got 18 fabric. What was the other thing that. So I need to solve two to lower the hostility. Alright, solve two. Alright, so let's go ahead and fill this in. I might as well. Just to help us out. We only need the coats, right? Alright, so that's off, right? That's this chick's here. Alright, and this one we're making food, right? Yeah, we're making food with that one. Alright, so this one I'm gonna do a cutoff. The 40? Let's do 40 on that cutoff. And then this one requires somebody there. Well, we'll wait until. We'll wait until um, this chick here finishes this. Actually, technically, I can probably remove... No. I don't want to remove anything there. I just want to hurry up with... with chopping the trees down. 
I mean, I suppose if I have the, the coats running, she can actually get her, her resolve up. Oh, you know what else will help with the resolve? I forgot about that. Need these barrels. <laughs> I always forget about the barrels. Yeah, I always forget about the barrels. Alright, let, uh, let me take this down during the storm. I don't want to lose resolve. I want to keep this bar moving in this direction. Threshold's 15, right? Yeah, I just don't want to move, lose the resolve. Alright, so this right here, he's fine, right? He's fine. He's the only one that's kind of given me this little movement here. Which is really nice to have to get this little movement bar. So we need her to, to get to 26. What's our cutoff here? 30. Yeah. Add the beaver on this one. Might as well. Alright, so we need two more points for the human. How am I going to do that? I think it's going to be coats, right? Once she gets her coats, that should be fine. So they got, she's got all the housing she needs, right? So now she just needs the coats. What can we do here? Gain one insect. Oh, or every time a villager leaves or dies. Huh. Oh. I'm going to go with this one, I guess. That, that might be okay. Um, I want lizards, right? Lizards definitely do better over time. Alright, so the lizard guy needs brick. It shouldn't be too bad. Human resolve, I'm at 26, so we should be good on that. Alright, so let me go ahead and add some more workers on this. There we go, the human's done. Nice. So we make more coats, we get two more humans to join us. So the bar moved. So I want the small farm. Oh, we need to get the we need to get that down. <laughs> so that way I can move this bar. We need the trade routes, right? Okay. All right, so let me move this closer this way. Two, three, okay. So 
So I gotta pop three glaze. And then how many years has gone by too, right? Okay. Well, the human's moving along on that bar, which is good. There we go. Alright, so what do we got here? Alright, already I can already do that. Oh, brick is twice. Oh, it's actually faster. Well, this one gives me more fabric. Alright. Because currently I have... Well, man, I'm currently doing two. Two is better. This brick is actually... I can do the crystallized... Well, actually, I don't need the crystallized dude. Pack of trade goods, maybe. That's the same. Man, all these are kind of the same. I really don't need any of these. I mean, definitely getting more coats is better overall. So the weaver, the weaver kind of replaces this guy. I mean, I'm gonna leave that guy in there just for the boost. But I think the Weaver is still better. Now, let me move all this out of the way. I don't need that there. Because having extra uh, Weavers is going to be better. I wish I'd gotten that sooner, Jesus. Cause this this one, what does this do for me? It's, I guess luxury goods, right? I guess if I need luxury goods or water skins. So that one we need. All right, what, what, what do we got here? Oh, extra fabric too, huh? Woodcutters move faster. Mm. Right, let me go ahead and sell this. Hang on, let me see. Can I get more of those? First of all. Hmm. I'm thinking here. Do I want to sell... How many do I need to sell? I forgot how many I need to sell. My orders. Oh, hey, I'm done with this. I need to sell 15, right? So I don't need this anymore, right? Let's move this out of the way. Um, which one do I need to sell? I need to sell 15, right? Alright, well, let's see here. I guess I can sell one of these. How do I end up having so many pack of provisions? Oh, I still need the provisions. Oh wait, I got a new one. All right, let me see here. Well, this definitely gives me the brick more, more brick. Oil, I could use more oil. I could do the pies, but I don't have a way to make, make wheat, do I? I mean, I have the farm, but I can't do the wheat. I don't think I can do the wheat. And why did I need that oil? I forgot why I might need that oil. I don't know why I need the oil. I'm not sure why I need the oil right now. So I could have sworn that there was something I needed for the oil. But if I go with the pie, I mean, this is the best choice only because I don't have to do brick level one. Brick level two is currently the best in the game. Um, I, mean, I really don't have a choice on any of these. A really good choice. I mean, I could wait one minute to decide, right? I guess that one I don't have to do right away. Alright, so for this one, I do want to buy this. 
so I can do the fabric a lot even better. And I need to sell goods anyways for the 15, right? Hang on, hang on. I need to do five, right? You need five of those trade routes. Let me see what these trade routes are. Ooh, I do have this. I can sell this guy. Uh -uh. That one I can probably sell too if I can get that. This one I can sell too, right? Mm, fabric. Ooh. I need two of those. Let me go ahead and sell that one. So that's two trade routes. I need more provisions, basically, to make that happen. All right, so that's going to get me some coins there, but I, mm, I still want to be able to buy this. And I need to sell how many? 15, right? Alright, so I guess I'll sell that one. We don't need to sell a pack of I don't need a pack of crops anymore, right? It's kind of a waste. I wish I could unpack the pack of crops. So that's kind of unfortunate. That's not gonna get me pack of fifteen, is it? Oh, I don't want to sell all of it, right? Hmm. This wildfire essence. Do I need another one? Probably not. I rarely use this. So that gets me 18, right? I think I only need to sell just enough. 12 or 15, right? Well, I actually don't need exactly because I'll get two from the trade post. So let me go. Let me go with this. I only need to get down to like twelve or twelve coins, right? Or eleven, right? I need eleven. Okay, so a little bit more of this. Ooh, that's way too much. Okay, how about this? All right, that's perfect right there. So that gets me more materials. Alright, I guess I'm okay with this. And then that means I need... Only, so I should be able to complete two of this. I need two more trade routes. So that means pack of provisions is back on the table again. Yeah, I need these pack of provisions again. Because I need to be able to... Do do some more. Do some more of those trade route things. Okay, so this one I need to decide, right? I guess I'll go with a brick. Eh, I really don't like the idea of wasting my bricks. So yeah, that's fine. We'll just we'll take this break. So now we can take this off this list. Our brick production is now what three to two instead of four to two. So it saves us a little bit. It's not that much difference. So we're gaining the ability to make pottery. I guess that's not as bad. And we're gaining the ability to make crystal dews if I need to, which I probably don't. Alright, so the humans, okay, so what about the lizards? So I need the lizard to get their house up, right? There we go. All 
Oh wait, well, I can do this out of the way. Oh, let me take one of these off. That's why. That's why. That's why the lizard wasn't too happy. Isn't there an extra lizard somewhere? There is an extra lizard. Okay, so... I should be able to do this. This is easy. And then which one is this? It's pack of revisions and pack of crops. I already sold my crops. I need to complete 10 trade routes. All right, I'll have to pick that right away. That's not, that's not immediately important. Okay, I have a pack of provisions. So what can I get rid of? Well, I don't want to get rid of food. Okay, I can sell this. That's not a problem. So I need to solve three more, right? Clay? Hmm. I don't know if I want to sell my clay. This is not bad, right? I think that I can make. But it requires three. Okay, you know, that's fine. We'll wait next cycle and see. This is Weaver, right? Yeah. Let me take this. Aren't there any chicks in here? No, right? Where's the other chick? Oh, here we go. Let me take all of this off. Put the weavers on that. Alright, so I need to complete three trade routes. How many years have passed? It's two already. So I need to be able to make boots from somewhere. And this is... Yeah, so this is not going to do me any good now. What's this? Okay, we don't need the extra coder down here. Let's go with this one. Alright. Just need to maintain this for a little bit. So how much longer can I hold out? Let's see here. Alright, I'm going to go with the laugh because I, I don't think that pack of provisions thing is a good idea. Because I need to do, what, eight more? No, seven, right? Or no, ten. I need to do ten. So I need to do ten still. Why didn't that complete this? Oh, I have to, I have to, there we go. Alright, so I only need to do nine more. Okay, what's that pigment thingy? Wasn't there something that makes pigments? No. I could have sworn there was something that makes pigments. Oh, these? No, that's not in here. Where's the pigments? I could have sworn I had something that makes pigments. Oh, it only takes pigments. Okay. Alright, well. So now we produce more coats. Efficiently. Um. Which which one's this? That's brick, right? All right, so I just need to be able to come up with something here that's easy. I don't have eggs. I don't have pottery. And pottery requires clay. If I had the clay, I would have already spent 
spent it on that one. All right, so none of these choices are good. Hopefully they come back around. Give me more choices. Let me take off the eggs as consumption. Because I think one of these guys wanted eggs. Yeah, eight eggs. So I might be able to do that egg there. I think I got rid of already. Oh, hey, I've got some eggs here too. Nice. So I've got four eggs, and I think eggs are being collected from this one right here, right? So let's go ahead and high prioritize that. And then, okay, this bar moved. Okay, great. So temple, I don't want to do any sacrifice. Guild house, I don't like any of these choices. Holy smokes. This makes them carry stuff faster. I don't really care about that. This one gets the trader to come faster, which I guess I'm okay with. Plus I can get resolve. That's probably the best choice between all of them. Sacrifice, I don't care about the sacrifice. So I'm gonna go with this one. It's not the best, but it is what it is. At least I get the trader to come faster. And then maybe if we sell enough goods. I don't know if this is retro. Oh, it's retro. Each time you sell goods worth 60 bonus, the, the, the bonus is added retro. Same, okay. So it is retro. Um, what am I going to do about the... Oh no. It's going down to 19. I need what? I need 22. Do I not have the bricks? I have the bricks. So it's just, she's just terrible at delivering it. Oh, we're at level two now. Oh my goodness. All right, so I need to do two more trade rounds. Oh, the eggs are gone. Oh, the eggs started. Oh my goodness. They jacked up the price on the eggs. All right, I guess I'll sell the that one. I'll sell that one. Oh, yeah, I lost the pies. Alright, that's fine. So that should complete my next bar. Oh, what's going on with this one? Why is this... Why is this hearth red? Why is this hearth red? What is this? I don't know what that red marker is. Oh, that might be just the queen's impatience. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I think that's what it is. The queen's impatience. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hey, thanks for the uh, follow there, Asha Greyjoy. That's the hit points of the hearth. It's the corruption. Oh, that's new. I've never actually uh, noticed the corruption level. Huh, that's the first time I've had to deal with this corruption thing. So I think I might need this blight rot then, huh? Yeah, I might need this. Thank you for letting me know that. That's new for me. Like, I, I've not messed with this before. They must have added this, I guess, during this past year that I've not had to deal with it. Fuel reserve. 
Interesting. Oh, interesting. Alright, so we got trade routes completed. Let's go ahead and take a collect of that. What else can I can I sell? I guess I can sell four bricks. I'm not too thrilled about that. I guess I'll sell a part. Sure, why not? I'll sell the four. Oh, I can't sell the four bricks right away. Uh, workers assigned to the post makes the purging fire during drizzle and clearance and during the storm. They burn the corruption cysts. Okay, yeah. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right, I'm gonna go with this middle one. Gain five artifacts for every two, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Huh. Getting the tools is not bad. But I all yeah, let me get the tools, I guess. Okay, my bar is not moving as fast anymore. So I'm kind of... Okay, so I need to start opening one of these glades and solving them. Let me see which one do I want. I think I'll solve the top one over here. I mean, it's as good as any, right? Let me take this off. I can just merge it into this one over here. Alright, so that one I don't need to apply right away, right? I just need to complete this. Ooh, I can sell the four bricks. I don't have provisions, or I mean, pack of trade goods. All right, well, I guess I'll sell the four brick. Because that will move this bar up. All right, let's go ahead and solve this. Okay, so I just need to open three glaze, and that should help. This should help with my provision problem. A pack of building materials is cheaper. I don't need the pack of building materials right now. I could make simple tools. That might actually help me with solving quests, right? How much, how much tools do I currently have? I only have three, right? I'm thinking maybe I should get this. Because I have a lot of this. So let me go ahead and get the tools. Um, where do I want to stick this guy? Add in some workers here. Mm. Oh, you know what? I guess I can stick in the back, right? Yeah, let's stick that in the back. That's fine for now. Alright, so this one. I guess I'll put people in there. I don't know if I've gained that or not. Progress, right? Oh my god, I need more to sell more shit. Well, at least the trader comes faster. Yeah, at least the trader comes faster. Let me see here. I don't know if I can remove. Nope, that's not going to help me. Now, since that's not going to help me, I might as well load up. on this to chop stuff faster. Oops. Do I have barrels? No, right? I can't roll my mouse over that. Nope, nope. Nope. Nope, nope. Okay. So I need five more trade routes to complete this bar. 
I guess I should probably just do the pack of. Um, I should probably do this. Just to get that out of the way. Alright, so this solve. What is this? Okay, that's gonna kill me. <laughs> that's definitely gonna kill me. But I need to get this moving along. Alright, so I, I have to. Otherwise, in nine minutes, I'm, I'm screwed. But that's gonna cause my lizard guys to be really pissed. Alright, let me take down this. A notch. And then what do we got here? We got the bakery. And what do we got over here? Ooh, I'd like to get the oh, we got artifacts on this one. Huh. I don't yeah, hmm, interesting. Alright, so we got the thing that can make the um the tools, right? Let me take this off. There we go. So then we can solve this and get this artifact here. And this one right here, the bakery. Do we have a bakery in our house? I don't think we have a bakery, right? We don't. So let's go ahead and take this bakery. Oh, I can't do anything right now on that. Let's move this over here so I can clear all this off. We got what stones? I can probably get some of these stones here. Oh no, that's coal. Oh, let me remove this then. Are the traders here? What do I? What? What can I get here? A book, renowned storm. Uh, uh, lowers hostility by fifty points. Yes, let's do that for sure. That's a good deal. Useful tools for creating drainage ditches. Villagers move faster. Okay. No, I'm not. Quite, I'm okay with that. I don't want to sell anything right now to this guy. I don't think that that village moving faster thing is gonna help me that much. So I need to complete. Mm, I need to complete. Um, ooh. Oh, I don't have enough provisions, that's why. So I need more provisions. Alright, I guess we'll do a pack of provisions. Wait, why does she have insect in here? Oh, let me take that insect off. Yeah, I'll just use the eggs. Alright, so we're gonna solve this one, right? And then we're getting this one over here. And we're we're gonna get some of this going here. This is the weaver. Alright, this one we're gonna move. Oh wait, this oh 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 there's there's stuff over here. Okay, cool. So that's gonna help us. What's, this is the eggs, right? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna hurry up on this. Alright, so I guess I should probably get to the next next district level. Right, level. So that way the production thing is better, right? So I need four of the last one, four of this one, oops, one more, and I need eight of the barrels, and 
and then I need um, four of these. I need to throw that in there somewhere. And I gotta just move those around a little bit. So when these guys are done, I guess I'll work on that one next. Man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to win solve this or win this. Cause this gives me one point one point one point one point, right? And one point one, two, three, four, five, five points. I need to be able to move this bar. One, two, three, four one, two, three, four, five. I need to come up with two more. So getting greedy on this might be the death of me. So I need to be careful on that. Oh, I'm getting 0.5 on this one, so that's actually not bad. What's this one? Welcome new villagers from camps found in the woods. What the hell? Can't, oh, I have this. I can come up with a coal. This one? I've never seen this one. Welcome new villagers from camps found in Blaze. Oh, oh, okay, I know what that is. I know what that is. That's if I choose a reward that brings in people. Huh. Alright, this is a tough one. Because this one I should be able to solve easily. I just have to fork out the coal. And in return, I get this, which also does fuel, right? I think the left is probably the best choice. I think the left is probably the best choice. Do I have 60 fuel? That means I need to come up with 60 fuel. I need a little bit more than that, right? Yep, okay. Alright, so I need five trade routes still. What can I do here for the trade routes? None of these. Oh no, none of these. I don't have any insects. Okay. Well, I should be able to get more coal off of this if I can get rid of that. So the humans helping me move this bar. That's good. The lizard guy, I don't know what's going on with him. Okay. So we now have one builder again. I don't need this guy anymore, right? So we can add this to the list. Investigate that. Alright, so I'll have to decide on this at some point, because I don't want to get too greedy on this. I this might I might need that one point. Alright, so I definitely might need that one point. Interesting. All right, so I need to solve one more glaze, or I need to bust through three glaze. But I need to solve one more glaze so I can benefit from this. Yeah, I think ultimately I'm probably gonna go with this. I think that's the best thing to do. I don't want to get greedy. Greedy is bad. 
So this one right here. I mean, I should be able to do this because both of this ends up being roughly the same. Well, it's not. It's not necessarily true, but um, it at least gets that bar moving, right? Because the time. I guess the time. Oh, the time is the same. Well, no, it's not necessarily true. This is actually lower. It's lower. So, slight, slight difference is this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. So this one right here, I can get a mine in here, right? Man, I need a, I need a, like a smokehouse or something. This actually is really slow. Trade route completed. Right, what else do I have here? Can I get rid of it? I guess bricks? Well, if I get rid of that, that's terrible because I, I might actually need that. Okay, I'll sell, I guess, a part. Do I have leather? I don't have leather. Shit. I don't want to sell the coats. Ooh, I can sell this. Oh, I need two of those. Shit. Okay. Well, if if I can get another provision, I can sell this. Hopefully that didn't rotate. Oh, it did rotate. Okay, I guess I can sell this. That's not bad either. I can sell this too if I get the provisions. Okay, it did rotate though. Alright, what else can I get here? Minus, 50, minus 40. I'm going to go with this one. Because I'm going to get to that level soon. This, this is the other one, right? Alright, so we're gonna bust through this one. Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Well, the humans... I guess humans uh, Humans is the same. So I want lizards or humans. I mean, food or or brick. Well, I'm not in any issue with the brick. All right, so let's go ahead and add more human homes then. All right, so this one I guess I can move. Add another human home here. That's three, right? So I need one more. And the lizard homes, I need one more, right? Or two more, two more lizard homes to make the lizard guys happy. All right, so this one over here, we got two humans on this one. Yeah. And then this one over here. I can't do any of this right now. I don't have I don't have any of those. I don't need the pottery, right? So that's not gonna do any good. So this guy here is beavers. That can help with the coal. Now what's this upgrade? I think there was an upgrade option, right? This is kinda new. 
Automated minecart will help miners transport resources to the mines and storage. A deeper mine level or new ore deposit, 150 coal. Oh, I have to also worry about this mining thing too, don't I? I do have to worry about that mining thing. Uh, let me move this over here somewhere. Goodness, it's really packed over here, huh? It's really packed over here. I need to get that out so I can get in there. Alright, so I guess it's time to bust through this. So let's do this. So I should be able to go with this easily. And then the trading thing. Yeah, I guess I'll trade the meat. Might as well. Oh, I have that. Oh, man. Shit. Alright, mistakes were made on that one. Okay, that's just hanging out. They're just hanging out. That, they're just hanging out. Don't care about that right now. We have coats? We have lots of coats, right? No, we don't. Let me add another coat worker here. Alright, so we need as much coal as possible. And then this guy here, we're going to move her over here. I guess I'll put a uh, new storage facility here. Just to make that easier. Okay, huh. Where's my other beaver? Are we producing more? Oh, we're generating way too many clients. Way too many clients. Alright, so what's this here? I'll definitely want to buy this. Move that bar a little bit. Um, what can I sell these guys? Do I want to sell anything to these guys? I don't need I don't need to sell anything to these guys. There's nothing I want from them. Yeah, let me go let me pass on that. I just need to complete the trade routes. I think that's the last one, right? Yep, that is the last one. Meet, meet, I'm done with us. I'm done with us. I don't ever need this again. So let's hide this in this corner here. So this one right here, we're going to bust open this. Oh, I, mean, I guess I can take this guy off. I need my resolve moving again. Alright, so what do I want here? Uh, machines can't... Pony can't. Strong horse forces will help miners carry excavate materials. Increase in production speed by 50%. Um, a deeper mine level reveals new ore deposit 160. A deeper mine level reveals new ore deposit 160. An automated mine cart will help miners transport resources. Um, do I choose this or how does this work? Uh, 220 coal if you don't build supporters, the deposit will be destroyed. Oh, uh, okay. I see.
okay, okay. Okay, automated minecart will uh, transport resources of the mine to the storage. A deeper mine reveals 160. What does this one increase? The production speed by 50%. Huh. These between these two is actually not bad. This goes dr directly to storage, but I don't need it to go directly to storage. Oh my goodness! I have to spend tools for this. Jesus Christ! I don't know if I just want to spend tools for this. Hey, Daydream Gami. I don't know if I want to spend tools for the upgrade. That's kind of ridiculous. I'm good, how are you doing? I had a power outage earlier, which kind of was annoying. What does it say? All food production raw cook is slower? Okay, yeah, I don't care about that. Let's go ahead and speed this up. So yeah, it actually interrupted my stream, which kind of sucks. So yeah, it was like in the middle of my stream, like the power just went off. I didn't even like hook my thing up to a power, my backup battery. I, I accidentally unhooked it. So that was kind of screwed up. Okay, oh, hey. So I should be able to solve this last, oh no. Okay, pick this one. Okay, yeah, 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 never mind. That doesn't help me. How's this gonna help me? Crop, rice, okay, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Oh, nice. Well, backup, I have a backup power source. I just didn't plug it in. But the problem with the backup power source is um, that it doesn't also, I, I can't fit my, uh, my modem in there or my router. I have to figure out how to hook up the router to the, to the thing. Yeah, I get, you know, I have an extension cord. I might be able to plug that in there. The, the way the, the router has this little bulky power source on it, which is kind of annoying. So we're, oh, we're not done. Okay, almost done. How many years have passed? Four years? Okay, it's not terribly bad. I mean, the storage is like right here, so I don't need to mess with this upgrade. I just don't want to waste resources for the upgrade. I think that's just ridiculous. The cost. Now, what was that thing that gives me minus? It's like for every two, right? Oh, and if I sell enough, oh, if I sell enough, I need to sell enough to get that plus one resolve. Oh, I forgot to do that. Alright, so we're moving we're complete from that. Alright, so what, what do we got here? Provisioner could be useful. Provision or could be useful. It also makes flowers too, so I'm gonna take this. Um, yeah, that provision or could be useful. Plus, being able to make flowers. Cause then I can actually cook stuff with this, right? The biscuits and pies. Hmm. I don't think I can escape the uh, resolve problem anymore. And that too, right? If I take this guy off. It's not gonna help me. I think during during the storm level two, right?
don't know. Hang on. How much wood do I have? I need to probably stop making wood. <laughs> Yeah, alright, I'm one down. Alright, I might as well add another guy into that, right? Uh, let's go ahead and add a crystal rain collector thingy. Cause then I can put the beavers in there to get that resolve. And then we need what? We need a human? Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. I guess I need more human homes here, huh? We're really jamming everything in here, aren't we? It's jam packed. It is really jam packed. I need to remove this side over here. Let me take this off. Yeah, I need to remove all this. On this side. This is all jammed up over there. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all this real estate over here. Jesus Christ. This is done, right? Yeah, this is done. Alright, so this one, I definitely want to do that there. All right, so this one we're done, right? Let's go ahead and complete this. All right, well then we get two of these. Oh, shit. <laughs> Cut through three, solve one, get some of that tablet. So that is tricky. All right, because I think we were, we were going with this, 0.75. I need to cut through one more glaze, right? So I need to cut through one more glaze. Getting this is going to be a little tricky. Cut through three to discover and solve two. Okay, I might be able to get this. All right, cut through three. Because I'm going to cut through one more and two, right? So I don't know. Hey, Sand Nudes. Um, thank you for that follow. Or Send, send Nudes. <laughs> send Nudes. Got it. So cutting through three on this, but I'm going to cut through three on this one anyways. Right. What difficulty? I'm playing on uh, Veteran. So solve two events. That's not going to be hard. I guess I can do this one. I mean, I don't mind the idea of also getting like pottery though per minute, but I don't imagine being on this map for too long. Right, because I'm almost done. I only need like three more of this. So this one, if I solve this one, I need one bar. I need two more bars, which 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 should come from this or this. This one right here, right? So that's point seven five that I'm getting. I get this one here for one point, right? So, I'm thinking here. I need to cut through one more glaze anyways. And then, and then two, right? And solve one dangerous. I'm going to go with the one on the left. And then we'll see what this brings me. 70 times. Fulfill, use for leisure. Oh, oh I need ale. Oh, okay. I need leisure. I don't think I have anything that does leisure right now, right? It's just the guild house. That's luxury. That's not the same as leisure. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, I'm coming up to this little new blueprint. I don't have to click on any of this just yet. Because I think these are like retroactive. Oh, the pie. I don't have a way to make pie. Well, actually, I do, right? I do. This thing, right? Yeah. Well, I don't have any... I don't have any farming on this map, do I? So far, I've not gotten a single fertile soil. That's ridiculous, huh? Not a single fertile soil. Is this is still still active? I don't know if this is still active. I should have already gone away. Alright, well, I guess I do need to cut through one more blaze, right? So let's go ahead and cut through this one then, right? Let's go ahead and cut through this one. And this provision thing... Okay, so I can I can make flour now with this. All right, how's the coal situation? All right, so we're we're still fine, right? So I need to cut through one more glaze, and I need to solve it. I need to cut through two. It doesn't have to be a regular. Or, I mean, it doesn't have to be a dangerous. But I prefer dangerous only because I, I'm kind of getting greedy. I want to get the artifacts for this. So this is going to be tricky. But yeah, guys, don't forget to you know enter the, the giveaway. I am, I'm going to be giving away the two Gordian Quest keys at the end of this, this stream. You don't have to be live for it. I will mess. I will whisper you, and then you're gonna have to like let me know your Discord. Every two solve. Okay, this is not actually not bad. I'm gonna go with the left. I don't think that's retro, is it? I don't know if it's retro. Hmm. It's. Not, I don't think it's retro. Cause I pre. Yeah, the previous one was already taken care of. Yeah, it's not retro. All right, so that's fine. All right, so this is our last bit, right? Monastery is actually really good to have. It's minus one hundred. So I'm gonna take this monastery. Hmm. Food is better. I'm gonna go with food. So I'm already at level two. So I might as well fill this up. This is the drizzle phase, right? Clearance is next, I think, so I'm not worried about that. What's level three? Oh, they take clothes from the thing. All right, so I need to complete like what two bars? So I got I got one bar here, which is open this glaze, and if I want to solve this, I can easily get that knocked out, right? All right, so what's this? What's our negative? Uh, totem of denial cleansed by the hospital gives global resolve bonus. Uh, do I need the global resolve bonus? I might not need the global resolve. Oh, here's 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 that. Artesian. Yeah, I don't know if I need that either. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and you know get it. Whatever. We have the resources. 
Um, so this one right here, I don't care about that. All right, so this one right here, I, mean, I can I can get this that automatically completes this, right? I just don't get the get the miner to resolve, so. I guess we'll go with the wood. Yeah, let's go with this. Right away. And then this is the farm field I was looking for. I need to get this out of the way, right? Because that's kind of in the in the middle. Yeah, that is kind of in the way. Wait, do I have vegetables? We don't have vegetables. So that's not gonna matter. I guess I'll do roots. Okay. Yeah, the rate production seems to be fine right now. Alright, so I can turn this in. And then now we need one, one and a half bar. So I should be able to complete this, because I just need to bust through two glaze. So that, that leaves one more that I need to come up with. There's one of these. Yep, I need to come up with one more. Um, I guess human homes, right? Let's go ahead with human homes. Actually, no. Let me go ahead and move this over here. So we can clear out all this junk. Um, and then we don't want to pop anything right away. But I want to clear out this junk side. And then human homes. Let's add this human home here. I need a, oof, I need a another harpy home, right? Harpy home's got to be in this thing here. So let me move this barrel here. Gotta squeeze that out there. <laughs> All right, so let's add another human home. Here. Let me move this over here. Where can I stick you? Where can I shove you? Sure, let's do that there. <laughs> so I want to put a little path this direction here. Get that out of the way. And then we're going to put a path in the back. Like this. And then, this doesn't do anything for me right now, right? I mean, biscuits, maybe. I don't really care about those. It's too bad we can't move this. Yeah, it's too bad we can't move it. Alright, what's this? Scavenger? Yeah, let's go with this. Let me go ahead and drag this out this direction. I think this is Trapper, right? Yeah. Trapper and Forger. Yeah, we can't get that one. Okay. So this is done. Should be done soon. So we'll get the we'll get the ancient tablet. We'll solve the glaze, and we're, I need to I need to solve two more. I'd like to be able to solve two more, right? So we're gonna pop two more glaze, solve two more, then I can walk away with another five artifacts. And then, the, uh, oh yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this one. I don't think I can get any of those, but we'll see. Oh hey, she's moving, she's moving the needle now. So I should be able to win this. How many years has this has gone by? Five? Okay. 
I should be able to win this. Easy. Oh no, she didn't move the needle. I need point eight, twenty, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, one more. One more human house. Should do it. That should help move the needle. Oh, it's going down. What is it? 34? Why is it going down? Why are you going down? It's probably because they're not getting any food or something? What's causing this? Hunger. Oh, it's hunger. Yeah, it's a stupid hunger. Let's go ahead and eat the eggs. That's fine. It's probably because I'm assigning her to that. And the food is actually right over here. So that might not be a good idea right there. So what do we got here? I could build a farm, I guess. Sure, I guess I'll build a farm. So I solved the glaze. I need to bring back the ancient tablets back into my base. I guess I'll pop this open. Now let's go ahead and pop it open. And that should be it. How's it going? Hey, it's Summy. It's going great. ATS is finally out and have me grab it. Yes, I am excited. I grabbed it. Well, I didn't grab it. Actually, the developers. Uh, gave me a steam key so now I have a steam key and a um, a epic key and it actually seamlessly transferred over so which is really nice so I need what 34 oh it's gonna hit 34 soon nice 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 all right I need to probably put a um, a storage over here Do I have enough to make that hearth? No. Alright, so what's over here? Fallen... Fallen dudes. Alright, let's go with this. Well, that moves the needle by 0.5, right? So that should be fine. Yeah, so I should be able to just... I should be able to win, so I need to pop one more o to open up. Wow, we're like right next to the water too. So yeah, guys, don't forget to you know enter the the giveaway. There's like the golden ticket. I know, I know you guys are watching, right? So you're obviously getting channel points. It's only like 500 channel points to get that golden ticket. And I will be doing the giveaway today for the two Gordian quests. What's this do? Minus 10 re fever resolve. Okay, that's not as bad. Which one's this? Okay, I should be able to win easily off of this. Off of this right here. So I'm not too worried off, off of that. I have the tools, right? Yeah, I have the tools. Um... So I don't need the resolves anymore off of these guys. I think the the quest is I need monastery, right? Or sorry, no, temple for humans, right? I need ten more humans and one temple, so that's not gonna work for me. Clan halls for lizard. I have a guild house, so if I get thirty beavers. Wait, I also need Beaver homes, right? 30 beavers and beaver homes, which I don't have, but I have a guild house. So 
so I don't think I can complete that achievement today, or this run. Because I need to come up with 30 beavers. That's not gonna. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, I don't care if they die. Well, maybe it's bad because it might be bad for my points if they die. I might need. I might actually need to worry about points. Well, this one I need to solve, right, to get this activated. I just need to pop into one blaze. And it doesn't have to be a dangerous run, right? I can, I can just pop into any glaze. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me just pop into a regular glaze. Hmm. I don't really care about any of this. Because we're about to win here in a little bit. Cause I pop in this glaze here and then it's just I solve the thing, we're done. Right. So I'm not too worried about any of this. Let's go ahead and plow through this. And plus my lizard is actually giving me resolve right now. So I'm trying to quickly finish this before the 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 thing. Phase six, right? When you guys redeem, does it show other people redeeming? Like, I know Summy just redeemed, and Astra Greyjoy just redeemed. Or is it just me who sees that redeem message? I don't know if you guys see that redeem message or not. Alright, let's go ahead and complete this. Oh, I should have waited until the the other... Oh, I missed out on five. Shit. I did miss out on five. I should have waited for the, uh, the, the other guy to finish. That was premature. Oh my god, I missed out on five. Oh, ten. Ten from the other one. Oh my god, I missed out on that one too. Oh no. That was bad. That was really bad. I could have gotten an extra 10 artifacts from that run. So now I'm ahead. This is me. So who am I worried about? I'm worried about the blue guys, right? I'm worried about the blue guys taking over. He's going over there. Oh, okay, I can block the blue guy going over here. I just won't get the machinery. But I do want to be ahead. I might be able to get the machinery next run, right? But I, I okay, so I definitely want to block this guy. Take the machinery next run. This is extra food, which I don't really care about. I don't need the artifact because I've got so many. I could have gotten ten last run, and I really botched that one. I botched that one big time. Win a game, veteran or higher. Cool. Thank you for that. Complete 150 orders. Thank you for that. And then... Now we have enough points. What do I want to... Okay, I wrote it down. I, I want to go line 1, 4, or 6. 1, 4, or 6. 1, 4, or 6. I think this is line 6, right? Okay, six gets me up to here. So I'm not, that's low priority. This one gives me Queen's Resolve reduction. And I want to be able to get to this. Right, Lost Caravan, you have an additional Caravan to choose from while Bark. Oh, this is not bad, actually. I want to get onto this. This is actually not bad. Grace period, okay. So I'm thinking of this line right here. What was this one over here? Additional cornerstone blueprint. Oh, okay. So it was the first choice or the second choice? Busy for a couple of days, but can't wait to play this game. It looks good. Oh yeah, this game is amazing. I'm loving it. 
for the current price that's that's being offered right now with the 15% discount. I mean, 17 bucks for this game. Like, I'm just I'm just amazed, right? I'm blown away by this because Farthest Frontier. Like, I actually get got more mileage out of this game last year and now since I recently re reset my profile. This is my second run through the whole game again. Um, I'm definitely enjoying this game, and for the the price, like you can't beat that. Even if it was like at twenty dollars, I still think twenty dollars is, is an amazing deal for this game. Yeah, I'm gonna continue the settlement. No, I'm not gonna continue my last settlement. I'm gonna, I'm going to, um, because if you continue the settlement, I don't think you get the, I don't think you get the reward. I'm pretty sure you don't get the reward if you continue the settlement. I'm pretty sure you don't. I've tried it before. Um, I mean, you could continue it just for fun, but I don't think it lets you continue for, like, you know, for additional stuff. Alright, so this one right here. Cornerstone. Or eventually towards this middle, right? This is the Queen's... The Queen's line, right? The Queen's line... Gives me a minus 2%. I mean, these 2% actually does add up over time. Right? I mean, this is not a big deal, but... All right, I'm, uh, you know what? I'm going to go with this. Getting an extra blueprint choice is not bad. I'm going to go with this. And then getting a discount is also really good. Right. Trade limit increase. Okay, yeah, that might not be bad because I am having to deal with that every now and then. All right, so this one, I mean, that's a minus 2%. It doesn't really buy me much for this run, next couple of runs here. So let's go with that. And then I'm going to block this guy here from catching up to me. Right, and then I gotta, I gotta check up on these brass order guys every now and then, because these guys are sneaky. These guys are really sneaky. All right, so this guy I'm gonna take on this. I'm gonna go with this one right here, the middle. And I guess we'll do the veterans still. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with food. I'm gonna go with food. And then I'm gonna go with. I guess I'll go with roots. Sure. All right, so what's this one here? It's, we're blocking them, right? So it's the same same type of map. We just we just got extra food basically to bring along. I think that's a nice perk. All right, so let's go with this. Um, but yeah, I totally missed out on that ten on those ten artifacts. I'm really pissed. That I missed out on that. Increase the speed at which traders tra uh, arrive 300% during drizzle. Okay, that's not terribly bad. What's this one? Strange voices from the depths. Villagers working in the mines. Okay, that's not a big deal. I can always avoid that. Um, recipes producing building materials yields for percent fewer goods. Ooh, that's terrible. Recipes producing building materials yield 50% fewer goods. 50% fewer goods. Oof. I need to figure out how to mitigate this one, I guess. I guess I can pause during the storm. Not produce anything during the storm. I just gotta remember that. Alright, what's this one? Workers in this environment requires a lot of energy. Villagers have 10% chance to consume double the amount of food each break. Okay, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. I generally don't get to four, so I'm not too worried about that. This one I can prevent, right? Villagers with this effect have 20% chance to restore the yield each production cycle. Eh. I can probably get the services. We'll see. But I have to worry. It's it's cycle, or I guess, uh, hostility level 4, so I'm not too worried about that. So let's go ahead and choose our thing. Alright, I'm going to go with this. Because coal is pretty good to have in the jerky early on. So I'm going to go with that. Ranch is not bad. I'm gonna go with this ranch. Brickyard? Huh. Clan house. What's clan house gives me? 
All camps production is increased by 50%. Does not affect woodcutters. Hmm. I'm not into... I don't use camps that much. Because by the time I... Well... This is very early on, too. I mean... That could help me. But skewers and biscuits aren't bad. What are we looking at for camps here? Is this one right? What's it gives me? Does it give me what? It gives me what bonus? It gives me 50% uh, is increased by 50%. Production is increased by 50%. I don't know if that means it, it, it yields 50% more or or it actually is is generating or is, is faster, right? Production is increased by 50%, but I don't know what the hell that means. Is that the same as faster or is that more yield? I think that's the only trick. I'm not quite sure if I want to go for that one. Yeah, amount of goods, not production speed. Oh, so you're thinking this actually gives me more. Huh. All right, let me think about that. That actually might be worthwhile here. That might be worthwhile early on. All right, you know what? I, I think I'll go with that early on. All right. Yeah, let's go with that. Although I wouldn't mind the, the brick, though. Well, it's too late now. All right, let's go ahead and place this down. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Let's get that going, guys. Chop, chop, chop. Shelter home. And I want to make sure I have Blizzard Guy on that. Okay, I do. Humans, humans, humans. Lizards, lizards, lizards. Let's get this cutting going. Okay. Maybe a little closer. Boy, what a day. Kind of sucks that my stream got cut off this morning, and I'll have to do some fancy clipping off stream or offline instead of using Twitch's clip thing. So what do I want in here? Every open cash uh, lowers hostility by 15. I like that idea, actually. Uh, what's this one? The Royal Stormwalkers trade routes are uh, faster? I don't really care about that. I like this one because anything to help lower res or hostility or, res or increase resolve is a big bonus. This one over here. We got what? Six, seven, eight, nine? So this is exactly nine. And I need to add in the the barrels. Actually, I don't need that many. Right, so what do we got here? Okay, that's easy to do. This is also easy to do, but I lose wood. And I also gain villagers, so I don't want that. I want to go with this one. Because the villagers basically increases the hostility level, right? It's like three points. Well, actually, no. Since I'm playing... Since I'm playing... Since I'm playing veteran, I don't know if that's three. It's not It's not three, actually. It's multiplied now. What? Uh, 36 divided by nine. It's four now. Yeah, it's four. So for every villagers I get, it's actually a four... 
It's an increase. That's even worse. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. Plus, I also get like tools, and I'm gonna stack this. I'm gonna save that because I could potentially stack that. Uh, crops versus losing money. Why well, this lose crops? This gets me people. This gets me tools. But huh, increase pack of crops. This comes after though. That's gonna. But I also get money here, so this money actually will probably pay off this easily. All right, because this is kind of like selling your crops for amber. And I think I'm going to go for this side here, because this is actually not too bad. Getting an extra increase in this. All right, so I'm going to go with that. So I need to solve this first before doing this, because this bonus will help me apply towards this. All right, so my pack of crops. Um, let's throw this down here. All right, let's see here. Let me, let me disable the meat consumption here. All right, well, I'm okay with that. You know, I'll, I'll control that first. If they run out, then we'll um, we'll switch it. So we'll go with roots first, I guess. And how many do I need? I need um, I need five, right? So we'll do this. So we got a ranch. Ooh. I need to probably build this as soon as possible. Alright, I guess I'll add the crude workstation in here. Um, I need to get this one right. So I need to get... Let me take this off for now. I need four of this only. Alright, four of that to get this going. I need that one. I need that one right away. And I need the clan house before placing down on any of my camps. All right, that's gonna take a bit <laughs> in terms of resources, but I definitely want to get food going so I can get this here. We want to use this. So we got two builders, right? We got two builders. Alright, so this Pack of crops, easy. Two glaze, easy. That's easy, right? Yeah, I think we're getting meat, right? This this um, this map gets me meat from the from certain trees. I think it's these guys over here gives me meat, right? Yeah, these guys here gives me meat, and then this gives me crystal dews, right? And stones. Oh wow, nice. Crystal juice and stones. And incense. Yeah, this coral force is really nice. It's got like a little multi rainbow with all sorts of resources. It's kind of nice. What's my cutoff? Fifteen, right? Yeah. So that should give me plus two, right? So that's twelve. I need a little bit more for fifteen. So 
Alright, so let's go ahead and add a guy in this for now. To get that going. Now I do I need to want the oops shit. Let me turn this off. So I want the bricks to be higher priority. So I can get this one over here. It's not bad, right? So the only thing you have to build is this, but I, I will switch it once this guy gets me the four that I need. So which one? I think the ranch? I don't think the ranch gives me fever resolve. I think it only increases production or something like that. Like a 10% increase production. It is not a beaver resolve. Okay. What else we got going here? This gives me plus two, right? Yeah. So I need three more points for this guy to get to that threshold. Hmm. Alright, so... How's it coming? So now I can take this off. He's going to finish it off. Okay, no. You you want to deliver ASAP. Now the planks, what was... What, I think it was going to be what? The, the, the clan hall, right? No, that's a lot, actually. No, it's the ranch. I think I wanted the ranch right away. Because then we can actually start producing meat and stuff. I guess 5 or 10. That's actually not a bad deal. Let me take this off. Take out to this off. I don't need that there. So if I have grains, I guess I'll go there. Uh, yeah, this actually converts to leather, right? So that actually gives me more. Ideally. So I'm converting food for food. And this to get me leather. Right, because leather. Is this is actually a boost, right? Leather is a boost. So basically, we're gaining two. So if I can get this one running, that should give me more fiber or fabric stuff. Okay, the pack of crops is done. Let me turn this off. And so now we only need what one. One pack of crop. Oh my god. That's fine. And one pack of crops, and then what? Two pack of building materials? I don't know which one I'm gonna do for this. I'll have to think about it. I don't wanna use that, right? I don't wanna use that. I mean, that's fine. So, provisions, right? I only need one. I only need one. Well, I mean, three, but 
choosing one, they're they're gonna they're gonna just make the one. So here's brewery. Ooh, I can do pack of crops. Shit. Uh, trappers, foragers, herb. I don't like any of these choices. All right, I'm gonna hold off on this. I don't have to choose right away. Yeah, I mean, this one gives me the ability to make better pack of crops. And pickled goods, but I don't know if I really need that long term. I mean, I guess ale is not bad. But I really don't like any of these choices. I would have preferred maybe like a like a smokehouse or something. Or a uh, a thing that reduces their the resolve. Let's re-roll this. There we go, the smokehouse, right? Oh, yeah, the smokehouse for sure. Nice. So that's gonna help me. Significantly. Um, so we're gonna take this off. Yeah, both of this is like a great combo right here. So I shouldn't have a food problem. So that, yeah, let me take all this off. This is requiring planks? Okay. Planks and fabric. Two fabric, two well, okay, so I only need two fabric. I need tons of planks. Alright, so let's see here, what do we got here? Okay, so whenever the impatience is high, I gain global resolve. I'm gonna go with this. Oh shit. No, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with this. Left or right? <laughs> oh my god, we got the harpies on this one. Left or right? Left or right? Let me think about this. This one needed the bricks to jumpstart this. Did he already make the bricks? He did, right? So I guess I'll go to the left, so I don't have to build that. That jump starts this. And I need to create the homes, right? Huh, I can jump start this guy and make him happy, right? What's this resolve? 15 still. Huh. I don't know if I should jump start that guy. Well, I can jumpstart the harpies, right? Right away. Because harpies is just clothing. So that's two for the harpies. And lizard guy. Lizard guy just needs two bricks. But this needs brick, right? Hang on, no, that's planks, right? Planks. Planks and clothes. Alright, so that's fine. We'll, we'll wait on that one. Uh, so I guess I'll do this. To get that going. Oh, I need lizard guys on that one. I need lizard guy on this one. Let me take this off. This should give me resolve. Let me take. Let me deliver this right away. Let me take this off. Oh no! There we go. So we're gonna. This is higher priority, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, well, that one higher priority. So she should be happy as soon as she pops in there. And then this guy over here, Smokehouse. So I need one more house for the lizard. Shave this a little bit. And I need that clan house too. So before I before I even attempt any of these little other thingies, camps. Oh, what's this one? Lizard house. Oh, okay. Oh, six lizard house. Oh yeah, I should probably go with this one. I need to come up with skewers though. But getting that lizard resolve might be good. Which one is this? Blight Rock? Mm -hmm. Human House. Six. That one I can make. I don't know what this is. Produce 30. Purging fire in the building. Blight Rock. Uh, Blight Post. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can come up with the biscuits, though. This is going to be tricky, though. I might not be able to move the needle anymore. I'll have to think about that last one. Yeah, I'll have to think about the last one. I just want to get this complex um, food thing going. Okay, where are my lizards? It's this one right here. Where's my other lizard? It's probably in here, right? Throw him in here. Get that running as soon as possible. Alright, so this one... Okay, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm juggling, basically, these resolve, but it might not. Okay, this one I need to put a... a lizard in that one. Let me put a lizard in that one. I'm gonna put this chick on that one. So that way we can produce more of this meat. Early on. So I need a pack of building materials to move this needle here. How, how am I gonna do that? That means coming up with tons of these planks. I think I need to come up with planks, right? And this last one here is four of those? Okay. Bricks? Okay. Planks. Alright, well, pack of materials gets me this production. So the only thing that gets me that pack materials effectively for a pack of let me take all of this off. Which one do I want? I guess the planks, right? Yeah, the planks is the only best choice I can think of. Because that's the stuff I can actually produce. So the blizzard house. Hmm. The blizzard house. That's brick, right? Lizard house brick. Right, so this could get me a potential solid food income there or source.
Alright, so I need to get this to be able to get that fabric increase. These two, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. Alright, what's going on here? Alright. Yeah, we're, we're definitely cranking out the the complex food there. So that means everyone is happy, right? The bar is, should be moving a little bit now. It's good. It's good, 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 good. I'm so glad I got that smokehouse. That really helped a lot. Yeah, the complex foods definitely help me out. Hey! Health in this. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Alright, so actually I don't need to worry about any of those now. Amounts of goods, not production speed. Oh yeah, I already read your message on that one. Alright, so the building materials. I guess I can pop this guy in there now, right? Just to get that. Don't mind me just peeking in and having a look at the game and finding out why it's terrible and I should keep my money, $20, now that it's on Steam. It's 20 it's actually uh, $17 on Steam. And the game is not terrible at all, I can tell you. I, I, I definitely think it's worth the money, even at full price. I've been, I've been enjoying this game um, for like a year now over a year now. Last year I completed all of it. I mean, I totally grind through everything, did all the deeds, um, got all my upgrades. I had like tons of surplus of, of uh, materials, upgrade materials. And then they end up refunding me all that because the game, they've massively changed the, the game. And so I got all my Citadel ref refunds back, but they, they nerfed and reset my, my profile level. So I, I have to like rebuild my levels and experience points and everything. So I figured like, okay, I might as well just, you know, create a brand new profile and start from scratch because they've added so much new things to the game since I played last year. And so now I'm just starting from scratch and there's a lot of new mechanics that they've added that I've, I've really enjoyed. Uh, I'm learning like new, new stuff now. So it's definitely worth getting. Like I, I can tell you. You don't you don't want to pass up on this game like the sale like it's, it's, there's a fifteen percent sale right now seventeen bucks is such a steal like what 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 other city city game can you get for seventeen bucks right now that's better than this like literally like I don't know the premise alone is making me reach for it quickly resettable replayable roguelike city build seems like it should be a thing since the game is a lot about optimized i'm gonna go for it okay <laughs> glad to glad to hear but you did a good you did a bad job talking me out of it oh. no 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 i'm not gonna talk out talk anyone out of it i i'm really i mean i definitely really like it, i'm not just saying this because the developers gave me a free key um, because before the developers gave me a key last year, I had this game on my wish list. It's just that they they went with Epic exclusive, and I just was not willing to spend my money on the Epic Game Store. Like I have not today still spent any money on the Epic Game Store. I've only collected their weekly free games, right? And so I refused to spend money on this. But I was just this this was the only game that I was tempted to buy. On the Epic Game Store, that's how much like I really like this game. Like I actually saw, I actually saw people play the demo on YouTube, and then they had a demo briefly that I got to check out and play because I actually was in their Discord going, "Oh, when's this like you know, against the storm demo coming out again?" I, I missed it, right? I really want to get this, and um, for some reason, like you know, they took it off, you know, the uh, the thing, and I can't access the demo anymore right so i was bummed and so i even wish list or at least like was watching the the demo when it pops up again right so somehow luckily okay here's the story i was playing i was streaming D timberborn for a while and i actually got a lot of views for timberborn i exported my my vods onto youtube this is the only reason why i started my youtube channel 
or focusing it, right? Because people were starting to watch my Timberborn. I, I didn't even do anything special to my Timberborn VODs. I didn't even like put in descriptions. I didn't even care to try to like, you know, do anything special to it. I just like dumped it there. I got tons of views, thousands of views. And then one day, like the Against the Storm developer showed up and whispered me on, on Twitch. And he's like, hey, you know, I notice you play a lot of Timberborn. Are you interested in playing, you know, uh, Against the Storm on stream? Right? Yeah. Well, you know, because this game has beavers. And I guess that's why they were, like, watching Timberborn. Because Timberborn has beavers, right? Uh, oh, hey, this is awesome right here. This is an awesome deal. Grains per minute? Wow. That's a steal. Uh, which one do I want here? Left or right? I guess I'll go with the left. Yeah, let's go with left. Um, and so, you know, I thought the guy was trolling me, or he was just some bot, you know, just saying, hey, do you want a key? And I'm like, this, what is this? You know, who, who messaged people asking if they want a key? Of course I want a key, right? But it's like, I was skeptical. So the guy was like saying like, hey, you know, I noticed like you stream a lot of Timberborn. Uh, we would love it if you would stream our game. Uh, what's your Discord? I, I, I'm interested in hooking you up with like a key, right? I'm like, okay. I was just very skeptical of this, right? And when I got on Discord, the guy who, who whispered me on Discord um, turns out to be a developer, and uh, I because I was in their channel, and I saw his his uh, official tag. It says that we share a mutual server. I don't know why he didn't like message me on the Discord because I was already in the channel. Uh, but I guess like you know he, he was browsing like Twitch. But anyways, um, I was shocked. I actually got a free key, so it unlocked like the experimental branch, the demo, um, and the full game. It was like a, a press kit key or something like that. And so I got all the all the different keys, the three keys on um, on Epic Game Store. So I started playing this. and I did stream this last year for like two streams and then I, I got COVID. Um, I did manage to beat this game during, um, after I got, after I came out of the hospital. Or no, I, I actually, no, I, I, I did a good amount of this before I went into the hospital. And cause I was, I was trying to make like a video guide and I had told the developer that, Hey, you know, I just got COVID and I'm in the hospital and you know, I, my plans to making videos for this was on pause. And he's like, Oh yeah, no, no worries. You've already streamed it. So it's no big deal. Um, but yeah, I, I, I won this game last year, and the Harpies was was one of the factions that you can, or not factions, the species that you can vote on last year. And I mentioned yesterday the fifth playable race that they plan on adding. I kind of, I think I, I have, I think I know which one they're going to add. I think they're going to add the, the race that lost the vote last year. It's probably going to be the, it's probably going to be the Numbats. I guess I'm going to go with the clothing. Clothing is a very good option. Um, oh yeah, we're going to do the clan house, right? Hang on. Well, I'll leave that there, but I do want to build this clan house. I have this little clan house in here. Ooh, the clan house is... is a 3 by 4 Jesus. All right, let's put the where where do I want to put this clan house? I guess I'll put the clan house right next to that. Sure, why not? Um yeah, this game is what I wish Timberborn was. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I like Timberborn, but the only thing is like this game offers way more challenge. Right, because I recently played like Farthest Frontier, and I was so like, "Oh, this Farthest Frontier is awesome!" Right, and I couldn't think of anything that's better than Far Farthest Frontier other than maybe Anno eighteen hundred, and then this game here. After after I played like Farthest Frontier for a while, I'm like, "Okay, this game is the superior game because it's there's there's challenge. Like every playthrough is different, right? Every map offers some different unique dynamics." Um. So I, I definitely enjoy this game. It's very replayable. I was going to to bite even without promise of future support, but suppose it's genuine, still early access, alpha-ish. 
Oh, it's not alpha-ish. I can tell you, this game is is probably in the beta. I mean, it's if they if they did not have this in early access, it's still a very complete game. As is, like I, I'm just blown away by the level um, of gameplay that's currently in the game now. So I, I would have to say, can confirm is still EA. Yes, it is still EA. Yes, it is still early access, and there is a roadmap. Um, on everything and so they do plan on adding a lot more things to this game but in its current state for $17 I can tell you I got I got my my uh, time out of it if I had to pay um, I guess I'll go with the left even though I don't have the biscuits I'm gonna go with the left have at least 15? Okay, this is easy. I don't have a tavern. But the left is very easy to do because I can always delete those. And I get the 30 biscuits, right? Oh, I'm short on the 40. <laughs> the 10. Okay, that's fine. Which one is this? This is the temple, right? And this is the blight size. Burn at least 20. Okay, so I'm not in a rush for this yet. That's in my last pick. Hope it's it gets traction then. Love the genre has always been niche strategy game. Yeah, you know, like since ever since like I've discovered this game, I'm like, why is no one streaming this? This is so underrated, right? This game is just I think maybe because of the complexity of the game, people might not understand it, and it's very hard to follow when you're streaming this. Maybe that's the reason why. I don't know. Cause I'm always kind of curious, like why? Why is this like so underrated? Like no one, there's not a, not enough people playing this on stream or making like videos for it. Um, all right, so what am I missing? I'm missing one more pack of trade goods, right? And I need the I need the uh, clan house built. I guess we need fabric now. Yeah, we do need the fabric. And I do need more. Yeah, no, no, I do need that fabric. All right, I'm I'm in rank one hostility level, right? So I'm not too worried about that. Low on fuel. Why am I low on fuel? Oh shit. Alright, let me take off this brick. I need that delivery good as soon as possible. They need to start delivering. Here. There we go. Oh no, not that one. Come on, deliver stuff. So this one, I'm just waiting on this, right? Let me take this off. I need 10 more planks. Let me go ahead and force delivery on that one. All right, let me take this off for now. Because the only person that benefits from the coat right now is the chick. Because the lizard and the... The harpy does not benefit from coats. Let me turn this off, I guess. Oh, oh you know what? Mm. Alright, let me turn this off. I kind of screwed that up. I should have probably completed this first to get that plus one on the, uh, the fiber, or the fabric. Because then I could have made a little bit more. So I did slightly screw that one up. I don't need this right now. Well, that's fine, hang on. So we're trying to get this one done then. 
me take this off to give us that. And then, what am I doing here? I guess I can go down by one notch, right? On this. So I can increase the resolve on this. This guy needs 22, right? Threshold. This doesn't get me resolve. This gets me resolve up here, right? The lizard guy. If I get a lizard guy on there, I should improve my resolve. Okay, so the crude workstation. Let me pop this guy. Let me pop the human here. Take this guy out. Put him over here. That should get the resolve to 22. Oh, not to. Oh, it's 21. Where else can I get resolve? The ranch doesn't. Okay, hang on. Technically, the ranch doesn't uh, give him resolve. Let me move this bar here. There we go. And what do we got here? All right, I'm still deciding on that one. So now we need um, we need this one. We need human homes. All right, so this one. Let's see here. What, what can I get here off of this one? Better brickyard. Ooh, I can make biscuits. But I can't make biscuits without the flour. So I kind of need that flour. Right? Oh, that makes skewers too, right? You know what? I need the skewers. So that's fine. Yeah, this this building's huge. Okay, I need all that there. So let's go ahead and make the fabric again. Let me move this girl out. I don't need this building anymore. Uh, let me move this over here. Which one was that? That was the cookhouse, right? Oh, this cookhouse is huge. Alright, let's go with this one right there. That's fine. So I need this one completed so then I can actually start placing my camps. Um, now where's my other lizard chick? She's probably walking around repairing. Oh yeah, she's the builder. Oh, uh, resolve's going down, huh? Oh, hang on. Let me see if I can take this off. That doesn't leave me with a whole lot of builders, huh? Let me put her... Okay, yeah, that's fine. So I need to cut through this glaze over here. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I might not be ready for that. I'm kind of nervous about that one. Let's go. You know what? Let's go ahead and try to cut through this one here. Let's see here. How much more? Six more minutes? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut through this and see if we can improve our situation a little bit more. I'm a little nervous about cutting through that though. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get this resolve here moving this bar. 0 0.03 is better than nothing. <laughs> it's not that great, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, there are literally dozens of us tier fan base. Last I looked, it was only not not rated overwhelmingly positive due to lowish review counts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I have to put in my review still. I didn't actually write up my review yet. Uh, what is this? Global production is 50%, uh, but trading is unavailable? No. 
uh, gain three resolve for 60 seconds every time you finish the trade route. No, minus four resolve, uh, but 15 resolve five minutes every time a new blade is discovered. Oh, I don't like any of these choices. Um, all houses have one more housing spot for 10 complete. Wait, all houses have one more housing spot for every 10 completed trade routes. Eh. Rigorous training makes scouts exceptionally efficient. Every five villagers with a need for brawling. Okay, that's terrible too. Uh, get 50 water skins for every full reputation obtained by high resolve. Okay, I guess it's better than nothing. Um, Alright, uh, I guess I want the tools. And then I guess I have to build one more house. One more shelter home. Somewhere. I guess that fits right there. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and fill this up. Because we need to. So there's soil in here, right? I think we got farm, right? Or no? Oh, we didn't get a farm. So the soil is not going to help us. And we got, what, one vault and then immediate two medium cash. Shit, okay. So this vault right here... Crown is a life tinkering. Uh, is only active when it's corresponding. Wait. Impatient grows 150% faster. Minus 16 resolve is active only when Glade event is being worked on. Okay, we need to work on this now. While it's not a storm. Huh, left or right. Global Resolve, left or right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with left, because I think Global Resolve ultimately will give us the, the better points. Because I should be able to move this bar faster with that, with that plus three. Which one is this? They're both... They're both uh, tools. This one I need to complete ASAP. Alright, so low priority on this one. Because we already have the fabric. What's this one? That's wood. Alright, we got low resolve. Let me see if I can... Where's the other chick? She's in the woodcutter's camp, right? Okay, let me take her off that and put her on this. And then woodcutter camp chick. We'll, we'll add this lizard guy there for now. Wait, what's this threshold? 22. Mm. Alright, so we need to get this. Global Resolve. So that will help us more. And I need to get this, so then I can actually do the... the camps. Right, and this will get me the skewer that I need, right? The 40 skewers. So let's see here. Let me take this off because I, once I get the skewers, actually no, it's eat forty skewers, right? I don't think it's pay forty skewers. It's eat forty skewers. Yeah, eat forty times. Okay. So let me take the, let me take this off. I'll leave the mushrooms on. Yeah, okay, all that's fine. So we should be able to get this if I build more lizard homes. And harmony shouldn't be too bad, right? Because I can build 15 harmonies and just delete them. So that's not going to be a problem. I just need to get this out of the way. And I need to bust through one more glaze, which I'll probably bust through this one next. Am 
as well. Lizard guy. We got one guy working on this, right? Because I think we're low on wood. Yeah, we're definitely low on wood. Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe we should. Oh, yeah, we're definitely low on wood. Yeah, wood is kind of a problem, huh? Maybe I need to stop burning. We have so much in terms of jerky, huh? Yeah, we do have a lot of jerky. I guess I could slow this down a little bit. We have so many. We have like 245 jerkies. Let me take this off. Jesus Christ. Just eat the jerkies. <laughs> Alright, so this is done, right? This is done. So now I can probably pop over. I need I need this one done, right? 13? Where's the makeshift post? There's nothing in here, right? Alright, so I need more wood. I need more wood. I'm kind of screwed with our fuel situation. What's this? This is okay right now. What's this one? So I need this one as soon as possible. Dang, I wish I'd gotten a lumber mill at this point. Hey, rubber band. Welcome back. What happened to the stream miller? Oh yeah, so it died. I had a power hour power outage in my area. And so I got screwed over by that. Ooh, shit. Shit, I don't know, what do I have here? I don't have, oh. Hang on, maybe this might so save me a little bit, no. Oh yeah, that, okay, there we go, that's the... That's the eight that I need there, perfect, though. So I need to assign workers to that. Let me take these guys off. Uh, yeah, global, right? Each unique service building adds to global resolve. Okay. And what's the... Okay, resolve drops 500% faster. Okay, so I need to get that before the storm kicks in. Yeah, I'm glad I'm back too. I was I was worried that I... You know, I, don't, I was worried that the... Um, the thing would last a long time. The, my outage. Oh, this is actually really good. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Let me just cancel this. The reason is because this right here. I need to stop making planks. Right, yeah, I need to stop making planks. Because this right here makes planks way more efficiently than the, my current one. Let me complete this. And then this one right here. I need to choose one, right? Huh. Burn 20. Or get a temple and have have that 
I don't I don't know how to burn some of these things. It's Where where are these things to burn? I don't know how to burn those things. That's the first time I've ever seen that. I'm gonna go with the one on the left. Just you know, just to move this along. Now, this is not terribly bad, right? Lizard resolve to 24. I'm slightly struggling with the lizard resolve, but I should be able to get this. <laughs> I don't know. You know. I'm gonna go with this one. I should be able to get that. What, what's this? This is the scavenger camp, right? We don't have a builder, right? Yeah, we don't have a builder. I have so much food, though, right now. This is crazy. What are we getting per minute? We're getting, like, grain per minute, right? That's probably why I have so much food. Yeah, that's probably why I have so much food, because I'm getting all that grain per minute. Let me take this off. That's fine, I'll leave that there. So now I'm using this to get the leather working, right? Let me take this off. Alright, so what's this? Tavern, right? Tavern's good. Tavern's definitely good to have. I'll take the tavern. Oh, and then the other one was temple, right? I think I needed a temple. Alright, well, let's go ahead with this temple. So I still need... Well, first of all, let me get this clan house running. All right, hang on. Oh my god, we're gonna get into the storm phase. Resolve is going to drop significantly during the storm phase. Oh, hang on. Let me see if I can take these guys off. Alright, so let's put this back on avoid breaking open, right? Avoid. So we'll move it over here. And I'll just gonna clear this out. And I guess I'll I'll move it. I'll move this guy over here. So we're almost done. Like one minute, right? One two one minute and twenty seconds. I'm surprised she's not actually dropping that much. Now this is in my ballpark now, right? So I can go like this. Harpies. Ooh, harpies. Let me take all, all the harpies off of this. It's too bad I can't move this building. Yeah, I can't move the building. So I guess what I'll do is I'll put uh, a storage like right here. I guess I can put this right here too. Alright, so now I need to put that clan house back. Alright, the clan house. And then I got the temple and the. Well, I'll, I'll wait on that. Right, at least she's moving the bar for me right now. That's actually really helpful. Mm. But hey, rubber band, if you uh, you're just tuning in again, you can redeem another golden ticket since this is actually technically a new stream. 
for the um, the giveaway that I'm gonna do towards the end of the stream today. So if you guys are watching, you know, don't forget to get your uh, your golden ticket. Oh, it's a new phase. Oh. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put this chick in there. Which one is this? Is good. An artifact infused with the power of holy flame. Hostility from woodcutters is decreased by eight. Oh yes. This is really good. Eight. There we go. We're down now. That actually helped a lot. Okay, left or right. I guess I'll go with the right. Actually, hang on. Let me take that guy off. Because he benefits right here, right? That's resolve. And then, I guess I'm gonna put the human on this one for the fabric. Where else can I get this lizard to get me some bonus? Oh, the cookhouse, right? The cookhouse. Yeah, the lizards. Oh, yeah. Forgot about the lizards. Okay, that's the skewer that we needed. So that definitely gives us some bonus there. Let me swap this guy out with this chick. And I'll put the lizard in here. Oh, we need to turn this off. No, 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 we don't do that. We don't do. We don't waste fuel at this. Good God! It's a good thing we didn't. That would have been horrible. Okay, so let's see here. This provides me harmony. Ah, huh, this provides me harmony. Interesting. Includes global resolve. Okay, so I need this. All right, I need that. I guess I'll make some coats for the the other chick. Okay, so I need another harpy home here. And then what else we got? We need lizard resolves to go up to twenty four. And we need five pack of provisions. Wait, do we get a building that makes provisions? I can't remember. I don't think, yeah, we didn't, okay. Yeah, I'm okay with this. All right, let's go with this. Let me move this over here. Um. I guess I can cut down on this lizard resolve. Well, actually, no. I can cut down on the harpies. Where's my other harpy? Clothier, harpy, harpy wood camp, cookhouse. This provides resolve. That provides resolve. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh, oh, okay, let me take the harpy off. Um, where can I put that harpy? I guess on this one, right? So we'll go with that. And then the human home. I need planks, right? This, I need planks for this too. Jesus. Okay, well, we definitely need more 
wood. So I guess I'll have to... I have to pop in that for wood. Otherwise we're gonna have some issues. Alright, so what do we need? We we have a five pack of pl uh, provisions. Done. Right. They just need to store this. Take the eggs out. And then I should be able to complete this. I need to I need to get this running as soon as possible. take this off because I need this I guess I'll pause this one. Oh, I already have the eight so this, this I don't know why they're not working on this one All right, so uh, what's the other one I need the tavern right mm. I need to get that tavern running too. Man, we're we're in a bad situation for fuel. Oh, actually no. Let's see here. I only want to limit this up to 50, right? 50 fuel. So we stop burning wood. Let me take this guy off. Actually, no, I leave him there. I'll leave him in there. It's the only way I'm going to get that running. She's the resolve. Okay, let me take this off. And get some buildings constructed. We need a builder, right? We need a one builder. I don't need this anymore, right? Done. Let me take this away. Put that in the corner there. Oh, so I do need a lizard guy to go up one more notch, right? To 29. Two notches. Where, where, oh where can I place this lizard guy? Clothing, ranch. Okay, this one. I guess I'll place it over here. So I need lizard houses. And there we go. Okay, so this one we're done. Now I can choose this. Monastery. Oh, yes, monastery. Nice. Oh my god. This is a beautiful day. No, monastery. We got the tavern, we got the monastery, we need the temple in here. I'm gonna put the trader's post in here. Oops, I the wrong direction. Let me redo that. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, that's a perfect lineup right there. And we need that lizard to get that boost. What's going on with this? Okay, education. Where is this education, right? Where where can they fulfill education? Hang on. This doesn't do education. That doesn't do education. That does it. Oh, the temple does education. Okay. I should be able to do the temple. Well, I just need to be able to produce the um, the scrolls. And then this is eat, eat a certain amount of time, right? I'm going to go with the left. 
All right, well, I need what I need is the um, what I need is this plank to to go faster. I guess I'll do the small hearth over here somewhere. Oh, I can't. Oh, my goodness. It's overlapping. Oh, no. Oh, I gotta cut through this as much as I can. To make space for that hearth. Okay. We're at level two again. Shit. Nope. It might not be worth doing that. I need six lizard homes. And I can move that bar. Lizard homes require what? Bricks? Okay, that's not as bad. Oh, you know what? Let me get to leave this. Cause I want the lizard in there. Wow, it's taking forever to build this. Smokes. Yeah, we're very low on planks. Alright, let's go ahead and buy. Uh, what do I want? This is plantation, right? Ooh, I do need I do need a food, some sort of way to get. I guess the. Uh, well, actually, I have so much food. I don't think that matters. I don't need this plantation, right? I don't need this. I just need... I need planks, right? I need planks. Holy smokes, I need planks. So we're going to trade this for planks. I, just, I need a lot of planks. Okay, that's not bad. Maybe hmm, I definitely need planks. Oh, what do I? Oh, wait, I need biscuits too, don't I? I need ten biscuits. At least ten. Uh, what else can I get from these guys? Can I get amber. Hmm. Okay, I can get some amber. Let me trade some of this. What can I trade him? <laughs> um, pack of provisions. I don't need the provisions anymore, right? Let's go ahead and trade this provision here. That's about good enough. Do I really want this? I mean, it generates me. I don't. I don't actually need that. Yeah, I actually don't need that. Let me save my money. Well, I do need the. Do need that uh, the planks. This is actually really good, right? It gives me resolve. Hmm. I guess I'll go with a brick. All right, so we're at level two now, so I might as well fill this up. There's nothing I gotta do about this. But I do need lizard homes, right? Yeah, I do need the lizard homes.
All right, so do I have enough for this? Oh, you know what? I should probably buy some tools with my money. I don't know if I want to go all all that. Let me see if I can spend my money on the tools. Okay, I'm slightly off. Slightly off. Yeah, I have so much of this. I might as well give it up. It's crazy how much meat I have. Thanks to that ranch. So now I actually can spend it on one of these things. Well, I'm going to save that just in case. I don't want to rush, jump into spending those tools right away. Okay, this is now ready to go, right? So we should get global resolve. Oh, the bonuses for the camp, right? Bonuses for the camp. All right, so now we can actually put, throw down some camps here. But we have so much food. I don't think it even matters. I think I waited too long for that. Well, at least the bar is moving. Okay, so I need lizard homes, right? These are lizard homes. One, two, three. That's six, right? So that, this right here is six. That is forger. Okay, I can't do anything about that. I guess I'll put the harpies in this one. Go get that running. My crude workstation. Where's, where's my... Where did I move my crude workstation? Over here, right? I guess I'll use the fabric fiber. I don't need any of that. I could probably pause on that. Oh, I do need more. Oh, no, no. I do need more. This is jerky running again. I'm starting to notice my jerky levels going down. Yeah, so we gotta get that jerky running again. All right, so what do, what do we got here? Provisioner, weaver. Oh, weaver. Hmm. Weaver's not bad. All right, well, that will help me with the fabric situation, right? So I can stop producing fabric off of this guy. This out. Everyone's happy. Oh, we're gonna be even super happy with this, right? This is the yeah. And the monastery is gonna reduce our oh yeah. Everyone's super happy now. Once I get this monastery running. Everyone's going to be even more happy. Where else can I remove people? Oh my god. They're, they're everywhere. Where, where else can I remove people? Where can I... Where can I remove people? Well, I don't need the camps right now, right? So I guess I can take this off. Because right, there's no one... I mean, I don't need the camps right now. 
this is the temple, right? What? Oh my god, I need more people to get all this running. So I need the weaver, the weaver chick, and this. Okay, so here I could probably add in the mine, right? Let's go ahead and add this mine right here. Ooh. Do I go here or here? I guess here is the most optimal. The crude workstation chick, I don't need her anymore, right? Yeah, let me take this off. Wait, why can't we be destroyed? It's probably because there's stuff in there, right? Oh no, wait. Can't be destroyed. Oh. Why can't it be destroyed? What? Why can't it be destroyed? That's bizarre. I used to be able to destroy these creep workstations. Yeah, I used to be able to destroy the crude workstation and get that resource back. I don't know why I can't be destroyed this time. Alright, so this one right here, what am I going to do here? Oh, I can buy that five. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, I can sell all this. I can sell two. No, it doesn't come up. Nah. All right, let's say I can come up with twenty. Let's sell one more. Maybe, well, I don't know if I would sell that one though. We sell some of this. This is not bad. All right, so that's a good good trade deal there. I can buy this now. Move my bar up. Oh. Oh, how many how many of those do I need? Hang on, I need twenty of those, right? Forty of those. Clothier makes those. Oh, the clothier makes those too, huh? Ah, huh, okay. And I think the pigment is. This, somebody makes the pigment. Who makes the pigment? Who makes the pigment? This one, right? Oh, I need to make it off of insects. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see here. What else can I do here? Herbalist camp. Market. Bathhouse. Oh. What's, what's this bathhouse do for me? Global production rate is 25%. Villagers will leave 30% slower. Okay. Eh. I mean, herbalist camp. Well, let's see here. Hang on. What's my what's my achievement goal for the lizard guys? The lizard ha guy needs 15 buildings, right? Knock this out of the way. I need 30 harpies. I don't think I'm gonna get that. But the lizard guy, I could probably swing, swing that one. Um, but this one here, let's see. For each salvage or, oh, okay. I guess I can go for this one then, because I've already salvaged one, so I can get my global result up. Explore the league, right? And what's the deal on this guy? They can't do any bricks. Temple is going to get me the minus resolve. 
soon. Let me pop this off. Oh no, okay, that didn't work for that. Okay, well I need the lizard guy to be happy. I need I need I need a uh, fabric. We should be able to get coal off of that easily. Wow, we have so much water skin. How did we get so much water skin? Um, yeah, I guess I can sell that one. I need two more provisions to sell that. I don't have any, any of that. I don't have any of that. I need provisions to sell that one. I need two provisions to sell that one. All right, so I still need provisions, but I don't need to actually sell any of those. Okay, pickled goods. Oh, I should have probably bought some pickled goods. So that should help that one. But that doesn't get me My resolve went dropped, right? Hang on. Wait. This should have dropped down my... Oh, I don't need the temple. What am I thinking? I don't need the temple. Yeah, I don't need the temple. Let me just add that in there. Why is it going down by one? Oh, because I went up by... Uh... Hang on. Let me see here. If I get this building up, I think that should work, right? Yeah, I mean, I should be able to win this. From building these lizard homes. I don't think, yeah, I'm, I should be able to get get the, well, first of all, I need 15 lizard homes. I need, well, I need 30 lizards to show up. I need 30 lizards to show up. Here. Do I do I have a thing that lets me solve glaze to get benefits? No, right? None of these cornerstones give me like a a bonus. So there's no reason for me to break through any of this. Which one gives me the biscuits? Oh, this harmony one, right? The harmony gets me the biscuits. But I still need human homes. Well it doesn't really matter because I'm almost winning. How many years have passed? Five, right? So I should be okay. So all that time I tried to build this the stupid clan house, I never actually got around to to gain any of that. So that was kind of silly. I waste all that time on that. I mean, I, I definitely should get this easily. Once I get the lizard homes built. Alright, this weaver thing. Yeah, once these lizard homes get built, then we're good. Let's fast forward this. So I, I'm, I'm definitely winning, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. I have so much food. 
It's so crazy. I have so much food. Getting five pigments for every five. Nah. Sure. I don't really care about that. Sure. Let's go with this. None of that really matters. Alright, the lizard homes will get me more meat. <laughs> more meat. I guess the pigment. Um, well, I don't really need that either. I mean, this is it right here. Done. So I'm not worried about that. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on. So that wasn't so bad. Veteran level. So I'm still ahead. Or no, the brass order is ahead. How the hell are they? We need to block these guys from showing up. So I blocked the blue. I need to block the, the brass order. But then I wouldn't be able to get the metal from this. Alright, that's 14 metal. If I block this guy, I will definitely win. Or stay ahead. I don't know how these Brass Order guys keep like beating me. Every time. Every time. Let's see here, how many more cycles left till the end of the cycle? So I I go this one. Yeah, I go this one. I can circle back to this one maybe. So yeah, let's go well. I don't think I can do any upgrades, right? Because I was missing metal. I guess I can go with this one, right? Lower pricing. Okay, that one I can upgrade. What I say, like one, four, and six. One, four, and six. It's forty-eight. Cheaper price. One, four, and six are the two that I really want to upgrade. One, four, and six. So if I go with this one. Lower pricing, right? Lower pricing. And lower pricing and bonus to trade arrival speed. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then this one gives Queen's Resolve reduction. Right? And that's timed orders. Once per day, I can do the expeditions. Well, I don't know if the expeditions are really going to. Where an ancient seals are broken, in reality story. I don't know. Well, Alright, I'm gonna go with this one, I guess. 10% cheaper. I still have 40 points. I can't do this one, right? Okay, what about this one? Well, I don't need any of those. Yeah, I said 1, 4, one, four and 6. Yeah, 1, 4, and 6 is the one I want. What's this one do? Trade route limits. Okay, so get more trade routes. Well, this is kind of situational. I rarely kind of get that. So my, I guess my next one was probably going to be this one or this one over here. One, four, and six. Actually, no, I already have that one. No, I guess this one. New one bar, right? One, four, and six. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and deny this guy from winning. Alright, so we'll go with this top row. And I, I'm down to five, right? This one. Alright, it's, okay, it's not terribly bad. Alright, so I'm gonna go with this. What's this modifier? Oh, the queen starts off with six impatience. Oof. That's gonna be a problem. Alright, let's go ahead and embark on this. 
Oh, this is really scary. Having her start at six. I guess I'll put in the put in this chick first. We don't need the resolve right away. Until I get the shelter homes. So that's fine. Alright, so we're gonna go like this. I am plopping this. And how many do we have? We have nine, right? So I need to pop another house. Three times. Three times three is nine. Oops. Alright, so that's good, right? Let's go with this. Alright, Lumber Mill. I think I really need the Lumber Mill. Last time I was struggling on the wood. So I'm going to go with Lumber Mill this time. Don't want to think twice on that one. Okay, the Brickyard is actually really good. I'll take that one. And the Kiln. Okay, the Kiln is for the Jerky, right? Jerky and Coal. Hmm. I would Well... Let's see here. Jerky and coal, but if I get the, uh, you know, if I get the smoke house, that'll be better. I guess the monastery is really good. Yeah, I guess I'll go with the monastery. I don't know. I should have probably take in the kiln, because then I could have gotten that jerky. So that is mistake was made there. Yeah. Actually, let me save the roots. So I might need the roots for something. Oh, it feels like we have less for some reason this time. So I need to finish this as quickly as possible. Oh boy, what a day. Brickyard, right? That's eight planks. Okay. Well, that one I need. Okay. I need a crude workstation regardless. Alright, what do you got for me? Gain meat every time a villager leaves. I guess I'll go with that. Hang on. Is there anything better than this? I mean, that's, I mean, that's not bad. I guess I'll take it. But I prefer something else. Early on. If I got, like, a steady supply of... Well, I'll take this. That's fine. Because I kind of wanted one of those cornerstones where you get, like, a steady supply of resources. Like, plus fiber every five minutes. Or, like, you know, grain every five minutes. Or clay every five minutes. Those are the best. Or the one that, that solves the glaze and get like artifacts. Alright, what do you got here? Okay. Sell 10, and I also get 10. Versus this, I have to pay wood. Right. I'm gonna go with this one. Because that's just sell 10. This is just pop 4, which is not too hard to do. Because this I actually have to fork out 
food to give away. This is solve two, right? And I also get like tool shop. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with this left side. So I got cell ten, not a big deal. Open four glaze, solve two, not a big deal. <sighs> Alright, I'm hoping to get lizard or sorry, not lizard, beavers. Beavers. Let's pop, let's speed this up a little bit. What's my reward? Oh, sorry, what's my walk away? It actually doesn't tell me what my my walk away is. Oh shit! It didn't tell me. I it normally tells me like what my reward would be, but I guess for some reason it doesn't say that on this. Yeah, there's no my walk away reward. Build barrels. And then we'll switch over the resolve. I'm just going to take this off. Alright, so now we switch over to the Blizzard guy, right? The threshold is what? 15? We get two off of this, right? Alright, so let me go ahead and add another. Oh, he had to walk around that, didn't he? I just noticed that. Hmm. That's kind of messed up. Yeah, it actually slower. I need to like walk, plan that better next time. All right, so this one we need two of each. That kiln would have helped a lot because then our resolve probably would have gone up. Yeah, maybe the lizard howling would also help. Alright, so this one. We're creating a lumber mill. Lumber mill right here. And I guess I'll move this out of the way. Get the brick yard in here. Monastery, right? No. Well, monastery is not going to help us right now, but I will stick this in here. I'm going to actually rotate this a little bit. It's not that important right now, though. Okay, 
Okay, so this one wouldn't be nice to have a beaver. It'd be nice to have a beaver. I guess I'll put this other guy in here too. Might as well. It's not like he can do anything right now. Oh, you know what? I guess I'm good. Um, I need, I need, I do need to get this. What is this? This is harvester, right? Harvester. All right, what do we got here? All buildings cost forty percent less, but every discovery resource node has five fewer charges. Huh. Huh. A shady character appears in your settlement. You can choose from any. Oh, beautiful. That was the best. Now I can actually get the smokehouse. Where's that smokehouse? We want the smokehouse. Beautiful. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Yes, we want the smokehouse. So I need two fabric. And plants. Two pl fabrics and plants. And then we're going to bring in people, right? Ooh, two bricks. Left or right? Well, left seems to be. Hmm. Eggs, pottery. I think I'm going to go with a brick, even though lizards probably would benefit more from the resolve. But I kind of wanted that brick. Wait, hang on. We need, okay, we need to put one guy on this, right, for the, for the fabric. Otherwise, we can't build this. Wait, we got three new people, right? Yeah, I already got that extra housing. Okay. Oh my god. The resolve, the queen's impatience keeps moving. I need to come up with this. Can I come up with 15 grain? Uh, I'm gonna go with the left. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Oh no, they keep asking me for stuff. Alright, I'm gonna go with the left. Alright, I think we're gonna have to start breaking into these glaze and then get this going. Where are these freaking builders? Yeah, we're not moving our bar right now, which is really bad. I'm kind of worried how we started off so close. The six resolve. Lizards on that. Damn it. I probably should have taken the left instead of the right. I definitely should have taken the left. Mistake. 
How am I still short on people? Yeah, I'm still short on somebody. This is brick, right? Okay, so I need to put the human on this one. To get this going right now. Alright, this Queen's Resolve, or Queen's uh, Impatience is growing, and I have not done anything to move the needle. Maybe the building materials could help me. This one right here. Because once I move this, this subtracts a little bit, right? I might have to switch this hearth out and put the put the human in there. Oh, this is looking really bad, guys. Woodcutter has no trees. Which way do I want to go? I mean, that's actually the biggest, right? That's, that's within range. Well, I have enough bricks to get this one done. Yep, it's looking pretty bad, right? I mean, yeah, bleak. Bleak for sure. Bleak for sure. Um... All right, let me take this guy off. Let me put him on this. I definitely need to get bricks and fabric going. I should have gotten the the guy on the left, the the group on the left. I think the group on the left would have been better. But I need to do something to move this bar here because otherwise the impatient bar is is gonna kill me. All right, the planks. Mm. So how's this? How's this brick thing? Oh, uh, there. Jesus Christ. I was like, why is that not working? Okay, what is this? None of this. Let's re-roll this. Fiber per minute, yes. Fiber per minute is good. Two, three, yeah. Let's go with the left. I need more lizards. Oh, now we have... We have the herpes. <laughs> Harpies, herpes. Joining us. Alright, I guess I'll go ahead and clear this one out. And... Hmm. Alright, so I need fabric, I need brick. This monastery doesn't really help me right away, so I, I guess I'm on. Hmm. The monastery stary does not help me. Let me go ahead and destroy this right now. So that way I have the brick that I need. I'm gonna add in a worker here. Oh, I need homes. Let me, let me add homes. Shelter homes. Alright, let's go ahead and deliver this ASAP, guys. So I can move this needle this direction. Alright, okay, if I can hold out on one minute, 
I'll start breaking through the glaze in a minute and 17 seconds. Because the thing is, I don't want to jump in breaking through this because this might actually be stackable with this. That's why I don't I don't rush into that right away. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop this, I guess. Alright, so what do I what do we got here? What do we got here? Ranch. Ooh. Ranch is gonna help me with food, right? Yeah. That's good. Oh, so I don't have a food problem anymore if I get this ranch in here. We'll definitely not have a food problem. Because we're getting fiber, right? We're getting fiber every minute. Um, let me take off the food consumption here. I don't need that there. We, we're making skewers now. So this one right here, I'm gonna take this off because we want, we always want meat. Sure, I mean, none of this really matters. Oh, we need to save the grains for my um, my quest. And this is the other chunk. So I'm gonna pop the glaze open in nine minutes. So that's more soon. All right, so this guy here, what do we got here? Smithy. Hmm. I can get coats. Smelter. No, I don't need smelter. I can get coats. Well, no, I can't because I don't have enough money. Well, I do need to sell at least five, or sorry, ten things, right? I can get rid of this risen. Actually, I don't want to get rid of all that, right? I need to save some for that. Uh, I guess I'll do some planks. I need 10, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and reduce some of those. Reduce the parts. What else can you give me? Huh. 0.52? Oh, that's not 0.52. That's like 0.12, right? I don't like anything here. Oh, maybe Spark do, right? There we go. Oh. I guess a little bit of something. Well, you know, hang on. You know, I'm not going to buy the Spark do. I'm going to go. I'm going to subtract this and just go like this. There we go, an exact 12.5. So, okay, what's this? Move faster on roads. I don't care about that. I mean, having a smithy might not be bad because the coats. Mm. Can two crystallize you for every 10 berries produced? Okay, well, we don't have any. We don't have a farm. We have a ranch. Guess we'll move this bar along. Oh, hey, I got 20 points. Oh, we got the small farm too. Okay. I like that. Let's take the small farm. Right, because we'll have the grain. We need grain. And then, now that I got that 20, I can also buy this. You got the coats. Boom. I think that's better than this, right? Alright, so we got that one just in time. So now we need to get something with. Um. Hang on, I need to also get rid of this roots over here. So I got the grains. The bar's moving a little bit. So what's this? Oh my god. I need a market for this. Which one is this? This is a pack of trade goods. I have a lumber mill. All right, so yeah, I can go with this, I guess. Because this, I have to sell 40 coins, and that's, like, ridiculous. 
I have to give him 40. I might as well do the thing on the left. The clan hall? Forum. Okay, well, I don't... I'm not in a rush to get that right away. So let's go ahead and open these up then. Okay. Alright, so what else? Grain? Does he sell grains? No, he doesn't sell any grains. Is there anything on this list that the guy has I need? Well, I don't have any anything to sell to him anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. So I need to solve two dangerous, pop into four glaze, a pack of trade goods, right? Okay, it's a good thing I un unchecked that. I can't make that one. I can't make that one. Oh, that's in the brickyard. Oops, shit. Okay, I guess I'll make some of this. Pack of trade goods. That's the only thing I can make, right? Supplier, tool, tool shop. I don't have a tool shop. I don't know. Do I have a clothier? No. The smithy, though. I have the smithy. This is the ranch, right? I need to figure out a place for the smithy. Yeah, it's probably the smithy right there. Wait, smithy does level 2 pack of trade goods. This is level 1. So this is actually better, right? It uses less, right? Or it uses less, right? 6. So I only need, like, what? Let me take that off. Let me take that off. I'm okay with any of this. All right, wait, wait, wait. Uh, barrels, right? Huh. Pack of trade goods. Can I buy? Let's see here. That's 25. So it means I need 26. 26 means 13, right? 13 times... Times 6, maybe? 13 times 6? 13 times 6 of that. 13 times 6 is 78. Oof. Right? 13. I think it's 13, right? 13 times 6. So I need 78. How much is this worth? 27. Jesus Christ. That's. Oh, man. That's even worse. 20. That's it. Hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. And Dorian. And Andor Andor Tam, forty-eight. Wait, am I? Did I do it wrong? Forty-eight, sweetie. Wait, thirteen times six. Or do I need? Do I need forty-eight or seventy-eight? According to this, I need seventy-eight, right? Hang on. Did I do the math wrong here? Because according to this, right? I need. Okay, so I need. I need. Um. I need 25 pack of trade goods. And this is two, right? But that's multiples of two, so that means 26, right? 26 divided by two. 26 divided by two is 13. Right? I need I need to do 13 of these. Right? 13 times two is 26. So I take 13 times the six that's here. Or the barrels. Let me see here. Which is cheaper? 13 times 6 basically is 78, right? So am I right or no? You're saying 48, but I'm saying 78. I need 78 oil. Or I go barrels. And barrels is only 4. So 4 times 13 gets me 52. Let's go with 52. Let's say like I, I buy 52 of these. 
Well, I can't buy 52, but um, I already have I already have this. So that means it's like what uh, 19, 18, right? So I subtract three. So I need 10. 10 times 4 is 40, right? So let's say I only need to buy 40 of these. If I buy 40 of these, it will cost me 13.2. Right? If I buy 40 of these, complete the remaining pack of goods. Or my other alternative is 78 subtract 19, because that's how many I have. I need to buy 59 of those, which is almost 60 anyways. Well, this is like what? 15.93. 15 15.93 versus versus the barrels. The barrels is actually a better deal, right? 13 1320. So if I buy the barrels, I should be able to complete the requirement. I just need to come up with <laughs> that much that much in resource. And I don't think I can do that. Yeah, I don't think I can even do that. Mm. I'd have to sell all this, but that's bad. I don't want to sell all that. I guess I can sell half my wood. Or a good bit of my wood. And some of this. I guess I'm getting a lot of fiber per minute too, right? Or no. Yeah, I am getting fiber. So this is probably the best deal. Hang on. I mean, I can get rid of one oil, but that's okay. It's not even a big deal. Alright, I think this is probably the best deal. Or, well, hang on. I mean, I don't. I can. I can sell a little bit of these planks. Because technically, you know what? I'm gonna sell all the planks. Cause I have a lumber mill, right? I only need. Yeah. Hang on. Oh. Do I want me? You know what? Let me go ahead and roll a little bit more fiber. Let me go ahead and sell this a little bit. Because the lumber mill gives me a better ratio on the on these planks. All right, so now I should be able to. I don't know if that was a good idea, but it's okay. So now I should be able to sell these pack of trade goods. I don't have that. I don't have that. I don't have that. I don't have that. I've got four of these and plus these, right? That's ten. Hopefully I'm not off. Alright, what's this guy do? Oh yeah, we, we said we're gonna bust through this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I need fabric. I need four fabric. Or six, eight fabric. I need eight fabric. No, this is not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need fabric like crazy. Oh, the trader left too, didn't he? Oh my goodness, I need fabric. Where can I get fabric? Where can I get fabric? Oh, this is a really bad situation to be in. What's this threat? I gotta do it in six minutes. Otherwise, Destroy all trade goods in the storage. Pack of goods, amber. Oh, well, I don't have any pack of goods. Okay, alright. Well, that's not terribly bad. I don't have any amber. 
right? Demands an offering. Destroy all trade goods and storage. Pack of goods, amber and ancient tablets, which I don't have any of those. Oh, so I'm not I'm not too worried about this then. I was kind of panicking for a little bit there. Which one is this? This is the seller, right? Ooh. No, the jerky's bad. Okay, I'm not in a rush for the seller, but eh. That's fine. I'll, I'll wait on that. Alright, so this is not terribly bad. Pack of trade goods would count? No? I don't have any trade goods. Oh, oh, but I haven't made it yet. I haven't made it yet. So let me uncheck this. <laughs> But I haven't made it yet, so it's not gonna. But you're right. It would probably. It would. It would actually count. But I haven't made any, so. So I'm not worried about that. I just need to come up with a fabric. To pay that cost, unless there's something else I can pay. Man. Let's see here. Tools, right? Nobody gives me tools. Well, if I can come up with a grain, that I can I can go with this. I mean, ultimately, I'm going to get fabric back from this, right? If I do my pack of trade goods. Which one is this? Oh, yeah, I haven't decided what I want on this. I'm okay. Yeah, I haven't decided on this one. This is what? Forum? I don't know. Which one is this? Clan Hall. Okay, I'm not worried about that yet. All right, well, I'm not in a... A panic mode there. That kind of freaked me out for a second. So I disable pack of trade goods. Let me disable these coats. Alright, so what do I want in return? I guess I, I want to move my bar, right? I would definitely need to move the bar over. Okay, I gotta solve this as quickly as possible. Okay, I need I need something for the harpy to gain her thing. Oh shoot! I need this over here, right? To get the meat going. I need the harpy to be happy somehow. Okay, well if I build this... Well, I'm not in a rush to solve the other thing, right? So, so we should be fine. Let me go ahead and build this. Because that gets the harpy to be happy. I need the harpy to be happy. What does this get me? Oh, this also gets me food, huh? I don't think I'm ever gonna need any of this stuff, right? Do I need to produce wine? No. Do I need pickled goods right now? No. I, mean, I can get the food. I can get the pickled goods right away. Well, actually, I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs> That's not a top priority. This is okay. Me taking these guys off. I don't need this. I don't have any way to farm stuff, right? Oh, I do have a small farm. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. During drizzle, every completed trade route. Yeah, I don't have. I don't do any trade balance. What's this say? Pack of goods. Oh, well. I have to complete a trade route. That's not even worth the, the deal. Newly discovered. Oh, hmm. Do I want to kill off a villager? I mean, killing off a villager is not bad because. Because I think I gained meat or something, right? Or no? Was that the one I cho picked? Yeah, so if I kill somebody, I gain meat. So getting this actually is not bad, because then I can peek into the 
into the glades to see what I'm dealing up against. Alright, so I'm okay with this. Let's go ahead and open this up. Which one do we want? I want more lizards, right? Well, that actually is a pack of goods. <laughs> right there. I I'm going to go with this. Because I need more lizards. It's always good to have the lizard guys. Wait, I don't have any. I don't have any money, right? I don't have any, anything that. All right, so I can probably solve this now, right? Yeah, I can probably solve this now. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let's get these harpies to be happy. Let's make some raincoats. So I need to break through this glaze here. I need to finish this off first before I um I start making pack of trade goods. Goodness, I'm 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 nervous. This is actually scary. Look how close we are to losing. So we kill somebody off and we get meat, right? Whenever we go into this. So somebody's gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna add this monastery here. Alright, so we do have a farm. So that's done. What else do I need here? Pack of Revisions is not bad, right? Oh, Carpenters. No, sorry, I don't need the Carpenter. Oil is not bad. The Skewers, right? Skewers and Flour. We don't, well, we do need a way to make flour, so I'm going to go with this. I need to break into this. I don't know if I need this for, for any reasons. Alright, let me take this off because. Oh, oh, there we go. So I need more lizard guys working on this. Camp. Okay, it's this camp, right? That's my thing here. Let me see. Do I, did I take it all off? Okay, I did take it all off. So I'm not in a really rush to get this. I don't know why that's there. I need to be able to get through this as quickly as possible to solve this next event. Oh, actually, that might. <laughs> Solving that event might be a trick. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I have to make a decision, don't I? What is this? Clan house. All right. Well, sure. Let's go ahead with this. I don't. I mean, I don't have a form. So, which one is this? Oh, this is easy to do. I, mean, I can just build this and just delete it, right? 
That should be fine. But what is it? 20 aesthetics. I think it's 20 aesthetics, right? Oh, that's all planks, right? Oh, yeah, this is easy. It just requires 20 planks, and I can just delete it right away. Come on. Oops. Yeah, so 20 of that, easy peasy, delete. And then we'll do this pack of trade goods thing. Oh shit, I forgot to take off. Wait, wait, why is my oil gone? Where's all my oil? I lost the oil. Oh, maybe he already made the pack of trade goods. No, he didn't. I lost, I lost oil for some reason. Well, at least I got some of this pottery, so that helped a lot. Ooh, that was close, though. This human resolve, right? That's not a big deal. So let me click on this. Oh, man, I need to provide people for this. Who else can I provide? All right, let me take this this chick off. There we go. All right, so this trader guy. What can I do here? What is this? An herb garden. Crops plant twenty five. Yeah, that's not bad actually. I'll go with this. Yeah, that's actually not bad. All right, so that's I'm okay with that. Oh, okay, I can, I can use eight of these. Alright, just in case. <laughs> you never know when you might need eight of those. Um. No. What can I trade him? Okay, I guess I'll go with the risen, right? There we go. Okay, is there anything else you can give me? That might offset that. What is the difference? That's like point, point one eight, point one eight, right? None of these are point one eights. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. That's fine. So we got what? What did I just buy? Oh yeah, I bought tools just in case. We might need the tools for some reason. So you never know when you need the tools. Alright, I'm gonna go with the eggs on this. And send some people. Oh, I need to choose a reward. So we're gonna start planting some grains to get this running. Oh, I guess I don't need this chick there, right? Cause I have to have all I have to have all three to actually benefit from this. It's not like a half or anything like that, or a third. I need um, I need uh, I guess barrels anyways. To get that up up and running a little bit more. One, two, three, four. Alright, what do we got here? Global. Okay, gain two amber for every 20 sea marrow produced. Eh. I mean, that's better than nothing, right? Lizard training. 
Villagers with leisure fulfilled? I guess... Mm. I'm gonna go with the one on the right. I mean, I have no other choice. That's better. I mean, the sea marrow here is... Oh, it's got 60 charges. Oh! Oh, I should have gotten the one on the left. <laughs> yeah, I should have gotten the one on the left. That was a bad mistake. Because the sea marrow is right, right here, actually. And that would have actually given me, like, two amber every time I... I loot 20 of those. Because it actually does go up to like 64. God, that was a mistake. Oh, I wish I could take that back. No take backs. The sea Meryl. Okay, what does this one give me? This is pickled something, right? Or wine. Pickles and wine. Alright, so the dangerous event solved. Done. Move the needle a little bit there. What is this? Tools, right? Simple tools. Oh, okay. I'm going to simple tools. Alright, so this here, I can delete this. Oh, shit. I accidentally deleted my, my path. So I'm going to put this in here. The tools, right? What was the other one that I got? Provision house, right? All right let me delete all of this here so I can stick that provision house in there. Alright, we got two more items. Oh, did we get the form or no? Oh, we got the clan house. We picked the clan house. Shit. Okay. Skewers is not bad. Oil. Biscuits. Scrolls. Huh. Alright, well, let's see here. What do we need? We need training gear, though. I'm gonna hold off on that. Oh, I have to choose. Which one does this give me? Wine. I need training gear. Who needs training gear? Weaver. Mm, I don't have that. I don't have any of those. Shit. Okay. That's going to be a problem. Alright. Uh, what else do we have here? I guess skewers, right? What's this training form give me? Chance of producing 15% increase? Okay. I'm not too sure about that one. Wait, the monastery, what does that take? That's beer and incense. Hmm, biscuits right here. Or skewers. I mean, skewers and oil. I mean, skewers and oil. Scrolls. I don't like any of these choices, but. I guess biscuits not bad because I can't produce biscuits. So let's go with this biscuits. And what do we say? Clan house, right? We need the clan house for the quest. Alright, the quest is clan house. Oh shit! I deleted all the the aesthetics before completing my quest. Oh mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I deleted all this before for completing the quest. So now I need 16 more. Oh god. That was bad. I need 16 more. This is three, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh my goodness. So that was bad. All right, I'm going to take the clan house, right? Well, I still need to be able to come up with training gear, though. All right, let me put the farm here. I 
guess I need a... Do I need this guy? Let me see here. Do I... Well, how many other quests do I have left? Okay. I might need this guy. You never know. You might... I might need that guy. I don't think I can move him either. So he's kind of forever stuck there. I guess I'll go like this. I'll try this again. Actually, no, I'll leave it like that. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to probably need a tra storage right over here. And then we got a thing for stones here as well. Well, that's done, right? That, okay, that's done. Okay, I don't need that one. That doesn't give me resolve. So I need to basically get somehow get resolves. So that means I need more of the Harpy House, right? Harpy House. Um, I guess I'll pop this in here. Subtract that. I need more bricks, I think. No, I, well, I don't need bricks. I don't need the bricks right away. Oh, let me turn this off. Oh, I know why I lost the oil because of this. Oh, that's how I lost oil. I'm like, where did all my oils go? I know exactly why I lost the thing. Actually, this one, I higher priority. I was wondering what happened to my oil. I need more harpy houses. Oh. So what do I need off of this guy? Nothing for now. Oh, nothing for now. Nothing for now. At least we built it. Woodcutters. Alright, so I need to break into two glaze. Let's see here. What's in here to solve? Nothing here to solve. Nothing there to solve. Nothing there to solve. That has soil. That has soil. Let's see. Small cache. Um, well, that could get me something. Right? That could get me. No, that's small encampment. Okay, that one could get me something, right? That might actually get me something to move the needle. So let's go ahead and. Let's see, already, well, a big glaze could help too. Let me go ahead and go with this big glaze over here. What is this one? Forsaken? Yeah, okay, that's not bad actually. I'll go with that. Let me go with this one over here. Yeah. So I definitely need this needle moved. So now I actually can delete some of this. And then pop in some more of these little harpy houses. One, two, three, four. That's eight. Okay, so that's that works fine. And then I need... Uh, I need house for the humans. Okay, let's take a look at this. What 
we got here. Global resolve for every 10 amber in the settlement and storage. I don't, oh my god, I do have amber in this. Minus 5 for every 10. That means I'm going to lose 10 points of resolve if I work on that. And if I don't work on that, I get this impatient increase, which is a bad thing. Oof, I don't have the tools. Alright, well that's going to be a problem. Let's see here. How long is it going to take for this guy to get to me? Alright, a little bit. Two minutes? Yeah. Two minutes is a long time. Two minutes is going to be a very long time. Alright, what's that clan house do for me? I forgot. I forgot what that clan house does for me. I don't know, I guess I'll build it. Oh my god, it's huge. Right, let me move this guy out of the way then. Hang on. I'll leave him there, I guess. I'll put the clan house in. I don't know if the clan house needs to be inside the district. So I should be okay with that right there. Yeah, I don't think the clan house needs to be inside the district. figure out something on that. Okay, so the bar moved. Rain mill. So we already have the ability to make biscuits. Uh, pigments. I really don't like any of these choices. <laughs> I don't need... Yeah, let me re-roll this. Okay, the weaver is actually not bad. Yeah, weavers is actually not bad. I'm gonna go with a weaver. What is this crude workstation? I don't need a crude workstation anymore, right? Because that was using this. Because now we can do the weaver. Alright, this is the final stretch here. So coats I should be able to get. Oil. Uh, do I have enough humans? Oh, that's going to be a problem. Don't I have the ability to make oil? I could have sworn I have the ability to make oil. I could have sworn I have the ability to make oil. Oh, I can't make oil. Oil is not on my list. Hang on, does this make oil? I don't think that make oil. Nope. Huh. But I don't think I can come up with 20 humans. And I need oil. Yeah, let me take this off. Okay, well, I don't have the ability to make oil, so. What we got here? Hmm. Alright, well, well, we'll have to use the 10, right? It's a good thing I got 10. What am I thinking here? Yeah, one point is better, right? I don't know. Versus global resolve? Can I move the needle by one point with this global resolve? I think ultimately I might need this to save me. 
because this is not going to help me. So long as I can move the needle by one full point, then that's essentially the same. Did I spend all my my amber? No, I, I still have 20 amber left. That's going to kill me, isn't it? Especially during the storm. I don't know. I need to do this right away because I can't wait for that six minutes thing. Oh my god, this is really bad. So I need to open one more glaze thing. Oh, I need humans on that one. I need humans. Where, where are we going to come up with humans? This can't be destroyed. Why? Oh my god, why can't I destroy that? I've destroyed it before in the past. I don't know why it won't let me destroy it. I need two humans. I need at least one human in this then. Where's my other human? Brickyard, right? Monastery. Brickyard and monastery. Woodcutter? Oh, I have plenty. Oh, okay. Let's take one off the brickyard. Put it over here. I think we're good for now for Bray. I guess I'll, I'll be fine for now on that one too. We have so much of that. Alright, newly solved dangerous forbidden hostile uh, event. Um, two newly solved dangerous. Okay. I'm gonna go with that one then. I need to solve one more. Okay, let's, let's see here. What do you got in here? Uh, metal? No. Uh, open chest faster? Eh, don't care. Builders can carry five more items? Eh, don't care. Well, what else do, what else do I really need right now? What I absolutely need? Training gear, right? No, I don't have training gear. Hang on, what does this one give me? Oil, right? I need oil. Does this guy sell me oil? No, he doesn't sell me oil. This is really bad. <laughs> I need I need oil. Well, hmm. Open chest faster. None of that. Hmm. God dang, gone it. None of these actually will help me right now. Hmm. Okay, okay. I need training gear. That's not gonna, that doesn't get me training gear. It gets me food. I don't know if I want to do anything with that. Let's, let's see here. What, what about this one? That gets me money and people. I don't know which one. Trade goods are, are still paused? Are they? Oh, you're right. Oh, it's because I didn't choose that one. Oh my god, I didn't choose the that one. That's why. Oh, that's why. Well, it's a good call. Thank you for, for paying attention to that. Religion, right? I guess I can try to buy incense. Might as well.
need to come up with 0.6. No, I can't. It's 0.25. This is 0.134. Okay, I guess it can go like this. That's that works. All right, so I get I got some for this for the religion over here, right? Religion. So that should help with some. Oh, she needs education. That's cleansiness. Religion doesn't help any of my characters, huh? Oh, I just... Oh, my God. I made... That was the worst mistake. Buying incense where none of these guys... Oh, okay. She uses incense. Okay, yeah. She uses... Okay, so the lizard and the humans can benefit from that. I just need to get this resolve up. Which one did I take? I, I took the one on the left, right? I need to get resolve going. Okay, what's this do? Bonus on the camps? do I need? I need a... Uh, which one I did? I, I did the monastery already, right? This is the monastery. I got, I guess, the clan house? I already, already got the clan house. What else do I need? This produces incense. Okay. Sure, let's throw this down. Might as well. I need a lizard house. Let's throw this down. Let's throw the lizard house down. Yeah, let's throw another lizard house down. Couldn't hurt to have more lizard homes. So everyone's resolve is now increasing, which is great, which is what we wanted. And then this one here, I don't have the tools. Oh my god. The guy didn't actually sell any tools either. Alright, let's go ahead and add yeah. this. Let's pop in another glaze. Which one do I want? Where's the... This one, right? This is the closest one. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop this one over here. What's, what's this say? Living matter? Okay. It's the first time I've seen living matter. Actually, no, it's not true. I just don't know what the living matter does. So everyone's happy, right? That's what we want to see. Let me take this off. Take this off. And then, what do we got here? Take this off. So I'm going to take this off. Biscuits is level two. Okay, yeah, biscuits I'm okay with. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and add the heartbeat on this. Get her to do something there. Something useful. So we need grains. So this guy here should be producing grains. Let me take this off. Last oh, I'll leave that there. Yeah. We need grain. For all of this. Alright, the pack of trade goods is done. Boom. So what's this one? I still need oil or humans, right? Oil or humans. So I don't need this pack of trade goods anymore. Let's take this off. Oh, I still have 11 pack of trade goods there, huh? That's crazy. Oh, I can make tools, right? You know. Yes, I can. Oh, yes. Let's make a lot of tools. Let's make a lot of tools. Oh, what's this? I think this is the thing I need to worry about, right? 
You take care of this AS ASAP. Uh, this is brick oven. Wait, what's this one? What's the one on the left versus the one on the right? Wait, why? Why is the... I don't understand the one on the left versus the one on the right. Is the one on the left mean I get this? And the one on the right, I get a blueprint. I'm thinking I get that just means get a blueprint, right? I'm thinking the one on the right gets a blueprint. Which one is this? This gets me the the um, the fighting thingy, right? The training gear. That's the one I wanted, right? The training gear. What was my other thing? I need I need to be able to make oil, right? Oil. I'm looking for something that gives me oil. This gives me training gear. What does this give me? This also gives me training gear. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, I can just salvage all, not salvage, but rebuild those. Okay, this one on the right. But the one on the left gives me machinery. <laughs> That's actually not bad. I could use machinery. Wait, I, I just want to make sure I'm not doing anything with the... Provisions, right? Let me take the provisions off. I don't want to do any flowers. Wait, that's tools level three. Is this tools level two? No, we don't want this. No, no. We don't want tools. Because this right here makes tools level three. And uh, that's better, right? Six to two versus. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. No. Okay, one to two versus two to three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more efficient. This is actually more efficient. Alright, what is this? I need oil, right? I need something that makes oil. Oh, here we go, the druid thing. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna go with the one on the left. Because I don't have... I don't think I'm ever gonna get that human 20. I'm gonna go with the one on the left. Oh man, this is craziness. Oh my goodness, pack of trade goods and ancient, okay. That is not going to be good. We'll see. We will see how I fare on that one. Well, let's do the oil situation first. Right? Let's do that oil. What's this one? This is the weaver, right? I need to make some weaving thingy. That's my okay. Uh, where can I get the? Where can I pull out a weaver out of the hat? I need a weaver. I need a weaver. Scavenger camp, right? Okay. Uh, we do have yeah. So this one right here. I guess I can put like what? Mm. Let's see here. There's humans on that side. Actually, you want to probably cut back on these veggies in the future. Uh, these provisions, I can come up with provisions easily. That's not an issue. I can move these guys over here. So we have those guys on there. Uh, I need somebody back on this job, right? Okay, so I don't need that many of the aesthetics. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um. What's the next bonus? I forgot. I think it's global s production or something. All right. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and try to finish this off with the barrels. Two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Right. I think it's eight. It needed eight more, and then four, four of these guys. One, two, three. That's not four, but eh, that's good enough. Alright, so why is my lizard not happy? I'm gonna get that lizard to get me happy. Where's Mr. Lizard? Why are you not happy? Oh, you know why it has so much pottery? It's because I kept building this. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I'm like, why do I have so much pottery? Alright, which one do I want here? I don't know. Skewers is not bad, I guess. Yeah, let's go with the skewers. Nice little grill here. Now everybody's happy. We're doing pretty good. We're moving now. We're not actually worried about that. I was actually worried about this for a little bit. All right, so the oil thing. Did I build my oil thing or no? I don't think I built my oil thing. No, not yet. The scavenger. I'm gonna move the scavenger over here. And the oil thingy. Druid's hunt. Well, that I need people. All right, I need. I need uh, humans on this one. Okay. Well. Let's see what else uh, can I remove? I guess I don't need this guy here anymore. Let's move him over here. We're making a lot of stuff there already. Uh, the weaver, right? I guess I don't need that on the weaver. Training gears. No, let me take this off. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't make pack of goods. Jesus. Why do we keep making pack of goods? Okay, so we do want the training gear. I'm sorry, I don't want to use that for training gear. Weaver, yeah. Alright, so let's get some more people to join us. Gain one villager each time that the glades discovered. Uh, I don't like any of these choices. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one, I guess. So we need training, we need more crops, right? Let's go ahead and put the humans in here. Where else do I have humans running around? For some reason I have a human on there. That's a mistake. That was a mistake. Hmm. So I don't necessarily need this pickle thingy, right? I should be able to win the game without that. So let me go ahead and just salvage all of this. And then that should at least get me some food. And then what do I want to do with this one? I'm going to test this out because I do want to know what's that all about. And this is brick, right? I guess I'll put that one guy back on that dude. 
So this one right here, what is this? I can make barrels and training gear. Oh, hang on. Actually, that one does a better job with training gear. Let me take this off. What's this one do? That makes better training gear. This also makes better training gear, right? Level 2 training gear. What about this one? What else can I do? Oh, pigments. Eh. Pigments. Well, that's pack of provisions. I don't know if I need that. Alright, let's go with the last one. Let's see here. Oh, pack of provisions on the last one. That's 10, though. This one I should be able to come up with, right? Because we're making tools. We're making tools. Actually, we should be able to win this at this point with all this resolve. It's a good thing I actually picked that plus three resolve. That's actually the way to go. What do I want? Oh, I guess I can buy the grain right away, right? Here, look. What am I missing for grain? 24, right? 24. I'm missing 24, so easy peasy right here. And I'll just uh, spend whatever necessary. We win the game. We win the game. Bingo. All right, we did that in a very reasonable amount of time. I think it was five years, right, instead of six. So now we're ahead. We just need to block the blue guy. That's machinery. I kind of wanted the machinery, but if I block the blue guy, I should be able to win. I kind of wanted that machinery, too, though. That's 14 machineries. Hmm. Because if he goes right there, he gets like what? Five? One, two, three, four, five? If I go right here, I actually miss out a little bit. Oh, I think I had an opportunity to get machineries. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to get those, those rewards. That's okay. That's. Oh, I keep forgetting those. Alright, so if I block this guy, I should be able to win. I mean, the brass order is always up my ass there. If I take that one, I should be able to win. So as long as I beat that this in five turns and complete the blight, I should be able to get this. All right, what's my what's my bonus here? Uh, what is what did I say? I, I said one, line one, line four, or line six. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well this might actually be good, right? Because the Queen's Queen's impatience gets reduced. This just gives me an extra trade route, or yeah. And we said line four, right? Versus line six. Well that gets me the herbless camp out of the gate. But ultimately I can choose this. But, you know what I'm gonna go with the Queen's impatient thing. So we have now forty-two left. What's this do for me? No, that's just an embark bonus. Well, then again, this is not bad either. Duration? A little longer? Longer duration for the fuel? Longer fuel duration. 
You know, I'm gonna save my points. Cause I wanna I wanna go all in on this line here. Alright, I think that might be better. Lower price. I think one of them was additional vision or something, right? Town vision. So that was this one, right? That's line line six. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? It's line six. We did say line six. Because that's going to help me a lot if I can get to that. Maybe I should go all in on this line here. Alright, well, let's find. Let's see. What's this expedition thing you do for me? Deeds are disabled in daily expeditions. Time left. I don't know what this does for me. I guess I'll do this after the storm is over. Because I don't know if this actually progresses the the blight storm. So we'll go we'll try this last. And then I guess I'm gonna try to block these guys here. I don't know. Hmm. Alright, that's fine. What are we looking at here? Royal Woodlands, okay. I don't like the harpies. So I'm gonna go with this and hope to get to get the lizard guys. Alright, I'm gonna use the bathroom, so be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's take this off. All right, let's go ahead and bark on this. And here we go. Trade goods are still possible. Okay, yeah, I read your message there. All right. Yep, so we took care of that. Let's see here, what's this say? During drizzle, wine can be produced in rain collector? Wow. That's a nice, interesting perk. That's very interesting. Um, only active in storm, gaining reputation and impatient lowers. Okay, wait. Ha harsh weather conditions make it impossible to reach the citadel. Gaining reputation doesn't lower in impatience. Okay. That's not a big deal, I guess. I guess I don't want to solve my... I don't want to solve anything, right? During the, imp during the storm. So do not deliver anything during a storm. Um, to prevent it, fulfill the housing need. Okay, this is not a big deal, right? Villagers will have this minus two to resolve. Uh, so as long as I have housing, this is not a big deal. I'm never going to have an issue with that one. Okay, due to this uh, region's location, the crown requires you to pay five amber each storm, multiplied by the amount of years. If you don't, impatience grows 20% faster. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. So i got to pay attention to this one. Level three. And what's this one say? I can't really prevent this, right? Villagers have a 10% chance of consuming double the amount of goods when you using services. Well, I don't use any services. So this is not even going to matter too much. This affects scales with Hansili. Yeah. So I don't use services. So this is not going to matter to me too much. So I'm okay with that. Alright, so I got to watch for the level 3 one. Um, which one is this? I don't like any of these choices early on. Rain mill? I mean, I can't... Hmm. I mean, the pack of materials is not terribly bad. But that really depends on if I get the quest for that. I'm going to re-roll this. Okay, the ranch is not bad. Because then I can actually get a constant supply of meat. Small farm is not bad. Because I can convert the grain to meat. Or, well, the carpenter gives me an improvement on planks. Well, let me go with the farm, because I might actually get the lumber mill next. Shit. Okay, I'm going to do the jerky, though, right? Because that works with the... 
that works with the um, yeah that works with the uh, the ranch and then I can convert some of that wood to coal I guess that's fine we'll go with that I could have probably re-rolled but that's okay All right, we'll go with this. Yeah, this I really like this game because like every single run, if you notice, it's always different. I'm always doing something different. I'm always building something different too. I'm trying to always adapt to the uh, to the land. So we, I think we got nine, right? Eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, we got ten this time. Yeah, we got ten this time. I'm trying to get into that corner there first. Alright, give me something per minute. Holy smokes. Okay, this is actually not bad. The one on the left. Right. Yeah, the one on the left is actually not bad. Orders here. What do we got? Solve. All right. I like the idea of solving. Because we also get some of this. This is an easy one though, because it pays thirty-five, and we just move the bar. So I don't know. Solving is pretty easy. Well, it's not easy, but it's going to take us a while. I'm going to go with this one because solving means I have to break through a glaze, and I usually turtle that. So I don't really... Tool shop, huh? But I have to solve two. Uh, the amber and the trading post. I get six of this. I guess I'll go with this. That's kind of a lot of money to pay, though. And I have to pay the tools for this. Pack, pack of crops. Huh. I can do this, I can do this. And take the tools and do this, but I think I'm gonna go with this pack of crops. Because I don't want to pay tools to move the bar. Alright, so crude workstation. Let me disable the food consumption. Alright, I guess we'll have to leave it on that too, huh, for a little bit. I'm trying to get this shelter home in there. Complete this bar right away, but I don't know if that's a good idea. That gets me two more villagers, right? Uh, I'm not ready for adding more villagers right away. 
Well, it is moving rapidly. What's this? I mean, I could add another, another uh, woodcutters camp, right? Yeah, technically I could add another woodcutter's camp. So that gets me... Okay, I need to build the... I know what I need to do. I need to build the... Um, the bricks, right? Four. And I need to do the... Barrels for now. One, two, three, three, four. So, how many do I have? I have eight, nine, and ten. Ten workers. Ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, let's go ahead and take this on then. There we go. That moves the bar. Lumber mill. Oh, yes. Thank God. That's going to help me a lot. So, two bricks. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, we need to get this over here first. Well, it would be nice to get the, the smokehouse, but that's okay. What do we end up getting? The ranch, right? Okay, yeah. And then we're gonna want this lumber mill here. Right? Let me turn this off. Alright, this, this is high priority. This is, yeah. And that's gonna require fabric. Um, and to get the fabric, I'm going to need to do this one right here, right? Okay, so why is this guy not moving the bar here? Alright, that's probably, probably because I need some complex food. If I can get that complex food going, that will help a lot. Um, and we're going to need this person in here. Move this over here. All right. So what do we got here now? We got the two breads, right? We got four there. Oh, hey, what are you doing with the breads? We don't need this. We just need this. So that guy needs bricks now, right? We need fiber. It's fibers from this one over here, right? Okay. Well, we need to get rid of this as well. Alright, so this smoke guy here should now get that resolve we need. There we go. Alright, so the pack of crops. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to come up with that.
Okay, so then I'm gonna put the beaver in that one then. This one should give me some. No, this one gives me the clay. Okay, so now. How are we doing here? And then this one right here. I guess I'll set a limit, like maybe 50 or something. So they don't go too crazy on that. Alright, so I need to sell crap too for the trader, but I have nothing here to sell. If I do the pack of crops, I get the 10 of this. Alright, I, I can get the 10 for this with the pack of crops. I just need to build the trade post. So that means the pack of crops. Where can I. How am I going to get this pack of crops thing going? Alright, so I think it's the pack of crops is what I need, right? Um, so that's using herbs for roots. Okay, let me, t let me take off the consumption on this. Oh, we also have the ranch, right? There we go. Because then the ranch, I can use the, I can use the, um, I can use the uh, broccolis for that. And how many do I need? I need five, right? This anymore, right? There's no trees. So where are my lumber thingy? Come on, guys. This brick here. Where's my brick? Come on. Oh yeah, I guess I need to turn this up. Oh, I guess I can take that off. There we go. Get that brick going. Okay, so I guess I'll give that put that guy back, right? Until we until we finish this. Oh, you know what? Let me see here. The dew thingy. Rain collector. So I forgot I can collect collect a wine. But we'll we'll get there, I guess. All buildings cost forty percent less, but every discovered no uh, resources is five fewer charges. No, right? You're allowed to use the legendary mist. Piercer with such great gift, the queen's expectation high. Glaze content is revealed, but every discovered glaze increases the impatience by 0.5. Ugh, that sounds horrible. So instead of somebody dying, the impatience grows by 0.5. The settlement is known as a, a trading hub in the region. Gain one reputation point every time you sell goods worth of 60 amber. But reputation gained from resolve is slower by 50%. No, we don't want that. We do not want that. <laughs> I'm not that rich. Alright, so let's see here. 
All buildings cost 40% less, but every discovered resource node has five fewer charges. I don't know if that's a good... I don't know if that's a good one or not. Glaze content is revealed, but every discovered glaze and patience is by 0.5. Okay, well, let's go with this one. I'm all right with that. I guess I don't mind looking into the into the thing. Uh, I'm gonna go with the laugh, right? Hmm, this is a tough choice. Because the humans, I need humans. Let me go with more humans. I'd like to be able to have some humans. Alright, so now I can peek into this. The fallen beaver is not bad. That's where the soil is. Right, every time but every time I discover a glaze, right? So I'm going to only discover what I need. I'm going to probably discover this one, but I'm not going to do it just yet until we actually stack all that there. Pack of crops. Let's see here. Let's get this trading post placed. Where are my damn bricks? Come on, man. You guys are so lazy. God, I need to get that brick going. Come on. Alright, so you, what do you got for me? Ooh, I'd like to be able to buy that. I can't afford it right now. GG. Can't afford that right away. That's fine. That's. Alright, well, nothing here. I'd... I mean, I could sell this. I mean, I could sell that. I don't need to, though. I just need my pack of crops, so then I can actually complete this. Harvest camp has nothing to cut. Oh, this one right here. Let's move this harvester camp over here. Uh, I think we just need what scavenger. All right, so the pack of crops is done. Complete that. Boom! Oh, I just finished all that so fast. Oh, you know what? I should have turtled that because the queen's resolve. I could have eliminated the queen's resolve. Oh, I, I should have turtled that a little bit longer. Cut through four. Make more jerkies. Produce extra jerkies. Actually, produce extra jerkies on them. We need to do five trade routes and sell 15 goods. Yeah, I guess two. I can do five trade routes. That's not terribly bad. Let me take this off. Oh. Okay, what do we got here? Clothier? Okay, yeah. So humans and beavers benefit from this. 
I've already got a farm, so I don't know if I need any of this other one. The skewer might not be a bad idea, though. Okay, so trade goods sold. I'm guessing I can sell this. How many? I need to sell 25, right? Or 15. I need to sell 15. No, that's not terribly bad. Alright, so let's go with 1, 2, 3, 4. And get rid of all the skins. And get rid of all this risen. That should be enough. I need 15, right? So I need to come up with this difference here. Okay, is that enough? Is that enough? What's the difference here? 0.25? Hmm. Water skin's 18. What is this, 14? There we go, exact even. So I win on that. Ooh. If I can come up with three more, I can buy that. Ooh, that's a stretch. Three more. I don't know about that. Okay, I'm slightly, slightly there. So I want to buy this reputation. out I guess. So we're ultimately probably gonna go in there. I just need, need to have more jerkies, right? So yeah, I, I can definitely produce more jerkies on there. Alright, so the trade route thing. I guess I need just a pack of provisions. From eggs? Yeah, I guess I can do eggs. Hey, thanks for the follow there, Lucas. Appreciate that. I guess I will take eggs off. I don't want them eating the eggs. Hey, is this game worth it? Yes, absolutely worth it. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's currently on sale, right? For 15% for off, so it's $17. So I highly, highly encourage getting this. I mean, this is absolutely worth it. I mean, I've played like all sorts of city builders and of all the city builders I've played, I think by far this is probably my most favorite number one game. Like, I've already played this once last year and this is my second playthrough. Can you tell me what is going on right now? Okay, so alright, so right now, okay do so you understand though, like the, the left hand side is I don't know if you've seen any other streams or not, but the left hand side basically you want to win the scenario. You want each each city town building is a scenario, right? And every one of them, you want to reach the reputation here on the left, right? It's like 14 notches, I believe. And then the one on the right is well, actually, it might be 16 because I, I I'm playing on a higher difficulty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, fourteen notches. Okay, so this might be fourteen over here as well. Um, so now, if the queen's impatience right here on the right is reached, you lose. If you reach the reputation level 
14 here, you win. So once you have like a reputation of level 14 on your town, you just got to work on your town to reach that level status. And that's how you win the map. Right, so every playthrough is almost completely different. Like, I, I, I've i never had a run where it feels the same. Um, and then each of these little notches down here are rewards, right? So these little triangle or diamonds, uh, you get, like, blueprints. So in the game, there's, like, a, a basic set of buildings that you can build. Um, there's, like, essential buildings, right? But then, like, there's certain things that's unique. And these are blueprints that you can get... So whenever you like get to that status to choose a blueprint, you choose from one out of three or one out of four. It really depends on your upgrade level, right? But ultimately, you'll you'll choose one out of four. So if you ever played like Kingdoms Reborn, it's kind of similar to that, but it's a blueprint. So once it's unlocked, you can build as many of it as you want. I generally only build one, but you can build mul multiple ones if you want to. Um. I mean, everything, everything here is very, very different. I don't know how to tell you. It, all the buildings do different things. Some well, Okay, so every building has like three different things that they can do, right? So the building has... So, uh, I guess some buildings do a better job than others, which is based on the star ratings, right? So you can see how like there's these star ratings on each of these buildings, right? So this one here does a better job of producing planks. As opposed to this one over here, um, this building can do planks, but the planks on this building here is is less than a star. That's where that red icon means. Now, actually, I don't agree with their decision on the icons, but that's just cosmetics. Um, game wise, it's actually amazing. Um, so yeah, definitely worth worth the buy. And they have a demo. I think they have the demo right now. Let me check to see. If you go to the site, there's a demo. I'm pretty sure there's a demo there right now. Let me check. No, they disabled the demo. Okay, yeah, they disabled the demo. Um, you might get the demo off of the Epic Store. I don't know. We'll see. You have to go check it out and see. Um... Alright, let me take this guy off. Actually, if I take him off... Actually, if he, no, I don't know if I should take it off. I need him on here, though. Oh, if I take him off, I lose the... Yeah, let me go... I need to put him on here, though, because he's the best guy for that job. Oh, hang on. So, right here... I mean, this game reminds me also like um, World of War, or sorry, Warcraft Three, where you're like chopping the trees down. Uh, there's like these three species that you you work with in this game, and each one of these things, each one of these species have different needs. So when you're building, you have to like tend towards their needs, right? You have to think about like which which building or, or what type of food to produce, uh, what type of housing that you want to. Uh, to create and try to get these resolves to cross the blue bar, right? So when they get high resolve, like this guy right here has got like a, a blue bar resolve, then you can actually you can actually move this reputation uh, a little bit. You see how it says high resolve? I, I'm moving the reputation by 0 0.04. So if you have high reputation or high resolve, then you can actually get this bar to move a little further. And as the bar moves left, the queen's resolve decreases. But if you don't move the bar at all, the queen's resolve ends up increasing. So that's what that means. And then this here, I need to establish a trade route. I guess I can sell that one, right? I don't have anything I can sell right now. That I want to sell. Well, yeah, I'm not... I'm not ready to sell anything yet. Okay, this one here, I can produce coats. I don't want to produce any of these other stuff. So you can uncheck that. Um, this guy is producing my planks. Let me un remove all this. Because I don't want to be building any of this other stuff. 
Uh, and then fabric? I guess I do need fabric. Let's go ahead and put that there for fabric. Oh my god, my lizard resolve is, is going down. I need to get this lizard resolve up. I think the only way to do that... Oh, it's actually moving up now. Because he's eating complex food. All right, yeah. And this right here is the grill house. Let me take this off. Let me take this off. Because then I actually can start producing some of this. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I want at least the lizard in that one, right? Um, yeah, that's fine. Let me take this off. Because I want to convert this to food. Yeah, I'm converting this to food. I don't want to burn fiber on that. I'm using fiber for leather. So that means I don't want to use fiber here. I just want to use leather only for the fabric. All right, and this one is to make coats. All right, so this one right here, I want to eventually put the the jerky, sorry, the um, the lizard guys in this one. Yeah, I want to eventually put the lizard guy in that one. Okay, that's just resolved. So I guess I can put this guy in here for now. I guess I don't need this here either. Let me take this guy off. So I've got I've got the provisions needed to do the trade routes, but I don't have anything I want to sell. Or I don't have anything to sell. I, guess, I mean, I could sell. Oh, I don't even have the coal either. I don't have the barrels. Yeah, I don't have anything I could sell right now. So I'll have to wait until I have something decent to sell. This right here. I'm producing more meat and I'm producing more. I'm producing leather, right? So, okay, this right here. I guess I can add add more barrels to get to the next level. I need eight, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, three, four. And then I need to. I guess I'll move this guy over here. And I need to come up with the other four for the aesthetics, right? The aesthetics. One, two, three, four. So that should get me to the next level here. To get to that next level, which is, I think, a neighborhood. So I need to get this four jerky thing running. For 120 seconds. Goodness. I guess I'm gonna have to throw that guy in there to help out. I need definitely need more food, right? Man, this the storm is killing me right now. I can only maintain four jerkies. Oh, because that guy doesn't eat jerky. Well, no, she eats jerky. But she's, there's only two of her. I need actually more, more people to eat the jerky. Because I can only maintain four right now because there's only three people eating. All right, so allow fire keepers to combat corruption more efficiently. Every burnt slice removes an additional 50 corruption. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Uh, villagers learn how to travel in the wilderness from the best. The Royal Stormwalkers... Trade routes are, 50, are faster by 40%. Eh. Um, gain one additional active trade route slot. Traders, okay. 
Detailed notes on different traders and their wares gain one additional active trade route slot. Okay, that's not bad. Traders will arrive 25% quicker. I guess that's not bad. Let's go with this. I do want more. I do want more of the lizard guys, right? Because then I can actually put one guy in here. And then one guy in here. Right, yeah, okay. So we're running we're running on that one, right? And then we're gonna put one beaver on this one. To be able to get the the wine. Yeah. And then I now need to create a lizard house, maybe? Yeah, let's do a lizard house. Make my lizards happy. Um So we're gonna make the lizards happy. And I guess I need to make also somebody else happy, right? The humans, right? Let's make some humans happy. Uh, hang on, let's go with the human house here, right? Yep, let's do humans there. Uh, so, I need more, more thingies to make more, more coats, right? Fiber converts to that. Yeah, oh man, Scott, I really need a, a weaver or something. I definitely need a weaver. Right here. So we got two minutes left to stall. Um, yeah. Well, you know, if you want to watch my VOD, because I actually did a VOD on my YouTube channel that starts off from the very beginning and I actually explain everything. So if you want to check this out, Lucas, um, check out my YouTube channel and then go to Lucas. So go there, Lucas, and then watch my beginning episode because I actually explained it at the very beginning on how the game works through the uh, tutorial. And, and even though like, I lost the first town, um, it actually was still a um, a win at the end because I actually gained resources. But yeah, watch that VOD. It really helps you. I think the first VOD and the third VOD really helps. And that can help you decide whether you want to buy the game or not. Because during those runs, I actually walk through exactly everything I'm doing and somebody on YouTube actually comments as you know they really appreciate that I actually explained everything um, while watching that VOD so this one right here what do I want plantation right gain grain that's not bad either well I actually I want the grain but I don't really have anything to sell to come up with 17. I don't think I can sell enough for that. So I'm going to have to pass. Okay, so what do we got here? We got, we got this guy's house, right? The human house. Let's see, can I get another human house in here or no? Yeah, I guess I can. I should be able to get another human house. That's easy. The beaver house should be very easy to get. But I'm closer towards the resolve on the human. Because the beaver, I'm not getting that resolve. Alright, so let's see here. Solve three. 
Or fulfill the coats three times. I don't think I have a way to make coats right now. Solving three should be doable. I think I should be able to solve three. I have no way to maintain this. Like, yeah, you know what? I'll do the solve three. I have this. I have to pay 40. Okay, I guess I can do that. I'm gonna go with this one. I just need to pay 40. Okay, so now... Okay, so let's go ahead and bump this up to 60. Alright, because I should be able to do that. And then the Weaver... Okay, that's coming up with a Weaver, right? And this guy right here is making me food and leather. Food and leather. So what can I sell right now? I should be able to sell the wine eventually, right? I don't have any of that. God, I don't have any of these things to sell. This is horrible. Alright, let's see here. What, what, what am I worried about? Okay. So I think I just need to break through this. Ooh, herbalist camp. Okay, so what happens here is when you're, whenever you're rolling over a blueprint, right, it, it actually tells you what your current best is. So when it says plus, 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 that means that I, I currently don't have the ability to make those items, right? So plus means that I will gain the ability to produce those items, all right? So for this one here, when it's like up arrow, or sorry, the triangle, it means my current best is a one star. So if I actually pick up this building, this actually gives me a three-star rating on the scrolls, which is a much more efficient building at producing scrolls. So my current best is only one star. So that's what that triangle means. It means that I actually, if I choose this scribe, I actually will gain um, a more efficient way of producing the scrolls and ales. So over here, for example, if I choose this one, I currently have a grill and that my best is, will produce three star skewers. So picking this will not help my skewer productions, skewers situation, right? But it will let me produce oil, which I don't have the ability to do. Uh, jerky, I can actually produce jerky better. So that's what this means. And I'm thinking probably better jerkies is good, right? The only thing better than this is is a uh, um, a smokehouse, but having the ability, excuse me, to produce that oil is pretty good. If I need oil, I don't know. This is a very terrible set of selections here out of all of this because I don't really need the crystal dew. I already have the ability. I mean, the tools is actually the worst tool. I mean, this actually is a, is an improvement on the jerky, right? Let me go ahead and take this. So at the end of the day, I'm actually gaining the oil and jerky thing. So let me go ahead and get this butcher in here. Wow, this butcher house is huge. Move the scavenger hut over here. Let me put the butcher here then. Let me take this jerky off. Let me hurry up on this. All right, we don't want to use skewers on these guys. We don't want to do oils just yet. I want to use. Oops, I want to use that. Okay, hang on. So I want this guy in here for now. 
her, so I guess, I guess I can take that guy off, right? He's, this is almost done. So let me take this guy off. And put him over here. Oh, but he doesn't get a resolve. He actually just produces a 20%, a chance of producing more. That's actually not bad. Chance of producing more. 10% chance of producing more. Okay. So I just need the coal. Yeah, I just need the coal. You know, the planks right here. Alright, so I guess I'll put more the beaver in here. Okay, all the houses situation is good, right? No one's homeless. And I think I need to pop into this, see if it's to figure out what's going on here, right? Let's go ahead and pop into this. Because I'm ready to take care of this. Let's go ahead and pop in here. And that's eggs, right? What's this one? This is the harvester. I don't need the harvester anymore. Right? Right, what else can I? This is the fabric, right? So I have two fabric. I actually have a bunch of fabric. Oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and take this off. Or increase the limit. So I need to do the trade routes. None of these actually appeal to me. Hmm. It's terrible. So this actually gets me better jerky than the other one, right? Because the other one was using six. Yeah. So that's a better jerky production. So I'm trying to get into here. Um, and this right here, I need to knock out, right? I need to get another person in there. Let me take this person off. Oh no. Hang on, let me put, let me put that person in there. I guess that's not helping me that much. Okay, let me go put these guys back then. That's fine. Alright, so what's this other one? Ooh, I don't have tools. What's this other one? That's the one I'm working on. Oh, barrels can now be produced in lumber mill. Well, that's kind of cool, but... I need this 0.5. I definitely need this 0.5. This is what? Trapper? I think that's a trapper. That's a stone cutter. So we also want this right here. So I can get into the. Um, or let me un undo this. I need to get into this. Oh man, my beaver resolve is going down hard. Hard. It's currently at 22, which is not terribly bad. As long as I finish this off, this is like what? Beaver's resolve. Beaver's resolve is low? Oh shit. Yes. Woo, that was close. So at negative, they want to leave. I don't want them to leave. So this one right here, I'm going to move it over here to complete that. 
with some roots, I guess. Alright, so I need to solve three dangerous events. I need to come up with enough coal to get rid of this. So, this one right here. We're waiting on this one, right? At least our beavers are still producing stuff, which I'm. Or, I mean, pr producing our resolve here, or reputation. I think this guy's doing the skewers, right? Yeah. Take a look at this. The settlement is known as a trading hub in the region. Gain one reputation point every time you sell goods worth 60 amber. But reputation gained from... No, I don't want that. Uh, I don't want this one either because I disable consumption control. I don't like that. Uh, every five villagers with a need for brawling fulfilled increases the chance of bringing back double the amount. Okay, I don't care about this. Let's reroll. Uh, all buildings cost 40% less. Um... But harvesting and planting is slower. Oh, okay. Resources you sacrifice. Okay, I guess I'll... Hmm. I guess I'll go with this one. I mean, that's my only choice because I can't re-roll. Ooh, I only have 10 bricks in my thing. But I kind of want more food and coal. Four, five. This is five. Um, this is a very tough choice. I think I'll go with the bricks. Because I don't have any other way to make bricks right now. Alright, so it's a good thing I picked the bricks. I think this is done, right? No, it's not done. So we're in the drizzle phase. I'm okay with that right now. And this is for making the coats, right? Let's go ahead and make some coats. Let me put him in there. Let me take this off, put him in there to maintain that. Oh, I need homes. Let's give a lizard some homes. Yeah. Okay, let's go with that one then, yeah. Let's go with that one now. There we go. Alright, nice. We're getting that little increase again. Smokehouse. Oh, smokehouse. Just when I... Ugh, right. I mean, it's definitely better than what I got, but this tavern is actually going to ultimately help me more. Because that's plus three global. Let me remove this. Stick it in this corner here. I don't know if I can squeeze that tavern over here. Oh, I need that, that house removed. I'm going to remove that one then. Oh, we don't have it. Oh, we only have one builder. That's fine. We only have one builder. Let me remove all this. Or move this out of the way. Here we go. Let's complete this. So bricks produces faster. The jerky should be almost done too, right? Oh, darn it! 7 out of 10! Frickin' A. I know why. It's because of this. I definitely know why. It's because the, um... The skewer over here... 
was using that. Damn it, damn it, damn it, my jerky my jerky count was almost there. I needed ten more seconds. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, what's this one? Yeah, I can't do anything about that one. Alright, so this one I can move a little bit further. Over, over here? I guess I need to move this out of the way first. Yeah, let me just move this out this one. I only need to put one in here. Damn it. Alright, that's fine. The home's here. Okay, so this right here. I need to move this guy. If I get this tavern here, I should get plus three global resolve. Uh, oh. Damn, if I can come up with eight points on that one. Alright, let me sell all of this. I might be able to get that. Oh, actually, sea marrow. I don't want to sell sea marrow. This one, risen. Yeah, I want to sell risen. I guess I can sell some of this. Alright, because I need to be able to come up with eight. Uh, the tools and. That's going to be a stretch, isn't it? I currently have six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I might just need ten. This is going to be a stretch. I need to come up with point four, point oh four. There we go. And I can buy this, right? Hostility, yeah. That helps a lot. Okay, so I need to come up with trade routes, right? I guess I can sell the oil, right? Oil. Pack of crops? Oh, I don't know if I'll sell that one. Well, I mean, I guess I could sell oil. And then, I don't know if I want to sell that, though. A pack of crops, I could probably do. Well, first of all, I need a couple of these, right? I need to complete five trade routes. Alright, so the jerky is back in play again. Oh no, but I don't have any meat. I need this meat running again. I think this pack crop thing might be a problem. I don't want to use... Yeah, I don't want to use anything else other than... I guess I can use that one, that's fine. Uh, eggs, right? I just want eggs. Okay. So we got the jerky. Oh, come on, the jerky reset. No, no, no. I should be able to afford... I should be able to get the jerky in a few minutes here. So that will greatly help. Let me hide this a little bit. Mm. 
this one needed 14? I think it was 14, right? No, 12. I only had 10. Alright, at least the bar is slowly moving still. Alright, I'm moving at 16. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, that one I should be able to build easily. But that one gets me a shit ton of food. Huh. Well, I'll think about it. I'm not in a rush to, to pick anything yet. I need five trade routes, though. Okay. Pack of provisions. Wait, do I? Did I run out of the... Did I, did I disable them eating? Yeah, let me disable that. Oh, I should have disabled that. Ugh. Mistakes were made. Oh, they should have been eating that either. That was a mistake. Alright, the jerky's done. Let's go ahead and get this. Now that's food that we need here, right? Pack of crops. Hang on. Let me take this off. Let's disable this for now. Oh, jerky. Okay. I guess we'll go with fiber. Fiber for meat, right? I don't know if I like any of these choices. Well, that creates tools. That also creates tools, but that's a really shitty deal. What about this one? For each rebuilt or salvaged building. Okay. Well, I don't like any of these choices, so I guess I'll go with this. Wait, do I have the ability to make coats? Oh, I do have one. So that actually is worse. So, wait. Ability to make tools. Hmm. I might want to make tools. Let's go with this one. Well, let's see what we got here. Okay, I should be getting that pack of crops there soon. And that one is pack of trade goods. I don't have anything to trade though, right? Maybe the beer or the wine. Let's see here, what, what does the smithy do for me? Let's move this out of the way. I'm curious what the smithy thing does for me. Um, what can I sell? Oh, it's oil, right? Pack of trade goods. I guess I can only... I'll do... I'll do this. And I'll only do two, just to be even. So I currently can already make coats. That's not going to help me. We're going to go with this. Whoops, this one. Take that off. Alright, so the smithy is fine. We'll go with that. No. Okay, let's take this off. Really. Let's see here. What else can I trade? So I got that one. Man. What else can I trade? Ooh, I'll probably see. Yeah, you know what? I'll trade that one. Because I kind of need something, right? Because I need to be able to complete five to move the bar. Why are these guys not working on this? I think I just need a, a path.
path to that. So let me go ahead and clear this out then. What's this? I can't can't do that one, right? That one the stone. Let me take this off. Let me move the scavenger out of the way. And I think we got the stone. No, that's a harvester. Skewer. Let's take this off. Can I put one of these guys on there? Oh, let me put that guy on here. Then. All right, I'm level one. All right, so I need a I need a stone cutter's camp, which I don't. Okay, I haven't made one yet. Let's go ahead and put it right here, and I'll relocate it. And then this tavern right here should help with the resolve. So I need now to solve, to solve two more. And then this right here can only go in here. That's the best location. Wow, why are these guys so slow at chopping these trees? Huh. Yeah, they're very slow. So this one is the stone cutters. Let's go ahead and put some guys in this. So this right here, oh, roots per minute, oh, what a save, hallelujah. I think I want the roots per minute. Oh, meat? Oh, yeah, meat. Alright, so this one right here, what am I going to decide? I mean, this one I can always build easily, right? This gets me food. Um... But having those roots per minute actually will help a lot. <laughs> Alright, so this right here. Let's add this guy in here. Let's accept this, except for this. You can't sell any of those. Oh, wine, yes. Ooh. Pack of trading goods. Oh yeah, I can sell the wine here too. Nice. Okay. Well, let's go ahead with a pack of... pack of this here. And what about my... Okay, I do need another one of these. Where's that herb? I think something had herbs. There was something that had herbs as a choice. I could have sworn there was something with herbs. Like, took off the list. What's more? Oh, okay, I guess they already made that. Okay, I guess that was it already that already being worked on. Let me take this off. I'm waiting on this. Oh, wait, I don't need to. Oh, I don't need to. Change my mind. I don't need any of this.
I guess I'll add this guy in there just to collect it out. Because once this is done, I'm set. Why is this so freaking slow? Yeah, it's kind of slow. Okay, hang on. Let me move this over this way. So I'm going to put high, high priority on this node. So that way I can just draw a line from here to here. Or no. It's cutting through this one. Shoot. Okay, let's go with this. I need to move these barrels. This one to get to the next level, I need to do eight barrels. Mm. Let's do eight barrels. I don't know where I'm gonna stick it. I guess I'll stick it back here for now. I need to move this out of the way. Don't need that. We're gonna put this right here. So that's eight barrels, right? Uh, how how many how many more do I need? Eight, and then four of the aesthetics, and four of the whatever the other one is. Harmony. So I need four of these. One, two, three, four, and four of the harmony. Oh, and then I need. I need lizard buildings. Okay, I need another lizard building, right? One, two, three, four, that's eight, nine, ten. Close enough. I need a human building, too. Actually, hang on, let me, let me remove this. There, okay. Because then I can stick more stuff here, right? Like that. There we go. So, human building, lizard, lizard, two human buildings. And beavers are easier. Hey, legendary arc, what's going on? This game is nice, yeah, for sure. Absolutely gorgeous. It's very, it's very pretty to look at, for sure. You're absolutely right. Oh. Looks like this is a perfect square right here, then. That means that spot is the best spot for the... For the farm. Yeah, that is the best spot for the farm. All right, so what does this guy have for me? Druid's hut. Ooh, that's not bad actually. No, sorry, that's not that's not great. I want this one, right? I need to come up with four more to sell. I guess I'll sell one of these. That should cover the four. It's exactly five. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna lower the res the. Uh, plus resolve under. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna lower the hostility. So that's what I needed there. Alright, what else can I buy off this other guy? Nothing good. Alright, any tablets or harmony? Tablets or harmony. Alright, so right now I need to bust in something else.
us into something else to solve a glaze. So I guess I'm gonna go. Where's the next dangerous spot? The next one is over there, right? And this is the, the other closest one. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Shoot, let's try to do this one then. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for that one. I think everything else is here is fine, right? I'm gonna move this guy over here to help out. So yeah, so we're good on that. So I need to bust open the the glaze and lizard resolve. Why not have enough stones? I should have enough stones. That I don't need, right? Oh, you know what? I should probably put this guy back on there. And do eight of these. I mean, what is this? I don't need this anymore, right? This guy is only in here for the resolve. Yeah, that's not that's not doing anything for me right now. And then this guy right here, we have the meat. We have the fiber, or sorry, the meat. we have the leather, so that's not a big deal either. All right, so I just gotta break through this. To solve whatever's in here. Okay, what do we got here? Rain mill. Alright, so the ability to make flour is actually a plus. I think I'm gonna go with that. Because I definitely need to make flour. So let's go stick this right here. And then we'll we'll do the path in this direction here. Alright, so we need to we need to get that lizard guy up. What's going on with my lizard man? Why is it taking so long to get to that? Alright, maybe I need to get another storage over here. That's probably what it is. Now we're maxed out, right? You know, we're maxed out on that. Well, at least we're moving on this. I just need this lizard guy to get to, what, 29? I mean, he'll be much happier once I get the housing for him going, right? And then what? what is this one? This is the brawling thingy. Do we have a way to make the brawling thingy? No, we don't, but that's okay. I think once I get all the lizard housing up, it'll be fine. God. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything about that right now, the current situation. Oh no, we're losing. We're losing our bar here. One, two, three, four. Four left. This is year four. Oh my goodness. I guess I'm gonna have to go with this aesthetics. I don't think food's going to be an issue. 
more pops. No. Cut through three, solve two. Okay, I should be able to cut through three. Training gears, okay. Beavers. I don't have. I don't think there's any way I'm going to get 22 beavers. Yeah, this might not be doable here. We'll, we'll see. I might not need that though. Let's see. This, this might actually be fine. So I'm cutting through. I need to cut through three dangerous glaze and I need to solve two. Alright, so I'm going to cut through this one. I'm going to cut through this one. And then I'm gonna need to cut through another one. Which is probably that one. That means I gotta cut through this to get to this. Or I guess I can try to go through this, but that's a narrow path. This is a very narrow path. I mean, I can try to go from here to here. That could work. Right, so. I mean, this is a forbidden one. I, I feel like that's going to be crazy to do. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Wow, this corruption thing is crazy, huh? Light rock. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're almost getting there too. We're almost hitting that blight rot. Oh, just in time. Just in time. Okay, left or right? I mean, eggs aren't bad. I'll go with eggs. Let's see, what, what do we got here? Okay, we're gonna go with this one on the left. Yeah, we're going to go with the left. Because we're going to solve two glaze. That's for sure. And we're going to need a beaver home. Somewhere. I need to add a beaver home somewhere. Shit. Alright, right here, right? It's the perfect spot. Yeah, that might actually be fine. Alright. So this right here, we're going to get the ability to make flour if we need to, and pack of trade goods if we need it. Right? We don't need the pack of trade goods anymore. Okay, that one can make can make education, right? But I still need beavers. So I don't know how, I can, how I'm going to come up with the beavers. So I need eight aesthetics or twenty aesthetics, right? That's harmony. That's this is aesthetics, right? So I need about twelve more of these. It doesn't have to be built in my base. And then I can just delete that afterwards. Lizard. One, two, three, four, five. I need six, seven for lizards. Okay, what's this one? What do I have? Oh, luckily I have a ten. Oh, luckily. Okay, we're gonna move this bar by one. Yeah, we're gonna move the bar by one. What was the corruption thing? What did it say? For every 10 amber in my storage? Oh, I have 18 amber in my storage. Oh, shit. That's minus five. That's why we're losing that bar. Oh, God. So I need a way, I need a way to make more tools, right? 
Do we not have... Okay, this one is easy. So do we have a way to make tools? We do, right? It's the smithy. So we need to make tools. Yes, smithy. So please make as many of that as possible. And then this last one here. Yeah, I gotta come up with beavers first for that to actually work for me. What's this one? That also requires 12. Okay. So this bar should move by one once we finish this. I solve another glaze. That's another bar. So yeah, we should be able to complete all of this. Um, I don't want to, yeah, well it's year five. I have no way to get the tools. Oh, actually, he sells tools. Oh my god, I have so many of these. Let me see how many I can buy. 15, right? This crop is 25. What is this? Plantation? Eh. Eh. Okay, that might not be bad. Okay, let's go ahead and see how this fares. Okay, so this is fine, right? I guess I got enough to buy this. That's fine. We'll take that. Alright, so I should be able to solve something else. Alright, how many do we have now? We have 15. Okay. And that's 16. Well, I'll hold off on this next one. I want to know what's going on with that over there. Let's go ahead and move this over here. Yeah, we're going to move this over here. We don't want to drop our resolve, right? Our food situation is fine, right? What's is there anything using food? Herbs. Let's go hit roots on that. Yeah, let's go with the roots on that. Nope, none of those use roots. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so this one I can just delete, right? Don't need those anymore. Alright, what's this guy? He needs meat. Oh, we're out of meat. Oh my goodness. We need more meat. So how do we get more meat? I guess I'll do that one, right? Let me take this off. Well, maybe... Yeah, let's take that off. Let's go with this. This one over here, I need the humans working on that. Alright, so I need to cut through this to get to the uh, the glaze over there. And then this one, I should be able to move the bar, 0.75, right? Yeah, it's almost at 11, not quite there yet. So that means I need to get one of these guys up to get this tiny little bit here. Because we're at like 0.02. But I cannot get. I don't like it. I don't like I can build that. I guess I can build that. I don't know if it benefits though, being in the district. I don't know. move a little bit. 
monastery is good to have. How did that move? How did it move that tiny little bit? For some reason it moved a little bit. <clears throat> What's this say? Oh, it needs to be in active range. Okay. Well, shit. This I don't need anymore, so let's go ahead and move this guy out. There we go. He gets his resolve out. Alright, so I only need to solve... I only need to solve two more. One more, right? So I need to bust through this and solve it. Right, and then open up another one. And then open up another one. I guess I'll open up this one over here. This is the closest one I can reach. Oops. What's this one right here? Monastery. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well... I don't know how this monster is going to help me. Oh, I guess I can move this out of the way. Oh, the crude workstation. Let me stick this monastery in here. That's minus the global resolve. Alright, so this one right here... I have enough. Wow, just more than enough. Easy peasy right here. Easy peasy. I, mean, I guess I can add some of this. It's not really a big deal. I mean, I should win now. This is not a big deal. Plants per minute, grains per minute. Ooh. Which is better? Plants or fiber? Well, I mean, I should be winning, so it doesn't really matter. They're both the same. Plants or fiber? Hmm. Left or right? I guess I'll go with us. Grain! Huh. Grain. I guess I can always do something with the grain. Yeah, let's go with the grain. Whatever. Um. So I solve this, I'll get 0.5, and I need to bust open this, and we're good, right? Might as well fill this out, because it's not going down. And then this right here. Boom. Easy. Nice. Alright, so I bust through this. I solve the other one. And if I could solve one more. Actually, I don't need to solve one more, right? I mean, I'm about to win, so I don't think it matters. I shouldn't turtle this any longer. Because I get 0.5. Technically, I don't even... Yeah. I shouldn't be fine. This is... I don't even care, right? Let's go ahead and pick something. So then I bust through this. That means I automatically win. So that's not an issue. Or I solve any of this. And I win. Yeah, if I solve this, whichever comes first, I guess. Well, I do want to bust through this, because then I can actually get the um, the uncovering achievement. Uh, 
let's see here. Can I, I guess we put a sword right here, man. That might make things go faster. I just need to bust the guns. Alright, so we've got a lot of resolve. Let's go ahead and delete all this. I don't really care about the rest of this. Come on. Hurry up. We're just trying to bust through this. What year is this? Year six? Oof. I need to do better at finishing this in a shorter amount of time frame. I don't need any of this. I don't need any of this. I mean, I have so much money that none of this really matters. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I can sell all this. I don't. None of this matters. Let's see if I can just buy all of this. Oh, hey, I guess I can buy some of this. All right, was this and something else, right? Education. Or actually, no, it's this one. Let's go with this one. And then we'll, we'll buy some of this. Alright, well, let me give you... Let me give you this. Oh, yeah, let's sell all this. Holy shit. 70, right? Mm. What else can I sell to these guys? I guess I'll sell this. We have so much of this. Holy shit. Look at the amount of planks I have. That's insane. My busy beavers. Alright, I'm gonna go with this. Alright, okay, that's fine. So now I should be able to do some education, right? Now, which one does education? These guys, right? No, that guy doesn't education either. Oh my goodness, I don't have a guy that does education. Monastery Tavern? Oh. That's okay. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We're about to win. Alright, let me put this guy over here. I want to pop these open. Come on. Yeah, okay, cool. Where else can I stick this gun? Oh, I can't stick him here. Oh, I can't stick him anywhere. Okay, you know what? Let me move this. That's probably how I can get that in there. So we're still trying to bust through this, aren't we? Oh, that's why. That's why. The reason I'm busting through all of these is because there's like a check mark achievement for how many glaze that you can you can go cut through. Alright, do I win? Do I win? Am I number one or am I number two? And I am number one! Yes! Finally! Finally! I am number one. Very, very nice. Alright. So we completed the cycle today. Full cycle run today, which is amazing. Um... So let's see here. What do I want to upgrade? Oh, I can't really upgrade anything of value. I mean, the trade routes, maybe. I said line number one, four, four, and six, right? I guess I can go through this one. Yeah, let's go with this one. Because then I can get more caravan slots. and Okay, so that's fine. All right, so this right here is a good... 
ending for the cycle here. And then we're going to do our giveaway, actually, guys. All right, last call, everybody. Please, please go ahead and buy your your ticket redemption, whatever it is. If you follow, you automatically get, like, you know, an additional 300 points or something like that. That's a one-time thing. And then you can... If you're watching, then you should already be earning channel points. But anyways, let's go ahead and complete this. So we see what this is. But yeah, we're going to give away the Gordian Quest game key today. Alright, look at that. I got, uh, I got number one. This is all my resources, right? Um, I spent. Okay, these are the, my spent. This is my earning. This is all the stuff I unlocked. I gained this experience this time. So this is extra food that I got as reward. So that means if I end this, I actually will probably have enough to spend for my next run. Hey, Chi. What's going on? Nice. I actually have 128. Huh. I need to worry about the brass. Okay, so I want that. Basically, the star means who won last game. I think that's what that star means. Right? Who won during the last game? Oh, I forgot to hit the expedition right before ending the... <sighs> I wanted to test that out to see if expedition... Because it's better to to do the expedition at the end of the run not at the beginning of the run because it, it might pass time all right well that's fine let's, let's see here we got actually thingies right so we can actually spend points on this one yeah we can actually gain additional caravan to choose from and what was the other one i think i was gonna say like this one right we're gonna go this line right here the re-roll choices. Wait, actually no, we wanted the middle line, right? Because more vision. I think up here it gives you vision, right? So I get this embark thing. Another one. Production yields. Okay, you know what? Let's go with the let's continue with the the middle line here. Have additional caravan to choose from. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Now I actually have more points to spend. I can go with another trade route. Or I can go with another herbalist choice. Alright, you know what? I guess I'll go with this extra trade route. Yeah. Extra trade route actually is not bad. Because I've been in situations where I kind of need that extra route just to get it out of the way. So this one right here is. So I need 12, 7 on that one. Alright, so next time. I guess next time I'm going to go all in on the 6 route, right? I think this. Well, well. Huh? You know, that's not true, because the first line gives me like 10% discount when I trade and more cornerstone blueprints for sale. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So number one still looks like it's a pretty good choice. Yeah, number one still looks like a pretty good choice. This is the re-roll option, right? Reroll's not bad, but I can't afford this because of the machinery. Yeah, the machinery is my bottleneck. Alright, well that's fine. Okay, last call for tickets. I'm going to tally up points and then we're going to do the giveaway. This is a good stopping point for the, um, the Against the Storm. So for those that's on uh, YouTube, don't forget to follow me. Uh, on Twitch, and then uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. And then right here is a good ending point.